All right, guys, hope you're doing well. It's go time. It's going to be myself and Professor Pone here uh, playing against Grubby and his brother. So uh, we'll, we're going to do that first. I would imagine, I think he mentioned they might only have time for one game. So after that, we'll open it up to free for alls in the community and we'll get a bunch of matches going. How you doing, man? You ready to party? Yeah, I was had a long day at work. Uh, people were either not happy to be there or they were <laughs> incredibly angry that they had to leave. So that's rough, man. Not, nothing, but, <laughs> nothing but the best. Well, hopefully we'll follow it up with some good times here. Um, so Pone is... You're looking to play either Ekaz or you were saying before, like Carino, right? Those would be the ones you'd be comfortable with? Those would be my top two picks. Yeah, you haven't, have you, I, I don't even know what the um, Carino heroes do in this patch. Have you even taken a look at them? I have played Ekaz. Uh, <laughs> uh, only, only Ekaz since the game got redone. Oh, man. Like okay. completely redone. You know, like where they stop for all the land strads and stuff. Yeah. We've only played Ekaz since then. Oh, man. Okay. So I'm looking at Karina right now. So you have Princess Irulan. Uh Okay, so that's obviously an auto-take, right? I'm looking at her because in every village you get to have... A du it's it's the nerfed double building thing. And she gives you two more crew uh, in Harvesters, which is very good for Eco. Um, is the other guy a Sodicar? Because I'll probably pick him. Uh, I think the other, <laughs> the other good one, let's see. So every Karina vote placed on a resolution affected. Oh, interesting. Um, f if you want to be really sweaty, I would guess that Hasimir Fenry. Be military. Yeah, you probably just go for Zoom Garan. Although he kind of, I don't know how good he's going to be um, in a 2v2 because he gives you power per faction in truce. So you can only get like, I guess if you're in that truce with me, you get 15% power, I'm guessing. Um, I don't know how good that is. Maybe Hasimir Fenring would probably be better because he lets you investigate things anywhere on the map, which is really, really nice. So you can like go near their territory and steal like the tech researches and stuff that are laying on the ground. Yeah. Arishan. What I do for work? I'm a security guard at a at a uh, hospital. He, he's just he's just kicking butt, dude. You know, taking names, all that stuff. Hmm. So somebody in chat says that Arisham he buffs Sardikars and it's just super savage. You could probably just go with him and just be super heavy metal. How does the second base work with uh, Carino now? By the way, because I, I think then they changed the way that you drop your second base with Carino. Do you have to like? Don't you have to like kill someone or something? I don't know. I've I've only played um, really Vernius and Harkonnens. Uh, I played like one Fremen game in the last replay you guys saw. So I'm a little bit of a potato here. Yeah, a little bit of a potato. I don't know, man. We're going to see what they pick. So we're going to, uh, they're, they're going to be picking first. So um, we're going to have them pick the other two factions and then Pone and I will pick what's left. Um, but I'm pretty sure we'll get the old Fremen. Although I happily play Harks and stuff too. Uh, no, you get a third base now? What? Carino can get a third base? So second base is 3k cash and 100 authority. And how do you get a third base? Works the same way. Oh. Yeah, second base, but what about third base? <laughs> what about That's so good. Okay, Shelby, who's a great player in our Discord, always always takes me out. Uh, works the same way, but if you kill someone at 10k hedge, you get a... Uh, and and they've not been truced for 50 days, you can drop a main base. Oh, so if you like, if we take someone out, I mean, at, that feels like a bit of a win more mechanic in 2v2. It's like you already take one of them out, you get a third base, but yeah. Oh man. I've never used the line, you shall not pass, but I have stopped people from going past me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he has that, indeed. I've done the action. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh my God. Okay, let me see if they're about ready. All right, they should be hitting us up here in a minute. Um, we'll have them host the lobby. I think they're both EU, so um, it'll be a little bit better ping for them, which will be good since uh, you know, they're getting their grips. Uh, yeah, we'll be streaming uh, some Total War soon. I don't know. Tomorrow's Age of Empires, and then um, we actually have a really big Total War tournament on April 6th, and there will be a couple SFTs before that. So April 6th is the grand finals of Season 5 of Total Tavern. Uh, so that'll be pretty hyped. Pwn's going to take that one to the bank for sure. I feel like nukes, yeah. nukes could be fun too, Pwn. We like if they if we're able to do two games in the second one, we should just go like Harkonnen and like Carino and just go like double nukes, <laughs> just be scorched earth like <laughs> dropping on every base. Oh, Me and Taren did a practice two v two the other night. He'll be putting that up eventually. That's a that's a fun game. Yeah, it was fun. That was our first. I've never played a team game in Dune. That was my first one. 
Uh, yeah, there's it's a different. lot more action. Yes. Uh, so it's it's a different way to play, but it's pretty. I did enjoy it. I, I still think FFA is the way, but the the instant action like two v two is pretty cool. It is. There's certainly less like like scheming about your positioning it's more so just like blast that wind con you know just like go for it um and just you know whereas in like four player you're kind of like oh there's three other good players here and we have to be cautious right. it's not a three versus one Yo yeah, yo. Yeah. you know let's do it okay so let me okay he's added as my friend um okay so we're gonna set up the call i'll add you to this in just a moment hey man how's it going Hello, Turin. What's up? Not, not much, man. You ready to party? Ready to party. Just going to equalize your volume a bit, turn you up a bit. Yeah, sounds good, man. Sounds good. Uh, should I cool. add my buddy to the call, or do you want to just chat here and then jump into the game? What are you feeling? Yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's chat for a bit. You can add your friend, and uh, I'll add my brother to the call. Sounds good, dude. We can, we can scheme here. This will be perfect. Okay. So finding him here. All right. So, what faction have you been practicing, man? You've been uh, you've been playing it up. Turin. Perfect. Perfect. Think, and then I think I have to create like another one. Oh no, I can. I add. think I don't properly hear you anymore, Turin. You can't hear me. I can hear you just fine. Yeah. Um, let me try to rejoin the call. Can you hear me? Uh... Hey, what's going on? Hey, can you guys hear me? Yep. Yep. Sounds good. I, think. I can hear you, but you're a little bit silent, uh, Churin. Sounds good. Let me uh, let me turn it up a little bit here. Yeah, that's better. All right, man. Cool. How you guys doing? I think. Yeah, good. How are you doing? Uh, this is uh, my brother. We call him Brubby. Churin. Brubby. Nice to meet you, man. And this is my uh, this is my pal, Prof Pone. Uh, Hola. So you guys probably want to host the lobby. Um, it is, you know, peer to peer, so it'll be a little bit of a cleaner server um, if you guys okay. want to host it up. Sure. Wouldn't you have uh, lag issues? Oh, uh, it's it's not that bad, really. Like it's 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 uh, it, it's a minor thing. It'll be like you know, hundred ping or something, hundred ms. It, it won't be bad. Okay. Are you East Coast US? Uh, I'm California, and Pwn, I believe, is um, more central. Central. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you probably have a little over a hundred, but it's very magnanimous of you to uh, take another handicap. <laughs> oh, dude, don't worry about it. It's gonna be fun. What uh, what faction do you guys thinking about playing? So uh, we we figured we'll go with uh, Ecas and Atreides. Oh, dude, the dreaded political alliance. I like that. That's good. Respectable. <laughs> yeah, th those are good factions that'll definitely synergize pretty well. Like you'll have the uh, you'll have the ceasefires and the forced non-aggressions, like backed up by really really good influence. So that'll be that'll be really good. How you guys been digging Doom? It's it's really good. It kind of snuck up on both of us uh, I independently, actually, about how good it is. Because I tried this out a couple of years ago at uh, TwitchCon, actually, in Amsterdam. Probably two years ago. It was, like, deep early access. And I was like, man, this is really fun. But then kind of dropped off the radar. And it's uh, it's very captivating, very fascinating, isn't it? Yeah, it's really yeah I love yeah. it so much. I love it so much. <laughs> I like it's all hyped over there. I love it. But I think the update really helped it. Like they like overhauled the game in a massive way, and I think that actually really lent itself to. It made combat a lot better, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, combat, even the political. Like I do enjoy that. You don't have to constantly be staring at the, the political uh, goes. Instead, the game will stop and be like, "All right, what do you want to do?" <laughs> oh really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It before. used to be like you could just miss it. You could be like, "Oh." Whoops, you know, somebody be like, you'd just be like, see, somebody was elected governor, and you'd be like, oh, I didn't even vote. <laughs> yeah, the last, you the mean, last it, update it was just, good. It just kind of happened via one of those on-screen pop-ups? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to kick it, you have to engage with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was really rough, and now it's like a full pause, and they added heroes, which are great, and also in the recent update, they there was a ton of heroes that were just, not heroes, but counselors that were just awful. So there's basically just only one, you know, way to play many of the factions. But now the like pretty much every counselor is more or less viable, and like it, it, it's it was such a good update. And yeah, the heroes add a lot of flavor too. Yeah, I always like heroes in uh, RTSs. No, I know. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> hey, Turin, I'm glad we could finally make this work because uh, we've been trying to make something happen a while. Uh, we played Warhammer before, That's right, independently, man. not with each other, yeah. and kind of poetic that it's finally an RTS 
slash 4X that brings us together, which is the two genres that we, uh, well, let's say play the most. Yeah, we're kind of meeting in the middle, man. It's great. Yeah. I'm, I'm dude, yeah. super excited to be here, man. And uh, I'm surprised you're not playing Fremen. I thought that would be kind of your style. Like you got like you got the Blade Master, you got stealth units, like a lot of, a lot of aggression. <laughs> Have you tried them yet? Well, yeah, 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 I tried them. I, I, I agree. I think they're probably a bit my style. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it was more like I tried them out first. I thought, okay, they're really cool. Now let's go learn some new ones. And mm. then I got stuck on familiarity because yeah. now I'm a little bit better at the game and I'm still terrible. But <laughs> Ecos just happened to be the last one that I played. So I've just been spamming them. I think with your micro and your RTS experience, probably the faction, I mean, they're relatively difficult to play, but I think smugglers. You're really rewarded for like good military micro with like a lot of ranged units and mercenaries, like that kind of classic stutter step StarCraft micro. The um, smugglers are really, really good for that. And they also are very schemey. So yeah, you should definitely give them a try too. Yeah, smugglers and fremen seem, seem very fun, but uh, I don't know like how you achieved such competency. And a lot of people, they're playing and I'm like, man, it's uh, it's kind of a hard game, and the 1.5 speed is is not slow either. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just reps like anything, really. Uh, I mean, I've I've been playing this game since it came out, and but I mean, it's it was massively different back in the day. I mean, I it came out in 2022, and it, it's just like you can't even. It's completely different games, but yeah, it's just reps really, and you know these like four by fours, grand strategy games are always like that. Yeah, yeah, it's wild. So, oh, okay, so Pone, you're gonna go Carino? Yeah, uh, yeah, I. I... I like the idea of, uh, uh, oh man, I had his name and it just, whew, who am I, uh, Christopher Walken being in charge, you know? <laughs> Did you guys see Wow, that? wow, you guys need to get off my Arrakis. That's so good, dude. <laughs> Did you guys see the movie, by the way? Yes. Oh, so good, dude. That was a massive Glorious. Yes. It was so good, it was so good. Did you see it, Robbie? I still have to go and watch it. How dare you, dude? I'm, I'm starting to read you. the book tonight, though. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get on that, man. Well, we're, uh, so settings, yeah, it looks like everything's good here. Everything looks pretty standard. Uh, and yeah, no quick start, which is good. Um, I think we're good to go if you guys are. So you wanted to be in separate chats during the game so we could, like, scheme and whatnot, yeah? Yeah, probably. Pro probably. I mean, I think it's probably for the best because uh, my brother and I both found out that <laughs> well, the speaking element adds a lot of difficulty level, and uh, we're not ready for that yet. Maybe, maybe when next time. <laughs> yeah, sounds good, man. We'll uh, we're ready when you are, man. Okay, give me one second. You got it. Bone and I have been practicing every day. Just wait. Yeah. Ever since he told us about this, we've just been like up all night, just sweating and drinking I'm... Mountain Dews. <laughs> no, sure. Just trading. So this, this thing that Prof Pong just said, you were pretending you didn't already find like some OP combo between Fremen and Carino. Eh, I'll try Carino because of the movie. Well, Carino does have one element that's really good in team games. We've only ever played one team game, all jokes aside. It was we played one a couple days oh, okay. ago. But um, Carino can share airports with their allies. Although that actually kind of sucks because oh, the Fremen don't oh. have airports. So yeah, never mind. That sucks then. <laughs> so no, basically, does not, you, <laughs> yeah, we don't have any airports. It makes you feel any better since the update that totally overhauled this whole game into a new experience. I've only played Ecaz. I haven't touched any of the other factions since then. Ah, okay. <laughs> so so you actually, you actually snagged me off of the faction I know what I'm doing He got you, dude. With. He counterpicked you. Yeah, he banned you. Now I'm just going to be... <laughs> now I'll just be like, you underestimate my Sada car, and we all know how that ends, so... It's going to be great. Yeah. Well, the, I'm on I the actually had the same problem. I was training with Vernius because it would be so good for a team match, you know? Yes. With all this shared knowledge. Yes. But then I saw you training with Vernius, and I was like, oh, he's, he's going to want to play Vernius, <laughs> so I'm... Uh... We, mind -gamed, we mind gamed each other. Yeah, Vernius is all, also yeah. probably really good in team games, too, because of all the shared tech. That actually she seems kind of busted but it seems yeah. really busted <laughs> yeah like a whole tech tree just for free you get and there's no downside i mean that's yeah and vernius can also give you the machines they can give you the uh thinking machines so you can give yeah. your ally free agents and normally it comes with a downside because it makes it Wait, easy. What, do you, what, what do you mean give your allies agents so vernius has a tech called um heretical oh computing. the harmless guy the yeah. harmless gadgets yes and but normally that's yeah. bad because it lets them assassinate you easier but in a 2v2 you just give it to your ally and they get like a free high quality agent so that's really good actually yeah sure yeah, yeah we're, we're figuring well, out. Well, I would just say right to counter intelligence yeah exactly if if we had sif bans that might just be a ban like if, if everyone thinks that's like too good in 2v2 yeah and who knows i mean the thing about vernius though is their armies are kind of paper until like late game and they're really expensive so 
Vernius often struggles with early pressure. Like if you put any early aggro on them, they can kind of fold up. So I, I suppose it could be balanced out, but yeah, it's hard to say. Our armies are supported by the Doctor Who Daleks. They are, dude. <laughs> Just the haggard machines. Yeah, that's great. Okay, I got my count. Okay. You ready? Yeah, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need, I need, uh, like, I need one minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Are, are you still thinking about something. Counselor Stu? No, there's a cat outside, and I need to help something. I'll, I'll be, I'll be back in a second. Sounds oh good. my god, he's helping. A, he's helping a cat. Oh, hold on. There's a baby here in a burning building. I'll be right back. To, yeah, over here. Uh, oh no, me and Turnit's over here eating Cheetos, and you guys are doing heroics. <laughs> Just never happens, man. Yeah, for you guys has been doing really well in the um, the couple tournaments we've been hosting, though. Like. Ekaz, Carino, and Atreides have been um, some of the ones that have been probably the most popular in terms of picks. They're very, mm. very good. Which ones are the best counselors for Ekaz? Ooh, Maybe you can help an opponent. There's probably some people. Um, so anyone in my chat, let me know. I know I, I, we have... Ekaz is one of the only factions I don't play often, but the best hero is um, uh, Whitmore. Uh, Whitmore Bud, he's insanely good because he is your uh, champion. He counts as a champion, so with the right setup, you can have three champion characters, and then if you're winning army fights, you're just getting a ton of hedge. So you can you can surprise people with like big hedge booms in the late game by winning army fights. Um, sure, yeah. But what I about uh, the counselors? I, I don't uh, know. If you want, I like to use the experience one and the sanctuary one, although I'm sure there's somebody in, ch in our chat that's far more versed than I. There's two sanctuary ones. Oh, you uh, mean the one the... that gives you the permanent income? Oh, the permanent income, sure, yeah, yeah. So, so somebody in my chat that I know is a really good player, definitely way better than myself, says Ebo Vip is very good. Um, I don't know which one that is, so yeah, just take it with a grain of salt. Ebo Vip is good, yeah, the political one. Yes, yes. The political one. That's all I know, though, and um, you obviously Polit don't eCast. Politics. <laughs> you can train, like, the elite units. You've, you've tried that, too, yeah, like with the long-term training? Yes. Yeah. So you, yes. Know, you know all the schemes, and you're good to go. Democracy is non-negotiable. That's right. Well, that's the Atreides motto for sure. Okay. Ready that was... Uh... Okay. Thank you for helping. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we'll jump into chat and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll catch you after the game. Good luck. All right. Good luck. Have fun. DLHF. All right. See you guys. We'll see you after. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Going to call Pwn back here. Hey, man. You ready for this? What they don't know is there's no satellites over Arrakis. <laughs> the Grumpy oh. family will die in the dark. Oh, they have an Atreides too. We can drop those lines. It's too bad we don't have a Baron in this game. That would be that would be pretty good. Sure. Yeah, yeah. We have we have half of it though. We do have Karina. That's true. Yeah, we got half of the uh, the evil lines here. So, uh, let us know when loaded in. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chat with them here. Make sure they're loaded in, and we're good. All right. Good luck. Have fun. So we're going to try and do our best to make sure that Arrakis belongs to the Fremen. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and the Sardaukar, of course. You know. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, you're included in that formula as well. I was, was going to say. <laughs> you're just going to be you're just gonna be on the receiving end there, hopefully. Uh, just betray you. That would be really funny, actually. Okay, what is this village? Okay, that's actually a pretty good one. It's a scientist village, which isn't the worst trade. But let's see what we have nearby. Okay, wow, deep desert. And I, I got... I got the ship sp space wreck right here. You do? Oh. You don't really need it since you get... Oh! Well, because you get free parts anyways. Carino gets free ship parts, so... But, so, my game plan is to go for a hedge victory, so I'm just going to do the early green tree to try and get a bunch of authority and whatnot, and we'll just, like... I'm pretty sure, like, really fast Fremen expansionism can, um, can outdo them there, so... Okay. Looking good. Taking our first village, doing. I want. Uh, I want to get to uh, some hegemony up so I can get some Sardaukar. Oh, Sardaukar, dude! <laughs> I was like, uh, I was, you know, in the movie, I was a little bit sad that the Sardaukar just get like annihilated so quickly. I was like, oh. Wow! Well, spoiler alert. Oh come on! <laughs> no, it's like sixty years old. Um, but it, it's basically kind of. You saying that based off of a book that nobody reads? That's true. Nobody reads books. Um, it does kind of happen um, in the... So we're going to go ahead and do Fremen Solidarity to get these siege relations. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this militia is the tankiest guys of all time. <laughs> well, you know, your your initial troopers are just kind of haggard too. 
if I'm not mistaken. So let's see what the water is here. It's only two water. That sucks. All right, let's get a Blast Creep. Arrakis is our home. So let's go no, find some No, I'm pretty sure that was just the strongest militia. It was just the greatest militia ever made. Yeah, they put Atreides to shame. They do. So spying. Oh, Fremen siblings is good. So that'll give us two agents. And then we don't have the knowledge one, if I'm not mistaken. We do not have the knowledge one. That's a shame. You have scientists, though, so it should be fine. We will help if we can. We, we, help if we, we, can. Get we need a good Let's water region. Nice you. Don't waste time. As fast as I can. So we're homies with one seat so far. I need to... Okay, so that's Ekaz down there. So I definitely want to get a siege down there per special region. Then this one is going to be spying mission cost. And we have the Fremen Brotherhood. This is going to be recruitment time. And this one is military unit health, which is probably pretty good. So we're going to take that one for now. Four starters. And what do we got here? Ooh, processing plan. Okay. So let's get you to go over here. We can get another harvester maybe. We'll, we'll work towards the Well of Riches. Blast Crete, and then we can get the scientists there eventually. And all's going to be good. All's well in the land. All is well, brother. All is well. Yeah, okay, let's get you back. 60 years, Pwn. <laughs> no, yeah, for a book. <laughs> Pwn doesn't read. It's against his, it's his, against his creed as a as My a, philosophy as a human being. is I'll wait for the movie. It's a good philosophy. Yeah, which which is finally out, and I've seen it. And it was great. It was worth it. We'll take this. Oh, this is a good region too. We have the local sourcing and the handy handyman's so good for like building up early uh, infrastructure. The then we and do the some, well of riches. Somebody says, uh, "But they don't make all the good books into movies." That just means it wasn't good enough to be a movie. <laughs> just the worst. Just the worst, dude. <laughs> Absolutely the worst. <laughs> Let's get some manpower there. Have you won already? Has the has Carino landed and and prepared its its doom strike here? We're pretty close. Okay. I like that. Fair play. Pwn's going to carry me this game, by the way. That's what I do. It's true. I'm just a plebe. You know, he's, he's carrying us into the sunset. First agent on Arrakis, because authority and Fremen. And um, let's look oh, for some uh... free techs around here. Okay, we're not seeing too many, so we can do a pillage real quick to make a little bit of dough. And then we grab this, and we go from there. We got Plascrete, we got manpower going. So a little bit of spice. Should I put them a truce? You should. You should offer, offer, offer. No, actually, don't, because that gives them lands rad. <laughs> it's like, offer me the truces. Send me the truce. No. No, come on. <laughs> the Fremen will die. The, the Fremen will. No, we're, Pone, we're supposed to be on a team here, man. Come on. Oh. Send it to me. Change that. Send it to me, precious. I, I can't send you anything yet. I, I got to unlock tech for that. As soon as you get anything, send it to me, though. I think in 2v2, it makes sense to, like, do all the packs and. And whatnot as quickly as possible. We'll get their water. Dude, I'm getting some H2O right now, dude. I'm nice and hydrated. Oh. Okay, that should be fine because it's close to the main base, so we don't need to get anything there. Let's get another infiltrator. And. Uh, are you dead already? Are they coming at you? No, I, my harvester is bugged. How so? It's not harvesting. It just keeps getting picked up and dropped off. Is it because the shipwreck is. Try Maybe. recalling it and redeploying it. Okay, looks fine. Okay, it looks like it's harvesting now. Yeah. From what I can see, nope. it appears to be harvesting. Plus zero, sir. Plus zero, huh? Yep. Huh. There is another spice field to the north. I've never seen that before. Is there some, do you have some weird building set up there that's like not allowing it? Oh, I guess, I guess I could try and blow up my... By building and rebuild it. No, maybe you try. Back. Oh, it's probably because your harvester, you built your refinery too far out. I think you're blocking the spice field with the way you built it. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's the cause, but yeah, you we should be okay. find out. Keep me posted, man. Give give me all your spice. This will, yeah, I, I'll send you any extra spice. I'm going to start stock, stockpiling. This is our, this is our disadvantage. One player doesn't get spice. Uh, that's just, you get nothing. <laughs> that would be really funny. Yeah, build the build the building like closer in. Yeah, I think you literally built it on the spice field and it was blocking your harvester. Yeah, place on the opposite side of the village is what somebody's saying. No. Arrakis belongs to the Fremen. Yeah, the Hark the Harkonnen are working against me. Yeah, they are, dude. They're sabotaging you at every front. Those jerks. They're getting you, dude. 
Okay, native customs is there, so we're gonna get a little bit more. We have another harvester, so let's go up here. Oh, oh, the oh. dreaded lands rat. Hmm. We could try and tank their lands rat standing. Do you we want me imp to imply an imperial edict? Uh, I don't think anything is necessary here. Okay. Because we can't beat them on boats. That's for damn sure. I'm Fremen, so like they're just gonna they're just gonna have their way with the early politics. <laughs> poor man's boat yeah i mean i'll put no I'm, I'm just gonna save my boats for something later i can't really do anything nothing there is even worth any agency I'm, you know i'm going for some free votes into military construction you want to do that that's gonna switch up the military yeah i was thinking maybe deny it i failed <laughs> <laughs> all right it was denied they denied you yeah they went hard on it huh i feel like i got a lot of hegemony stuff around i kind of want to just Oh man, I have the acid lakes here, and I have. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, I got a lot of special regions near me for sure. Not if I eat those acid lakes. First. You stop it. You can actually have the acid lakes. It's probably. But remember, like with your main base, um, you got to be careful. Like you have issues with things that are really far away from your main base. Liet. Liet. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> Arrakis. Belongs. I definitely knew that. Arrakis belongs to the Fremen. They will die in the dark. This guy's this raider guy's just trying to run across my main base. We have to role play a little bit. There you go. Oh wow, now it just looks like you're putting some horrific. <laughs> yeah, it's like thinks I'm some like super offensive thing. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Okay. All right, well, we're gonna start the game off by missing our first tax like a like a boss. <laughs> Are you my? Oh, hang on, I can send you some spice. How much do you need? Eighty. Uh, request it. Request it quick. Fast, fast, fast. You just use the little slider thing. Request it. Oh! <laughs> no! The power of teamwork, baby. Undefeated. You couldn't. You couldn't send me eighty. Uh, you're. You can click faster than me. So I was all like, right, that worked. <laughs> that that worked. My harvester's up and operational. Yes, good. Okay. Oh, I got two free agents already. I love that. It's so nice. And space and build. Yeah, Fremen definitely got some cool tricks, man. Uh, so let's do Outpost Logistics and then Composite Materials. My Dune, my Iraqis. We're going to go Recruitment Office here to get a little bit of that. And um, we need to get a Maintenance Center here if possible. So let's kind of hold off on building. Hide the runes back there. Okay. 10 out of 10 start, boys. No notes. That's right. <laughs> This is just how we drew it up. The Atreides are... Just like the simulations. Oh, dude. Oh, I have a deep desert right across from the Atreides spice field, dude. I'm going to be shy hooting across that thing so hard. <laughs> oh, when the time comes, yes. Okay, looking good. Let's get that. A little heavy there. And outpost logistics will be good. We'll get one more agent on Iraqis, and then we can expand nice and well. Uh, this is what? Water and... Okay, so it's just kind of random shit. It's a good manpower building. Take that. I liked how I was like, wow, I've never seen a spice field this close. And it's just like, fail, fail, fail. You get nothing. <laughs> you, thought, you thought the close spice was your ally. It wasn't, dude. You were, you were betrayed. So I'm going to rush valuable trinkets. It gives me double the trade resources with sieges. So the three sieges I'm trading with will give me twice whatever I'm, I'm basically trading with them. So hopefully it'll be good. You know, we don't know. Um, you, gonna, you getting the knowledge one here? You can have the acid lakes if you want. No, uh, let's talk about the, the siege. Uh, where is it? The siege uh, in the spice field I'm taking. Uh, but close to our connected I think burga. I, that's not knowledge. That one's 10% income. It says trade four water for one knowledge production. Am I trading with it? Let me see. Uh, uh, I don't have enough water right now. Teach Burga. Yeah, I'm like I'm like super destitute on water right now, so I need to I need to take a region. I know. Thirsty. Well, because trading with sieges cost water, so I need to honestly just find a high water region and grab it right now. All right, let's go hide the runes here and then grab this uh, this region. Oh, although I pillaged it like a potato. Nice. Oh, oh, the place. The big place. I mean, to tell me, you, I feel like that's just you pillaging your own people. How dare you? Well, the villages, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, we'll get you on Arrakis. Take that. That should finish composite materials. Let's actually pause this for a second and finish composite materials so we can get a research center. And I think he's going to be able to get this, at which point we can grab. That is five water. Oh, we have a fuel cells back. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. We can definitely get that. I think 
We'll be okay here? Yeah, it looks fine. So the Atreides are kind of chilling on our borders a little bit. They're, look at it, look at Brubby, dude. They're looking to die in the dark. He's he's coming for us. He's He wants blood already. <laughs> Brubby is a warrior. He is. He is a mighty the clan, champion. The clan of Atreides. Yeah, I mean, it would be pretty troll if you ran some troops over and destroyed that, that uh, settlement right now. Yeah, I don't think I could. He's. Um, I don't have much military right now. I mean, I got a couple units, but, you know. Okay, you so are weak. I'm going to get this harvester to come across and... Uh, okay, so I need to go over here and get Carino this. Just doesn't expand as fast as my Eek has. <laughs> yeah, Karino's a little bit slower on the expand. Uh, I'm going to run like a... What? A spice, a spice guy through your base and grab that spice field behind you until you're ready to take it, and then I'll move off it. Okay. If that works for you. I'm like, where's my authority? It's coming. Okay, so we need some water here. That is a four water region, so let's slap that down. Cool, so we made that. Let's get our supplies back. Let's go here. We have intel. Do we have any free text laying around? We'll always want to look for that. We do have free military here, which is great. And soon we'll have the dreaded valuable trinkets in the expansion. The expansion will come. Okay, replenishing supplies. So I can start popping up at the sieges like in their base and raiding them soon. Which is going to be so much fun. Okay, so you hang here. Let's get that water back. God, it's the longest water cycle ever. Oh my god. It's taking so long to get these buildings. When you're thirsty, you're thirsty, you know? Two water there. Your, your crew's currently stopped at my village resupplying. Yeah, no, I have them. I have them there waiting for more water to kick in because I don't think I'd make it to that spice field. No <laughs> I think I actually can. Oh, we're gonna, oh, okay, yeah, I got you. We're gonna try now. I think I have enough. Uh, actually, let's wait and be safe because they're <laughs> they're really expensive to lose. So I don't I don't want to lose that. Okay, so we have that alliance, and this alliance would be four water. So let's like hang tight on that one for now, and we'll do it when we're ready. The next step in our journey. Okay, so building up some water. Whatever you do, don't annihilate that siege if you don't mind, yeah? <laughs> they attacked me! Don't do it, bro. I need it. Yes. Siege Burga will die in the dark. How dare you, dude? We were supposed I'm to... dropping a nuke on that. <laughs> yeah, just nuking my siege. Uh, oh, man. Okay, so water subsidies, we need to get that. Should I Imperial Edict it? No, no, because everyone gets it. Oh. And we can't beat them on votes. They have, they have 239 plus 267. We're way less. I'll do it. So then I just take the middle and build a missile turret on it. And then it's like a big hedge boom um, position. Do you believe No, don't edict that. We won't revenge. win it. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Uh, so I'm going to grab a territory of mine up in the north real quick. If you could just keep tabs and make sure they don't grab the middle for free while I do that, yeah? I will try to tab out of this game as much no, as possible. No, dude, stop it. <laughs> oh. Survival training, desert truckers, let's get some water. <laughs> Ice road truckers. Greatest show ever made in the history of mankind. We got the, the dreaded double agent. Oh yeah, the Benny Desert, that's pretty nice. All right, so we're gonna go here and do this, looking good. And um, then we can finally get a maintenance center here to cost reduce some of these. Let's grab that. Just so the middle is free right now, right? Did water subsidies pass? Oh, it actually, they, they declined it. Interesting, okay. They, so we don't need to stress that then. Water. Yeah, I mean, I'm good with that. I was like worried they would just power grab that, but now we're, we're, we're chilling. Dude, the, the, the Grubby Brother schemes. They got all these like political uh, political machinations going on here. Grubby takes no, no friends here. He doesn't, on Iraq. takes no prisoners. Okay. Um, so maintenance center should be coming up here. We get water. I need to get another spec region. So where are some? Yeah, we have the Imperial Basin there. So it's going to be 124, which I should be able to take. We can get the Just science. sitting here wanting to expand, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh-oh, look at that. We got the, oh. old, uh, the old armies of doom. Yeah, they, they march. They come for us, yeah. Do I have my first army upgrade? I do. I need to get those. Okay. Do this. Let's get a little H2O there. Get some heavies back there so we don't need to babysit it. Armory, we're going to do dry training for the HP because it's quite good. And for you guys, we're going to do the invisible and AoE grenades. Okay. What does Liet command? 
Okay, I need to get more manpower for sure. Uh, so we'll slap down a manpower building here soon. If you have an excess of plascrete, let me know, homie. I'm happy to take that off your hands. I have 1k. Yeah, 1k. Send, send me like 500 if you if you don't need it. Send me the goods, brother. I'll give you. I'll give you like 300. How dare you, dude? Look at. I'm using it, look at bro. Him, look at him skimping just, on us. Chat. This guy just thinks I'm a fat pig farm for him. <laughs> just pay pay for my fremen armies, dude. Oh god, there's a fat squire army on top of. Uh, uh, okay, I'll come down and we'll we'll take him out. If they sit there, oh, they're just pillaging. That's fine. Oh. Yeah. Uh, 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 Things are popping up. Some sort of Microsoft heresy. <laughs> Microsoft. Kicked me out of the game for a second. Microsoft has come for you. Oh, uh, he's coming for me. Oh, okay. Well, you have a village. Just pull back. It's fine. I'll, I'll shy Halud over and help you. Just pull back. Pull back. Let him aggro your militia. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming to ambush him if he decides to keep fighting you. Grubby will die in the dark. He dug too greedily on Arrakis. It looks like you're chasing him down pretty good. Do you even need I, me there? I am. Uh, he's, he's doing the, the flip-flop. We, we trying to micro. I'm gonna I, out micro the grub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe just pull back. Uh, Atreides is coming. Maybe set up a turret there in that village or something. Uh, I got a, whatchamacallit. Arrakis I wanted to take this spec region. So we're gonna take that right now. More military units it is. <laughs> Okay, and then here we'll go ahead and get, um, we can get this basic one. I think that's going to be fine. The administrative hall. Yes. It's very good. Good and cap. And uh, we should have more units now, so let's do this. And then we can get more units. I'll get a Fidekin just to have a stronger army. Early Fremen armies are very scary. And um, we're doing okay, so let's get that freebie here. I definitely can start shy looting soon. Once I get a little bit more military tech, I need to get some freaking scientist action going though. I'm like a potato here. Can you send me some trade agreements? Do you have any oh that you can? Oh my gosh! Actually, hold on. I can send. Uh, you some. I don't. I actually don't think I. I don't know if I've unlocked. You don't have any unlocked? Okay. Oh, I got. Uh, I got one. Hell yeah, baby! Let's go. We will help if we can. Oh yeah! Look at that. The non-aggression in the the trade. Okay. What else can I send you? I don't have any unlocked either. So. <laughs> yeah, see, not that easy. Well, you know what? We're trying. We're trying here, all right? Okay, this guy's too expensive. We, we actually don't need him right now. And let's get this. What if they tried the dreaded Atreides assassination against us, dude? Oh, we got uh, the worm nest. Worm nest over here. Sign me up for that. Okay, I'm going to grab that with my boys. Um, So we need more knowledge building. That is good. We get water as money here. And we can just throw it on a plascrete for now. We'll take Let's continue pillaging. Back. I'm researching the uh, research agreement one right now. Thank you. I'm gonna need that, brother. I'm gonna need it. So parallel training and stalwart alliance, and then we're gonna start. We're start gonna start getting aggressive soon. The time of peace is over. <laughs> we're gonna the age of the orc is now. How <laughs> do I have so much water? I don't even know where I got that from. I guess. All right, so let's befriend some more sieges, yeah? So we got that siege. This siege can definitely be our friend, and um, this one can be our friend, too. All right, so we got two sieges that are going to be our homies. Harvester here. And um, we're definitely going to go with Shawnee and do, like, a stealth Fremen blob, which is going to be hilarious. I need to get more knowledge, though. Knowledge is power. Liet. My research is so freaking slow. Oh, uh, nothing like conquering a territory, and then they just, they're like, send in a sandstorm, make sure he can't develop anything yet. <laughs> Get wrecked, dude. Slow him down. Let the pwn suffer. Is he attacking you again? I kind of see, I see the Dread Grub oh, army. He's moving around the middle. He's, it looks like he wants a little action here. Let's do a little supply drop action. Okay. Uh, yeah, he, he might be trying to head up your way. I think I could take them 2v1 if they try. I... Uh, but you well, might if you, just, if you decide no, 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 to build no, some still, still come over here, though. Yeah, just get ready. I do have a miss. Oh, they're going for the middle. We should definitely try and deny that. If you can make your yep. way over slowly. I, I can fly over in just a second. I'm going to shy Halud right up on him right now. Um, okay, so do we have them beat on votes and anything? I have 200. 
So they, I, I have 200 votes. You have how much? 237. So they can beat us on both of these. So I'm just going to try and... You want me to Imperial Edict the, the money? Yeah, Imperial Edict the money, so we get it too. Hell yeah, dude. Look at Pwn with the big plays. I My votes count as double too. I think oh. I chose that counselor. Oh, you brought that counselor. Uh, nice. Uh, no, I didn't. Teehee. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and get but this I'm, one. I'm going to dump into it. They should be eating a missile turret here. Let's do a knowledge building. So I'm going to Shai Halud. I think I can kill both their armies. They look they look pretty pretty beat up here. You won't have to because I have some mercenary guys coming to help you. Here. Oh, Just mercenaries. <laughs> Let the gold alert. feast. We'll wait there. Okay. Let's do this. You ready for the dreaded ambush? It's time. Can't let you guys have that, baby. Oh, here it comes. The worm is coming. Yes. You'll obviously be right on top of them. So. <laughs> They're fleeing. <laughs> Chase them down. <laughs> Flee for your life. I can probably kill a lot of their units because my guys are super fast. Oh, do I have the chasing tech? I don't. Okay. Okay, let's get the Atreides here. Uh oh, I'm Oh, Shai Hulud saved them. The worm saved them, dude. The guys just don't oh, Gravity's them. army's dying to supplies out there. Okay, so we're fine. That always feels bad. Uh, he lost a knight. Ouch, that does suck. I'm going to take the middle now. So, it, just, it belongs to us. Arrakis belongs to the Fremen. Just the dreaded Fremen Death Star coming for him, dude. Uh, I'm actually kind of rich, which is weird. I'm usually like poor as the Fremen. So let's keep making uh, army, and then we're going to get parallel training, and then stalwart alliance is when we can really put it on them. I need to take advantage of the scientist trait. Let's do this. We want to get ceremonial caves there soon. Arrakis is our home. Arrakis is our home. All right, I got middle. It doesn't really do much for me, but it is hedge, so I can get up to getting my hero really quickly. and then. Um... Okay, so they're chilling out there. I don't know if they'll attack anytime soon. Let's just go ahead and slap down a missile turret here. Get some heavies there and cool. Do a little bit of pillaging here. Okay, so that siege is... Oh man, that's so good. I get 10% military health already. That's really nice. God, if I had Plaskreed, I could conquer. Could do some work, dude. Sadly, I'm not the Plaskreed Lord. Parallel training and then Stalwart Alliance will give us access to um, to the Allied Siege stuff. Okay, so I have double missile turret. Are they covering each other? I don't think I placed them super well, sadly. Let's get the scientist there. Pillage a little bit. Okay. How you doing, man? You doing all right? You hanging in there? Yeah, I'm still alive somehow. So what I like to hear. Despite Arrakis' best efforts. Yeah, Arrakis can be pretty fiendish. Oh, yeah, so we ha I did win the bonus from pillaging thing. Okay, that's going to make me a lot of money. Let's, get, let's go pillage this. We got a missile turret coming up. I don't think they're going to try again after that. I'd be surprised. How many times do I have to keep teaching you this lesson, old man? I know, I know. <laughs> okay, continue pillaging. I have the missile turrets there, so it'd be kind of hard for them to do it. Soon, once I finish Stalwart Alliance is when I go all in on raiding and aggression. <laughs> oh, no, P. He is OP, dude. Okay, let's go get you over here. Grab this. And Get Pwn to send him Sadakar. Yeah, oh, yes, right. You can send How me Sadakar. How do I do that? Uh, it's one of your mandates. <laughs> dude, send me the Sardaukar, bro. They'll be riding worms with the Fremen. I don't know how to do that. Uh, it's one of your one of your uh, trade agreements. Here's the research. Yes, thank you. I needed that. My research sucks so bad. Oh, my God. Oh, do you want... Do you want me to send you some starter cards? Yeah, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that's gonna be brutal. If I have starter car too in my army, and it gives you money, oh, oh, oh the big daddies, bro. There's absolutely zero percent chance you're gonna stop this army, like zero. <laughs> what can men do against such reckless hate? Such reckless starter car. Wow, look at all the starter car. <laughs> so haggard, I love it. Uh, are you are you taking acid lakes or can I just grab that? I don't have I don't have the. Uh, I was going to, but I don't have the 
the authority. I, no. I'm I'm slow. I was just gonna get it so um, I could jump to 10k and get my hero and then just like karate chop. Go for it. I'll take the one in the back. Craft workshops. I'll, I'll take the Moon Dew Val. The Moon Dew Valley, eh? Is that the plan? Uh, so here we can get a maintenance center. Fremen can't build the water extractor. They can't figure that out. <laughs> All right. Uh, I saw them extract some water in the moon. Oh, so I should probably attack Grubby because if I attack Grubby, what's going to happen is he's going to non aggro me. And that will be very annoying. He's got the Lady Jess. Yeah, obviously. And whereas Grubby can't do that, so okay. It's probably gonna have to be Grubby, guys. This was easier for me, but I can I can zip down here. Do I have any sieges where I can reinforce? Okay, I almost have that siege. So here, we're gonna go Shawnee. We're gonna just do fat stealth armies, because it's super fun. Two Sardaukars, those are cool. Dude, I have the Chad Sardaukars. Yes. Okay. Unlimited Sardaukar. Oh, I can... You have enough resources to deploy the second Imperial base. How do I do that? You just <laughs> drop it onto neutral territory. No, like how do I, how do I select the building to drop? Uh, it's like it's it's it's, you know in that like bottom I to, left. I have to own the territory, right? No, I think you just have to. You can drop it like almost. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's you know where like it says hold position and disband units. It's like over there when you're not selecting anything. To my knowledge, do you need money by the way? I have so much. No, I don't think so. Okay, we got the Labathopter quest. Okay, so tech, what tech do I want? I got pretty much every here, so we'll do Sand Brotherhood. And uh, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, Shawnee's coming. Dude, I'm gonna have Stealth Sardaukar just popping out. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, let's do Stealth. And then for you guys, we'll do the uh, Chasing Units. I am Gotham's Reckoning. Okay, so that's my ally. Uh, Great, so I have a Siege in Grubby's base that's gonna help me now. Oh, they're, they're going early airfield. I need to get some water. Yeah, that's gonna finish soon. I'm out of H2O, brother. My people are thirsty. Do you have the supply drop? Unfortunately, oh, that's being liberated there. Wow, that's really haggard. Okay, let's go deal with that real quick. Get this. It looks like they're going early Air Force 2. They, they gotta take to the skies. So, Hmm. Are, aren't the Emperor's ships, like, really good? They are very good. Yeah, well, I, I know the Hammers got nerfed. I don't know if they're still OP. Oh. Yeah. Um, so I could incite Rebellion here, which would be kind of funny to do. Uh, do we have enough? So 264, 294, 179, and no, we don't. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything there. No problems. Stealth Sardaukar, dude, they're coming. Yeah, I'm saving my votes. Nothing here is even worth caring about. Um, and here, let's get some basic militia so this shit doesn't happen again. Sure, whatever, just new water, even in two regions, is going to be what we need to do here. And um, here we can get heavies. Yes. Wish I could get some H2O in the middle, man. That would be really nice. All right, so got to go salvage this. Um, the Labathopter is going to keep flying about. Let's go here, here. Oh, I need, a, need 100 authority, which I do not have at the you're not rocking the authority at the moment. Not huh? anymore. And not after I took over the base. For the, I wanted some uh, some of them juicy fuel cells. Yeah, I would give you some, but sadly, I don't think you can trade authority. No time for chit chat. No chat. Sardar card is so so heavy metal, dude. They're awesome. All right, so we get the caves, and we should have a little bit of water coming in now. Yes, we do. We got that finished. Um. No one compares to Sardaukars. Okay, so where do we attack? Okay, he's currently having some issue in the back of his base. It looks like something's being liberated. It's go time, guys. It's time to attack. We have the Stalwart Alliance and Shawnee now, so we can we can do some cool combos. Um, that looks fine. Let's go ahead and get Passive Hedge here in the middle so we can start winning. We'll save up a little bit, do some liberation. Yeah, get heavies there. That's going to finish. I wish you could straight up just send me water, dude. You know, that'd be nice. Do you do you have any plasgreed? I'll happily I'll happily take it off your hands if you don't need it. Um, I'm building up my bases too. Okay, sounds good. I didn't know if you were <laughs> uh, just chilling. I also. Okay, we could take this spice fields. I could work this spice field actually just neutral. 
All right, it's go time, man. I'm going to hit the... Um, I don't know which base to hit. Probably this one, just honestly. I don't even need to worm in. I can just run. All right, so we're going to do Shawnee's ambush. And we're going to do this. And I don't care if it's a guardian world. I'm going to punish it. Okay, come to reinforce me now, because I'm going to get attacked by probably his brother, too. I don't have enough intel for a supply drop. <laughs> wow, is it, do I really lose 100 authority each time? No, okay. No matter how much you eat, you There's like absolutely a 0% chance I think he can stop me here. Because with the reinforcements from the Stalwart Alliance, I think we're fine. Alright, let's get that. And um, we're chilling. Oh, the Atreides stole one of my spice fields. Clever, clever. I'm going to have to go get that back. Okay, so we're going to liberate this. It's going to be a lot of territory lost. Siege is here. Could build some bases there, but I think we just save up. Economy developments are slowed. I did not notice that. So let's switch back Coming to... at the moment. I don't know if he's... Yeah, I don't think he's going to come. If you want to attack the Atreides base in the front... Oh, the Atreides are here. They, they just landed at uh, Arcure yeah, with a big army. Here. I can definitely take that army, but uh, I'll, I'll, I might need your help just to be safe. I'm right, I'm right here. Okay. I'm in the middle. I will intercept. Yeah, I'm just decapping this right now. Moving into intercept. Oh, I captured an Atreides. Oh, he's going to my base, uh, the middle. You just engage him there if you can. Then he will, uh, he will meet the haggard uh, Sardaukar con conscripts. There's nothing haggard about your awesome Sardaukar, bro. Thanks, man. Okay, he's coming to attack me. If you could crash on him. I can definitely crush that army. I'm just going to stealth, stealth jump him. Let's claim that. We've almost got the decap. We can't let them stabilize us. Um, I think he can't deal with my militia even. Just come down to keep tabs on me. Yep. He 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 dares not cross. We're gonna dance back and forth here. Okay, sounds good. Almost got this decapped here. Can build another main base building. So let's go ahead and get the command post. And the decap. I could do a chain decap, but I'm trying to be more careful here. Uh, after this, do you want to like ambush the Atreides? So I'm going to take this territory and I'm going to worm right behind the Atreides. Uh, can you start moving towards him right now? Go okay, go, go, go. Move towards him. Okay, hold on. I need to get a little bit further out. Okay, I'm coming up behind him. And just, just break the non-aggression pack thing if they force it. Okay, Shawnee ambush. We're going to click it. Oh, dude. Attack, attack, attack. Bait him out, bait him out. Hurry, before he can flee. Ah, shit, he's already running. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Here we go, baby! Get it! Yes! Okay, that's a full dead army for he's sure. He's chasing my flamer. <laughs> he is, he's trying to get your flamethrower unit. <laughs> Look at it running, dude. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> at what cost? <laughs> yeah, he's definitely going to lose everything. Okay. Is he going to run into the desert? The desert takes the weak. Oh, man. I don't think he's going to run into the desert. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, let's go take this base. Krabby's attacking my, me down south. Uh, can you deal with him? I can certainly try. I'll continue trying to bully the Atreides here. The desert will surprise you. Uh, I can worm call him too, if that helps at all. The dreaded grubby ambush. He's here in the back door. Okay, so let's go ahead and liberate this. We destroy all these territories here and then can liberate it. Let's probably get the airfield first and supply drop. Unfortunately, the Atreides did manage to steal that, although we have another spice field here we can work. That's great. Okay. So that's looking good. Um, we're saving up. Let's take that alliance. Nice. And we can build the recycling bats. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> Need some H2O. And I'll continue um, pushing here. Oh, they're actually coming to help. Oh, Pwn battling it out with old Grubster here. You can probably take him. Yeah, I don't know. He's got a decent amount of stuff, though. I can worm across soon if you can hang tight. I can worm across. I'm gonna just destroy the two Atreides spice fields, including the worm nest, and then um, I'll come across and hit him. 
Hmm. Oh, you could force. Oh, bro, you should get diplomatic congress for yourself. It'll it'll force them into a truce with you, and it'll stop their raids. If you want to do it. What if, he, what if he's actively c capturing my? It'll de it, he'll stop capping until he breaks it, and ECAS can't break truces. Okay. Should should I put an imperial edict on that? You think? Uh. Or do you not? Yeah, you could edict truce? it just oh, to increase the like, It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> So I'm going to vote you for that. Oh, oh, there's a bounty on House Ecaz for that one. That actually works too, because it'll force him into truce with you and I. So vote Ecaz to get money. The smugglers put a bounty on it. So vote Grabby for that. Wait, the smugglers put a bounty? Yeah, the AI oh. sometimes interjects from outside of the game, like factions. Okay, did you get it? Yep. See uh, how I mean, he, Yep, see, no, it's going away now. Look, look. Aha! He has... He has... Yeah, I don't care about Lady Jessica. I'm gonna keep attacking him. <laughs> the Fremen, the Fremen care not for Lady Jessica's shenanigans. Okay, we're still decapping. We lost a little bit of time on that, unfortunately. He's got a long way to run. Oh, never mind. He's got a base right here. <laughs> never mind. He's right here. The dreaded peace. You did great, man. You did great. Um, so we can send a couple. Finish upgrading my units. So we're going to send a couple of Fidekin over here, actually, to go hit that side base, too, while we're at it. That's kind of cool. We can do that. Some sneaky sneakies. Um, okay, a raid over there. No problem. I need to build that region up and get knowledge there, too. Is he going to try and fight me? Maybe he will. We can, like, force him to fight us. Check this out. So we worm call him, and then we pull back. Okay. And if he wants to push it, we go invisible with uh, this, and then we get a mass ambush with Shawnee and probably Karate Shop. All right, you looking good over there, man? You doing doing all right? Yeah, I think so. Now that Grubby's driven himself back. No, oh, did he vote on that? Oh yeah. No, they, good. They, they they all did. They he had like seven hundred votes or something. Damn. Yeah, we gotta like we can't afford to go late game with these guys because they'll beat us late game. So we're probably gonna have to just keep the aggression on. He does have his hero now. I have Fidekin. The Fidekin can easily take this garrison. We'll send them to their shade. So I'm at peace with Grubby, so he's going to have to brace that, break that pact. Oh, the Fidekin ambush in the bushes. That's so cool. I love it. It's the flavor win. So Fidekin are really good on their own. You can like send them out and they'll, they'll do well. Now we need to get the upgrades for them, though. And we can do... He's yeah. running around down here. I'm going to take this, uh... I think I'm just going to go ahead and snag me this fuel cell thingy in between our bases. Okay, spice exchange rate is low for me. Wow, holy shit, it's really bad. Just over oh. yes. I need to get some, like, spice tech. Surprise, another base. So we'll get military propaganda and then... Oh, you dropped another base on him? Uh, you know what? We can actually liberate that to get the uh, benefit. Yeah, nice. So that's going to call a stalwart alliance in. And then we, what we do is I'm going to hit the Atreides last spice field here. Um, and I should have them starved out pretty good. I, I feel their desperate tech will be assassination. Probably can hold off on this. So let's go Sand Diplomats and Siege Network and get some detection. Okay, so let's get back, get back. And attack. Okay. Oh, let the Shy Halud feast. Oh, man, dude. It's going to be a brutal one over here. I hope you're ready. Okay. So gather up. Oh, no. Opponent, watch the, watch the Northwest right now. You ready? Are you watching? I see the worm. Oh, you better watch out, baby. You better watch out. You better not cry. We popped out of the bushes once again. <laughs> okay, scoot and shoot. Scoot and shoot. Okay, that's pretty pretty brutal. Do a supply drop here. Start working on another one. Even with the minus 20%, we're still able to do some work there. Gurney's very tanky, though. Okay, so that was pretty good. We wipe the Atreides army and we take, I don't think we took any, maybe lost one unit. Not sure, maybe more. Uh, what does this region do, Acid Lakes? Okay, let's get some knowledge here. 
Okay, let's go ahead and liberate this. Um, we can send somebody to investigate that to get the authority. Uh, we could t just take this for the hedge. And then we can keep going down and, and trying to punish here. Is this siege my buddy? It's not. That's oh, annoying. Okay, let's uh, buddy up with the siege here. Oh, that spice exchange rate is rough. All right, so let's uh, continue our, our big our big party time here. I'll have an infiltrator sit there. And uh, where can I rally units? Do I have any sieges in his base? That's ah, all the way down there. Yeah, it's unfortunate. All right, so let's get warriors, skirmishers, infiltrators. Pretty balanced army comp. Sneaky, sneaky. All right. Oh, I lost my hero. Nice. It's okay. We'll, we'll bring it back. Yeah. Soon. All right. We will avenge Shawnee here. Tell them that you want it back. We're ready to hunt the invaders. Shawnee, he found, he must have focused my hero during the chaos. Well played to him. Well played. Okay, so this is going pretty good, I would say. We got the militia down. Let's go ahead and liberate and then destroy buildings while we're at it. Um, I think Grubby's probably going to come help his brother soon, I would wager. And now we can get Shawnee back. Yeah, so we can bring her back. Definitely is worth it. He still needs to break the uh, the pack. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He hasn't broken the pack yet, has he? Build a missile battery down here. I'm gonna break my pack with them and attack down here. Do it before that finishes. Do it. Do it. Evil. Oh, uh, we need to get the yeah. Probably getting the ship in the Shai Halud caves would be pretty good at this point. Um, so let's go ahead here, and we can get the. It's kind of a bad spot to build that, to be honest. Um, so we're just going to build like a money building there. Okay, the Atreides are definitely trapped up in their base pretty good. Oh shit, where did my warrior spawn? Oh, up here. Okay, that's a good spot actually. So let's grab this. No, we can't get that right now. No problem. We need to grab some tech, so let's get the free eco tech here. Alright. So over here, let's do this. And get that. It's going to hurt our eco, but soon we're going to have that damn debuff wearing off. I think two bases is fine. Mao Deeb asked her to switch sides. I know. That seems to be the case. He forgot to build a uh, an airport out here. Okay, so we're going to switch into Chom now. Once I get the siege network up, um, we'll get three on counter intel, then we're going all in on Chom because we're so freaking, we're going to be rich on like six spice fields. Me breaking my truce with him. Uh... D oh, did you? It, like when I when I broke it to attack, I don't really have any <laughs> any imperial edict points. Uh, there's a smuggler bounty on the landsrat thing opposing it, so if you just vote against that, you'll make some money. It's better than nothing. Yep, I'll take take some points there. And rally point. Let's get the harvester rallying out here too, and um, we'll start grabbing some of the goodies here. So let's do this, this, this. All right. So hopefully I'm able to get the double decap here. Let's run down there. We must go now. He may try and fight me on this. Dude, you know what's been helping me win these fights? Is your Sardaukar, dude. The dreaded Sardaukar. Yeah, they've been helping a lot. <laughs> Chat saying that you should nuke me? Why? Firing? Why? <laughs> Why would you wish this on me, dude? Okay, I think most of my spice harvesters are pretty filled up. Yes. Okay, so Grubby's capping in the south. His brother's going to be pretty rough right now. Um, the siege is now my friend. Okay. Make sure you don't underestimate Grubby. Um, Grubby's terrifying, dude. Okay, let's get on that field there. He tried to Lady Jessica me. Oh. Oh. If I can get his last spice field, he's going to be like having nothing. Okay, let's grab that and get this. That looks fine. That looks fine. I can build something here, but I don't have the plasteel at the moment, so no problem. Uh, I never finished the Sand Brotherhood. That'll let me get the Bazaar, which is extremely good. Okay, so we got a siege there that we're not quite friendly with. I think the Ceremonial Cave here would be a good one to grab. It's what, 118? Okay, we'll be able to get that in a moment. Get our supplies back here, and we can get a wild spice silo over here if we want to. Oh, we don't have the tech for it yet. Okay. We'll see the passive hedge for now. Yes. Okay. So almost 500 uh, in the main base. So I have this and this, so we need to get the bazaar there. 
I think that's gonna be the play. Shawnee will be back soon. You winning, Pom? Uh, I I took took Grubby's uh. You took uh, some of his land there. Oh, we don't have the oh we don't have scientists here. That's what's going on. Okay, no problem. Um, that was a waste then. Oh well. Get a plastic building. I just have to instead of hearing the the nice Fremen voice lines, all I hear is uh, all I hear is just your Sardaukar just chanting over my guys. Sardaukar. <laughs> yeah. Ikaz's hedging up pretty good. We should. I'm definitely going to come down and try and lay the wrath down here. Okay. I'm gonna leave one of your Sardaukar here to capture this. Let's get that free tech. And um, craft workshops are abundant. Got a lot of military supply. Sand Brotherhood's coming. Siege Network is ready. Okay, so let's take one of you guys off this, and we can put you here. Oh no, she's a Benny Jesuit. We don't want to waste her there. Okay. Hmm. So Benny Jesuit can stay on Landsrad, and we'll take you off this. And put you here. I think that would be their only way to scheme back. Would be like uh, an assassination. So I'm trying to trying to make us safe against that brother. Let's get a turret. And we got this. All right. Got that. Get the caves here. Some heavies. And Shawnee will be rebuilt in a second. Uh, all right. So they've expanded on the south end. We have 17k. The Nurglings feast. The Atreides are very beat up right now. You want to see, you want to see some evil? I see some evil ECAS. Can you handle ECAS for now? I think so. I think I should be a okay. Bro, you ready? Watch that Atreides base they're trying to cap there. You ready? You see it? Oh, Shai Halud! Invisible Shai Halud! <laughs> oh! Oh no, my mandate's gone. I don't get any more Sardaukar. Here they come. Oh god, we're just gonna punish that base so hard. Do I need to send you that again? Oh yeah, he's sending me more Sardaukar if you can. Alright, I didn't have Shawnee for that, so it's not gonna be quite as good, but... More Sardaukar! You seem to have decided not to invest in my Sardaukar. Oh, we want your Sardaukar, dude. What the hell is it pathing on these guys? You guys seeing this? Oh, that was weird. So we're just going to pillage this for now. We, we don't want to waste the time standing around. Oh, the Atreides captured a base behind you. You need to deal with that. Otherwise, they can fly in and start trolling. Yep, that'd be bad. It would be, brother. Uh, well, I got Grubby on my borders down here. I'm, I'll come I ambush him. I'm going to come ambush him. If you want to do a sandwich, we can. Sure. Uh, all right, so I need the supply drop. And then in the base, can I get the bazaar yet? I can. All right. Great. So that will complete that district. So you're going here, you're going here, you're going here. And now we have finished that, so let's go ahead and get all the chome business so we can be rich as hell on five spice fields. Alright, so I don't think the Atreides will be too much drama now. He is building an airfield behind your base, so clearly he has the intent of getting a little crunk nasty on you. Right. Uh, he's standing on a rock face, so I can't teleport on him at the moment. Grubby with the big place. He's 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 doing good. He's scheming it there. He's hiding from the Fremen. Um. All right. So if we can like mess up his sanctuary, that's pretty nice. Although, does he have any sanctuaries? He does have two back there. Okay. Uh, do I want to pillage this? I don't think so. Okay. He's moving his army up. I wonder if I could just take them in a straight fight. I don't know. Ekaz armies are pretty scary. Uh, all right, let's see about Shai Haluding here. He's going for that side village there. I'm going to see if I can get an ambush. If you want to, like, poke forward and threaten, I'm, I might take a fight with him here. Okay. Here comes the dread ambush. It's time. Let the army feast. Oh, I just accidentally got the traitor. Oh well, it's fine. Worth it. Worth it! I'm gonna get his hero here too, I think. Okay, let's get some of you guys on the range units. Some of you guys on the range units. You guys chase down that hero, kill it. And the hero's down. 
Okay, I, I got Traitor, but it was worth every penny. The whole army's dead. Attack, yeah. Now is our time to seize ground. I don't have enough uh, to, to take that. I'm just liberating it. Okay, so Speaker of the Council. Ooh, that's not good. That's really bad. Shit, can we win that? Doubtful. That means they could reroll Gov. So we're going to have to go for like a player kill here soon. Uh, we can't we can't mess around too much longer. They're going to get rerolls. So we got to like literally liberate like several bases here. And just do as much damage as humanly possible. Rally point. Um, okay. I could incite rebellion on that, but I don't think we need to. It's only a tradie, so try and deny that resolution. I, no, you don't have any votes. Okay. Um, yeah, nothing here is really that good, so I'll just... Just 100 free votes opposed. <laughs> yeah, just... It's, it's, hey, it's, I say. Yeah, we'll try. Okay, so we're moving in. Dude, having these, like, Chad Sardaukar in my army is so nice. The Atreides is attacking. Is he? Yeah, makes sense. Yep. Makes sense. He's got to help his bro out, you know? Right. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And liberate that and destroy all the bases so we get a free army there. Which is going to be super nice. Uh, do I have rally points around his base? I do have some down here. So we could rally point some Fidekin down there. It'll do, like, an elite squad to go try and grab that point no and you got that one decapping that one and i'll move over the other direction okay so i need to start thinking about a hedge push like a big one here uh all right so where are my special sieges this one is a statecraft siege so let's go ahead and get the knowledge and hedge gains because governor is like kind of on the horizon now so we have to we have to put some respect on their names and this siege is also our homie so we can reinforce from that one and oh, we can take that region as well Okay. Let my uh, thing just sit here and uh, bombard him. You're doing good. Oops. You alright over there, boss? Yeah, he, he dropped the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the worm. Okay, let's go take a couple of you guys and do this. I'm just going to kind of secure this base. Uh, in the meantime, we'll grab that too. And we're going to attack the flank over here, although he does have good militia. I think the Fidekin can take it, though. So we'll take that. Yeah, can you stop uh, fight the Atreides there? Yeah, should be yeah, they're playing really well. These guys are like responding and counterattacking and doing a lot of good stuff. No one compares to Sardaukars. I chased them off. Arrakis. The power of my artillery drones. <laughs> Bombarding from 10 years away. Yeah, artillery drones are pretty savage. They're really good. This is going to screw up a sanctuary, which is going to be really nice against Ekaz. Uh, I need to get some like... More main base stuff. I think we're fine. That one's all geared out, and we can do the. Soon we'll have Chome, Chome integration. Yeah. Oh no, he's got a ship. He's evolved. <laughs> I need to get the donkeys now. I don't think you can do that. That ship doesn't do much damage, though, thankfully. But let's go ahead and get sky gazing just to be safe. And we're out of here. All right. So let's get this. And then we can get a uh, missile turret down here. Head out. And I'm going to bounce across and hit his other spice field on the other side. Do it. Do it. Let the hate flow. I'm going to attack. Counter attack the Atreides. That's what I like to hear, brother. That's what I like to hear. Keeping up the good Grub work. Grubby did manage to stop my liberation uh, ploy down there. What a, what a, what a, a scheme. All right, so we need to go heal, and then we'll prepare more worm strikes. I could probably do a, a bit of a mass decap on the Atreides here. Um, although Ekaz has got to be hurting now, especially if I take the other spice field over there. Yeah, and the trader buff is only against uh, Grubby's forces. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, I'm getting decapped by some random raiders. Classics. How's turn making money? Uh, I have five spice fields. So, and I also have like well of riches and a couple other things, and you know all that good goodness. Oh, he's flying away. Did he peace out? Yeah, just yeah, he did. You definitely want to decap yeah. that. Just leave one guy. Destroy the airfield, and then just leave one guy to decap it, and then you'll be you'll be good. Okay, so Shawnee's still alive. I didn't I didn't lose Shawnee here. Oh, I forgot about this raid on the other side. Uh, it was really bronze odi of me. Oh no, they're still here. All right, so we'll do a dual pronged attack here. So let's get a couple more warriors, and they can uh, spawn over there. I think I'm gonna buy into the chome. So I can hire mercenaries as Fremen, which is weird, but, um, you know, it, it could work. 
And uh, where do we have some building slots? We do here. So we can get the research hub. Don't really need it at this point. Dude, I'm loving the free Sardaukar car I'm getting, by the way. It's just the greatest thing ever. Okay, let's get heavies. No one compares. I've heard the stories. Okay, where oh, it ate, it ate my drone. <laughs> Grubby's throwing out the GG. GG's. All right. Oh, network they, issue. They conceded. All right. Yeah, the Ninja Fit Aiken are busy sunbathing. They are. True. True. Five, yeah, it was five spice, but I had three rare minerals. And um, so I had the Well of Riches and then two uh, two mineral spots. Yeah. All right. GG. That'd be Alliance Road for us, though. Yeah, it was, it was good. Let's see if he's going to, if you want, if they want to do another one. Some scrappiness, you know, just catching the armies out and whatnot. Oh, the Fremen stealth playstyle is so fun. It's it's such a such a fun <laughs> style. Yeah. All right, so checking here, and they're adding us. Here we go. GG guys. GG. GG guys. <laughs> wow, you guys are so good. It was it was wild, man. It was wild for sure. But Fremen can be snowbally. Um, if it's like a from what if it's like a situation where it's just like team versus team and there's no like third faction to kind of counter their aggression, um, so, uh, yeah, it was it was a lot. With Ecas, you can expand so much, and with Carino, their their authority gain is so slow. I was just like, I can't expand. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had, you had a nice edge. small terrain, but then you had six crew per harvest there. What? Yeah, that was pretty nice. <laughs> oh, you had That's six? Crazy. So you're saying on the Carino... Oh, I didn't know you could have that many, Pwn. You yeah, had six? Uh, w well, normally, like, I got the upgrade that gives you plus two, the tech, and then I had the uh, counselor that gives you plus two. Yeah. So... Damn. I was just basking in the, the spice crews. <laughs> yeah, and the Fremen can also kind of ignore... So you you did a good job, Brubby, uh, with the Lady Jessicas. Like you know, blocking Thanks. me. But the uh, the Fremen can kind of just ignore it. Like I do take the yeah. I, <laughs> I realize and give you an attack bonus, right? No, it's the opposite. You, so you get a twenty percent bonus against my armies, but um. Oh. Yeah. So I somebody, thought I thought I thought you get a small reward as well, like a bonus, like it's a surprise attack. Wait, the way it reads, it reads as if the perpetrator gets twenty percent bonus damage. Are you saying that? Maybe not I'm true? crazy. I don't know. I've always been confused on that one. Some folks in my chat, Davok, how does that work? The idea would be, the idea <laughs> would be the surprise damage that you would inflict from such a treacherous act. You do, you normally lose lands rad too, but the friend. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, th I thought it was you. You betray the buff, thus, the the person that you betray is now got now pissed but yeah. you've seen the movie no spoilers for Brubby. you've seen the movie uh, dune <laughs> i one. know the story it's fine <laughs> okay yeah the the, the trailer oh, you, you yeah. haven't seen dune one bro yeah I, yeah yeah i've seen the i've seen the david lynch version mm. oh, okay. the, the, the really june one the one with the battle what? plug in it remember so you didn't know yeah. you didn't know that there was no satellites over arrakis and the atreides will die in the dark no, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, so oh, okay. he's right. The traitor gets the buff. That's fine. I don't, oh. I don't care. Oh, the traitor. Oh, okay. So yeah, okay. I'm still learning stuff, too. Evil. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See? I know some things. <laughs> you do, man. You do. The betrayer gets 20% more damage. Wow, that's brutal. Oh, my yeah. God. So I gave you a lot, of, a lot of bonus against me, actually. I didn't think. <laughs> I thought, like, I'm going to tank your Lancelot. And then when you did it, I was like, oh, but he doesn't have any Lancelot. <laughs> oh, my God. I just learned that today. Oh, that's so savage. Oh, man. Do, oh. Does this give you any negative side no. effects as Fremen? No. Nothing. I don't think there's oh, any so negative, bro. Carino gets a buff by affected treasons because he expects it. To oh, so the Emperor <laughs> gets a... So the Carino faction gets a buff from assassinations. Oh, man, we're learning oh, a lot here today, okay. huh? And, got, and when you when you kill uh, Ika's militia, you lose Lancelot. Yeah, you lose guess, influence. Or, or influence, yeah. That yeah, did okay, affect that's... me. That did affect me. I was losing influence. Yeah. We, yeah. we weren't playing for the Lance Red, knowing that he was uh, <laughs> he was Fremen. That wasn't our goal. <laughs> yeah. So you guys won uh, in that game. Which one of you guys got the reroll? One of you guys got the office, which gave you a reroll? I'm not sure what you're saying. I, I, I got the reroll. That's the 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 uh, Lancelot thing that you voted for me. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, that... So for both of your factions, for Ecas and for um for Atreides, that's like one of your biggest win cons because then if you become elected governor, 
you can get yeah, you can't stop it you, you can't stop it you get rid of loss of rights it's so brutal um so that right. was like when you guys got that i legit thought we were maybe in some trouble i was like oh man if governor comes up soon like because the only way to stop yeah, the it only pro is to kill the base that's so true that's so true but i only had like uh 300 launch oh, and i needed yeah. to get up to 450. Yeah. so i was mm -hmm. So the plan would he he had more Grubby had more uh, Lancelot than I did. So the plan would have been to get him one, and then use the the that to get him governor. Yeah, like the long term you, plan. You, now you messed up when you got when the uh, force truce came up and you guys like voted Grubby <laughs> to get the force truce because we also did. Uh, yeah, because that would stop you from capping my stuff. Yeah, we were, we were nervous. Yeah, we were nervous. <laughs> I was like, he just turns like, did we get it? I was like, yeah, you got like 700 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, how, that's how I knew that we made a mistake when you guys voted for the exact same thing. <laughs> wow, they're really in on this. <laughs> I, saw, I saw all your villages unliberating. I yeah. was like, oh, I think I made a mistake there. Well, and ECAS, ECAS also cannot, I believe they can't betray truces. Uh, no, I, yeah, so it's even worse. <laughs> it's the, it's yeah. legit the worst. You know, it reminded me of the first time I played multiplayer against Brubby. Yeah. And uh, uh, I, I was uh, Vernius and he was Carino. And then at some point it came up that I could obstruct. I just got 10k hegemony, pretty high hype moment. I only have like 20 hours in the yeah, game. Yeah. So I just obstructed this fuel cell thing or something. Yeah. Uh, and I really needed that in every single way. Every tech that was associated <laughs> with it, I lost it. Oh, my entire my army became sluggish, and he didn't need it. Yeah, just, I'm good at defeating myself in this game. Also, I lost five of my seven units to a war. Oh, that's the worst feeling. Because, dude, you were having good momentum down there. You were, like, decapping two bases, and, like, that would have been a big setback for us. So that, like, that play was... Um... You know, very fortunate for us. We're very lucky to get that, you know. Very lucky, yeah. Actually, yeah. What, wait, the truce did do something good for me because I did have political entente, which meant I got three Lonsrad cards yeah? when you broke the treaty with me. So that's, I did get something out of it. That's true. It was like a quick reinforcement. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Ch Chad says that you lose out on uh, spice exchange rate and stuff as Fremen. For oh, so if I break... See? Okay, so I did lose some... I was wondering why my exchange rate was like 0.4. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> So you do get punished. Yeah. So they, they figured out a way where that is not without repercussions. Yeah, no. Fremen could get really rich, though, actually, because they can just go after neutral spice fields. It's, it's pretty wild. Yeah, yeah it's good for 2v2 when it's, like, safe, right, to get any, almost any uh, yeah. in uncapped territory. Oh, yeah. There, well, was, there was a lot of safe stuff. I started a car to Turin, and I got yeah. gold. Oh, yeah, so that, that was, was another nice reason. Because yeah, that's good. Well, Pone was able to give me two Sardaukar with the Imperial Edict thing, so I had, like, these super elite units in my early armies. That was um, that was pretty powerful. Yeah, that was, like, why some of those fights were one-sided. It's because those elite... Can units. I ask you something, Chirrut? Yeah, what's up, man? So, um, what, when I saw your army, it was, beside it being a lot bigger, uh, I was really wondering what kind of buffs you had for your army, like uh, HQ-wise. Did you have armor bonuses, health bonuses? Yeah, so I was I, really curious about that. I had the manpower building, um, and I had a command post for cost reduction, but I also had a siege, which gave me uh, military strength. Um, mm. But more importantly, I used Shawnee. So she's the hero that yeah. you act. I made all my units stealth, and then I activate her ambush, so then I get, like, I like I think it's like a 200% damage buff for a short period of time when I attack you. Really? So, yeah, so it's like it's very cagey in positioning. If you get caught without your stealth, your army will be pretty yeah. weak. But if you get it, you just like steamroll armies. It's um it's bad. Yeah. Oh, that's also why I saw your army sometimes disappear because it's an activated because I was like, why can I see him sometimes? Well, my warriors weren't invisible, but everything else had permanent invis. Yeah, um, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it How was How would you counter you if you were facing a Chani stealth ambusher? Uh, so let's see. Well, it depends on the faction I'm playing. So, man, there it's... is a building that detects stealth units. Yeah, the stealth the and stealth detection is territory. nice, and you can also use probe setups. So, like Fremen are pretty predict predictable in the way that, like, uh, you know, if you're aggressing near them or like trying to take a territory near them, you can almost always expect a worm. So having like a probe setup or uh, or like baiting worms out. So like a feign. So you like take a base and then you just like stop capping it and run, and they might have already used their worm charge, right? Um, uh, so like baiting them out into engagements and then just like fleeing before the worm arrives like those kind of things can be good um What's the cost of the worm the worm has three charges and it has like a cooldown so it just it just charges up over time and you can run out for sure um but yeah the worm thing a late game also my army falls off like if you get a really elite ecas yeah. army 
this the whole stealth gimmick is good for like bouncing around and sniping early and mid game, but late game it's not as good as at like a big Death Star fight. Like, so once e e Kaz gets their uh, their monument like starship, like their armies just kind of steamroll everything. Yeah, you got it that at the very end. Um, the the ship, which was good, and yeah, well, my entire army was dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one trip, one minor. Uh, wrench in the plan but if you if yeah. you guys have... the, the, the only problem that i had no army whatsoever when i had the army yeah. buffer but for the rest <laughs> it was great well if you survive till if that was an ffa game you know you could be politicking being like hey the fremen are like at my base if anybody wants to take their lands and yeah. you know that kind of yeah. thing like ffa takes really nullifies a lot of the early pressure to an extent because there's a lot of politics involved and you know if someone's seen as a tyrant you know it changes things up for sure but yeah three versus one is pretty rough yeah, <laughs> for anyone, and Fremen pisses people off because they need to like be aggressive with yeah. that, right? Yeah, they yeah. expand a lot, and people see that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're very like very obvious when they're usually with Fremen. The best way to win, in my experience, is to go rapid expansionism and hedge with early craft workshops. Um, so you yeah. know those yeah. craft workshops? Like if you build those in yeah. the early game, it, it banks hedge that you can never lose, right? So it's kind of yeah, like yeah, a yeah. subtle strategy. Yeah. Works pretty well. Yeah, Chad that says, makes, that's literally the only strat I have. I didn't go for it now because I was like, I, well, I, I'm pretty sure I'm the worst player among the four because I lose to, uh, I, I'm sure I was going to lose to you guys and I lose to my brother. So I thought if I just try to do some military distraction, but it, it's nothing like an RTS. Like I can't just take my unit somewhere and then attack and, and then go back, <laughs> blink out or something. There's worms, there's supply, yeah. there's... Yeah, there's so much going on, and I just end up being overactive when it's too risky, and I lose it. I thought if I can buy time, then Brobby can set up some grand machinations. <laughs> yeah, we we notice him starting to set up that that base snipe behind me. I was like, oh, yeah. I need to be ready, but Grubby's on my border. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. That like proxy airfield back there. If, if the situation was like not as dire at that point, that would have been a big problem. Just like flying into Pone's base while Grubby like pounds him from the south. It was. Uh, that was that was that was a really clever play for sure. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Those uh, those artillery drones just like hammer hard. That for Carino, like those deployable yeah. drones. Yeah, they're very strong. Yeah, pretty good. Though uh, probably uh, Chani with the cloak boys would be pretty good against that, since that's probably how you want to play against them, right? Get up close undetected. Yeah, if you can sneak up on the Carino armies, but you, yeah, if you kill like three or four drones early, yeah. But man, late game Carino armies with like. The big ship and Sardaukar and like flamethrowers, it's pretty rough for the Fremen um, late game, in my experience. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's also why I got Gurney to maybe to run up to the artillery, dr artillery drones. Yeah. No, Gurney's a great choice. He's, he, I think he's probably the stronger of the two options, but I haven't played much of Trades. I was no. just about to get hit my 10k hero. <laughs> yeah. Almost. <laughs> you lads, I, I, I built my Hegemony building. I was getting ready to build the second, and then Grubby did that raid down there and like took it from me. I was like, oh! I was legit nervous when that happened. I was like, oh god, we're in trouble. Like he's he was like have... right up to your base too, and then the Atreides airfield yeah, back there. I thought they were going to two v one you. Yeah. That's why Honestly, I had to slap. <laughs> If I didn't make as many blunders over the course of the game, then that may actually have had some substance, but our economy was pretty dire, so mm. it was it was tough to like not go out of balance when losing like one or two regions mid. Got it. Uh, either way, a lot of fun. Uh, my brother and I are actually going to watch your VOD uh, of your point of view a bit, <laughs> yeah. and then we're going to see how you do uh, we want us in battle. <laughs> yeah, and if you if you ever have any questions or anything, we uh, we can just hit us up and we can we can give you some some tips on some factions. I don't know Ekaz, but the other ones I know somewhat well. So. Yeah, that, yeah, that'd be awesome. GGs. And, uh, we, we could play against sometime, maybe this game or Warhammer or whatever, you know, or could, uh, maybe an RTS. You could one v three us in Warcraft three, dude. Pone and I. Yeah, we... if you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> we hop on, we hop on to play some two v twos every once in a while, and like the, we're like these guys are just like Terminator still. Yeah, we get <laughs> smashed. <dude. laughs> oh. If if we play another four games of two v two Dune Spice Wars, I might just need a one v three in Warcraft to self the ego. But for now, we're good. I feel like you would win. I feel like you would. Like you could probably. Take... I, I think I think you would win. Uh, well, I I, I don't want to underestimate Brubby. Here. Yeah, Brubby, Brubby, Brubby could be good. Also, yeah. Br I don't know what your skill is on Warcraft, but I. If, if you were up anywhere near me in turns level, we're pretty sure Grubby would be like, oh man, I thought I was going to have something to do. He'd like run over with the Blade Master, and I'd be like, how do we stop this man? Yeah, we're pretty bad, for sure. 
I, I, I really love playing with you guys. I learned so much. Thank you guys. Oh, anytime, dude. Hit us up and we'll, uh, we'll be down to party. Yeah, GG, right. guys. That was GGs. A lot of fun. GGs. Catch you guys later. GGs. Catch you later. Have See a great day. Bye. See ya. Bye. Thanks for the games. Cheers. All right, guys. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to see if Pwn wants to keep playing. We're going to do some community games now. All right. There is that he is. the real grub here, <laughs> AI? <laughs> we, had, we had an AI grubby appear to uh, <laughs> hang out with us, yeah. No, he did great, though. If they didn't, uh, that decap thing went better for him, man. It's, uh, it's a different game. Right. Yeah, he. Uh, I mean, so let's... I think my army would have drove his back because he had just bought two mm, two of my uh, militias. But it, it would have still taken a minute rather than him just doing the instant flee after realizing the uh, the blunder of the the force truce. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was it was that was really nuts, right, dude. You want to play more? Or you got a jam. I, know you got uh, I, I will I will watch because I don't want to get nuked and everybody in chat wants to. Oh, dude, I was going to nuke you. Oh, it was going to happen. <laughs> well, man, GG's. It was, it was a I, good game. Yeah, GG's, dude. Uh, always fun. Undefeated 2v2 as always. You know, except in yeah, Warcraft it, where our record's like 1 in 15 or something. Uh, no, those <laughs> games never happened. Oh, God, dude. We gotta the do undefeated a, duo continues. We got to do a stream of Warcraft of us just losing like seven games in a row. Just like, oh. And that's what it would be, too. People be like, can't wait to see these guys in action. Where yeah. it's like, oh, oh, we've lost again. Let's change up our strategy. Oh, this one didn't work either. I do feel, I do feel as if... Um, I do feel as if he could probably 1v3 us in Warcraft. Yeah, uh, we, we, we might be able to get a better game in Age of Empires, but uh, no. I, I don't know what is. I don't know. If oh, he's, he's very good at Age of Empires, Empires, too. He's very good. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I don't know if Brubby plays. Oh, Empire. yeah. That's true. Oh, dude. This game. So I love Spice Wars. It's so much fun. All right, brother. GG. I'm going to get a lobby. Right, GG. If you change your mind, yeah, feel free to join one. Good, good luck in the, uh, the battles to come. Well, likewise, man. Take care. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. I was impressed. They, you know, he said he was newer, but he had some really good instincts. I think, uh, I think if Grubby keeps practicing this game, he's going to be very scary because <laughs> he's just getting into it. And his his instincts were pretty good in terms of like hedge pushing and uh, a lot of things like that. So I, I think it would be pretty terrifying. Yeah, let's go, buddy. Anyone's welcome to join. By the way, I just made a lobby. Um, we're going to do standard FFAs here. And um, I think it's time to let the Baron feast. So let's go ahead and do Kron and Peter. Yeah, he's the one that... Is it? Yeah. Village is under oppression and hey! Alright, one sec, guys. Let's do it. Yeah, this is... This is, so don't leave. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Grubby's gonna be nuking Pwn before we know it. <laughs> yeah. Please lure Grubby into Warhammer. Uh, yeah, I'll ask him if he wants to play. He'd, he'd be good at it. He'd be really good at it, for sure. His RTS skills are pretty insane. I was just looking at a video. All right, then, man. I like, have fun. You guys want the chonk, right? The Baron? Get him with the ham trousers. He has <laughs> the ham trousers. Uh, I'm going to play an extremely different Baron playstyle. I'm not going to go Chome. Oh, God, I just got something in my eye. I have, like, Bible hair right now. It's, like, long Jesus hair, and it's like, oh, man. It's, like, poking me in the eye. Oh. I'm, I'm straight out of the Old Testament right now. Hannah says it's Prince Charming hair, but... Yeah. All right. Is everybody ready? Yes. Okay, good luck, have fun. Let's do it, baby. Nanny Ori Dune crossover it is. Yeah. Next time we play, we'll, um, I got that dirty rat hair, it's true. We're playing, uh, we're, Vernius Assassin, we're playing Baron Assassin. Sorry, cannot play the game, no problem. Adios, man. So we got one spot open. Uh, do you guys want the Vernius Assassin play, or, um... <laughs> the Messiah, what? No, dude. Come on with that. Uh, all right. So we got I Rage in here. Cool. Uh, please do not leave. Well, hopefully they'll know. So we got uh, Diguala on Atreides, Aniori, and then I'm going to be uh, the Harkidens here. 
So Hearts where we got Kron. He's really good. He's a, the oppression guy. So he basically gives all your villages faster build speed with oppression. You get manpower and uh, also Solari, which is really nice. But we're going to be going like agent, secret agent Harkonnen. You know? Hey. So I have to avoid the Fremen here. I have to avoid them. All right. So here he comes. Okay. Is he ready yet? Ready up. Fremen feel really good though, honestly, man. Like I, they've been one of my favorite factions to play lately. Just the, uh, I mean, I've only played maybe two or three games on them since the uh, update, but God, they feel smooth and fun. And like the, the aggro, the, the play style, it's just, it's so exciting. Any idea if this game functions on Steam Deck? I don't know what Steam Deck is. I'm a bit of a tech boomer. Military Harks. We're going uh, like tw mustache twirling scheming Harks here. So I don't know how good that's going to be, but we're going to try it. Only the Messiah would deny being named the Messiah, I know. Stilgar is so good in the movie. Oh, he's so fun. He's so fun. I look like a, someone who lives on Arrakis right now. I have like long, wild hair and then just like a filthy beard and mustache. I just am so haggard looking right now. Yeah. Boomer alert. What is Steam Deck? Is Steam Deck like a, like a console or... Baron assassinates by sitting on you? He probably could. I mean... I don't know if like if Frank Herbert ever mentions how big the um, how big the Baron actually is, you know. I don't know if he does. Yeah, always wondered about the Schemy Assassin Harks. They're pretty good. There was a player who got me with them the other day, so he kind of inspired me a little bit. Yeah, I obfuscated the wrong tech as I always do, so it didn't go off. Not to mention turns the <laughs> knife in his house full of sand. I actually have this really cool. Um, so my great-grandfather, dude, there's some wild-ass stories about this man. But my great-grandfather, he was kind of like, so he came back from World War II. He fought in the European theater. And when he came back from World War II, he kind of became, um, all right, let's pause. So it's always etiquette to pause right out of the gates, by the way. Um, and with Harks, you just take your first vice field right away. All right. So he fought in the uh, European theater, and he came uh, back. And after he came back, he kind of... Became a bit of a traveler, like, uh, like I don't know, like, is that where the term, like, hobo would come from? Because he used to jump on trains with literally a sack with his clothes and maybe some some alcohol and just travel across the United States. Um, and he would just, like, camp out in the woods in random areas. He, he just became kind of a wild man, right? Um, and, you know, if there's an opportunity, I'm sending Sardaukar to kill Atreides. Oh, I love the flavor. All right. But anyways, long story short... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and rally point those guys over there. So he did that, and um, he used to craft things, though. He was like a craftsman, too. So he used to make, like, uh, he used to just make, like, all sorts of stuff, like food utensils and knives. So he made this knife out of, like, an animal bone he found and, like, some scrap metal, and it's, like, super cool with, like, a handmade leather, um, leather uh, like, carrying piece. It's, it's, like, just one of my prized possessions. It's really cool. Yeah. But anyways, that, that's that's long story short there. So we're playing the Chonks. Um, for the Chonk, my build order is pretty standard. Yeah. Uh, so we got Plascrete. We definitely take that next. Plascrete for the Baron is, is really, really big. Ooh, Solari production and resources in this region. Talk about good traits, man. That's really nice. Yeah, the Carino, I think, has the best theme in the game. I would agree with that. Uh, five water there. Unfortunately, it's a Plascrete region, so, or excuse me. Yeah. All right, so first things first, we're gonna, uh, I think I get work ethics first, and then we're gonna go for, we're gonna go for instill fear so we can pillage villages with no like downside. And then we get the uh, the bread tree and get Arax's butchers, which gives us water among other things, right? All right, so let's heal up a little bit. Hobo turn, yeah, he, he was a bit of a vagabond, yeah. He wasn't like, he had a home and stuff. He wasn't homeless, um, my great grandfather. He just kind of, yeah, I think, I don't know if it was the war had some sort of an effect on him or, or what, but yeah, he, he had a really interesting life story for sure. Yeah. It was my great-grandfather. My my grandfather on my mom's side, the, who was his son, was a pretty wild dude also. Yeah, I got, I got dude, if I ever, if we ever start a podcast, Pone and I and my wife and crew will maybe do something like that someday. By the way, Anna's, uh, 
the Smoking Hot Wife is working on a t-shirt business. So she's been designing a bunch of really cool t-shirts and designs and drawing them. And we'll be showing you guys those sometime soon. They're awesome though. They're awesome. They're just the best. All right, so we need to get some militia in here. Um, so we need to get the, yeah, the work ethic, probably getting the manpower is gonna be pretty essential. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we can oppress this if we had had the manpower. That's very cool. I love, I love this game. This is the game, one of the games. Okay, that's actually a good village. We're gonna take that one. 38 for that? No, totally, because that's like a good maintenance center spot. It's got a lot of goodies going there. So do we want to oppress this village and power build here? So let's do this, and we are going to oppress it in a second, and we just need a little bit more manpower. No, we don't have enough right now. Yeah, let's pull back this way. All right, and a one, a two, and a three. Do we have anything we can grab there? Revealing a siege. All right, let's go reveal the siege. The Harkonnens, you always want to reveal the sieges so you can um, punish them, basically. <laughs> Pretty evil, you know. That's it's the evil, just evil Harkonnen thing. So if we oppress this, it'll build 200% faster. So early Harks, you want to uh, oppress those villages. Yeah. All right. And then we go get this because it has the uh, water trait plus also the handyman. I really like that. Although that is another plasteel region. Uh, I think we got to go for the plasteel. Yeah, we want to get that like building tempo. So we'll probably do local hubs too. So before we rush off of instill fear, let's actually do local hubs and then instill fear. And we can pillage this village since you know we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about it too much. What do we have here? Military. All right. Let's get that and um, reveal a siege. Siege is going to give a spying mission time, which is actually pretty damn good for our strategy we're going for. Although the maintenance center, I think, is more important. Hmm. Yeah, I wanted to get a maintenance center that connects everything, so we'll use this base as that. Yeah, oh, dude, I'm, I always burn the sieges as Harkonnen, even if there are no Fremen, typically. it's it, Not only is it in flavor, but it's, uh, it's just also gives you a ton of resources and authority, which Harkonnens can actually play early hedge. You can do it. Um, you definitely can. We already we already played the game of versus Grubby, so that, that one's all concluded for now. Uh, what is that going to give us? Spice for water? Yeah, we'll start on that. We're going Infiltrator kind of Baron, like big, chonky, sneaky Baron. So, yeah, uh, let's get some heavies here. I like to get heavy militia in the villages that I'm going to be um, oppressing. All right, let's go on Arrakis. And um, we are getting local hubs. That's going to make building our villages cheaper. And so we'll build out the infrastructure and then we we prosper. All right. So that looks good. We got Plascrete and Plascrete. And here we can go ahead and get the maintenance center. Yeah, we did great. It was a great game. Love you. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. I think we're all right. I think we're all right. Carthag is here. And, um... Yes, the maintenance center, local hubs. Do you have any knowledge or scientists around? Let's see. Uh, no scientists here. We do have a five water village on the other side. So we're going to take advantage of this, although probably getting a maintenance center first is smarter. Let's do that. And um, yeah, local hubs, man, it takes so long. All right, let's do that. And um, we can build one more building here. So it does give us money per, but we need to get a manpower building there for sure. You can go intercept this guy, and life is good. Uh, so I'm not playing traditional Baron though. So everything I do, take with a grain of salt. I'm playing. I'm playing more sneaky Baron. Um, we're not playing like the classic. Like I'm gonna chome you, Baron, which is good. Oh, we have the shipwreck. Okay, that's an auto take. That's extremely good. Although getting the um, yeah, we got a fuel cell region back here. Um, the spice is online. We still will obviously switch into spice at some point. Uh, do I want to get another one of these? Pillaging? Yeah, and still fear still isn't ready. We went for the, the, the cheaper buildings, which hopefully will be worth it. Find out today. Five water, so let's go ahead and pillage this. Yeah, Baron's good though. He's, he's great. He gets the job done. All right, so we got two manpower buildings. Yeah, we got two popping up. Maintenance center, and we'll get some water there too. So let's get on these range militia. Okay. Looking good. And, um, all right. So range militia are down for the count. We'll just get three basic militia here and pillage this. Imagine Baron on a battlefield rolling around. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of, I mean, his little suit lets him move around a bit, but it's still not much. So 189, Atreides can, can win any of these. So, I mean, getting, uh, maybe I'm going to try, he'll probably go for lands, right? If I could get infrastructure control with hearts, that's crazy. I'm going to go all in and see if I get lucky. Because if they if they choose to go for the lands route or something else, then 
I don't know, it's probably worth, let's see. Now, if I get that, that's really good though, because then I can like power build all these villages and that's just like a power fantasy, right? All right, so aside from this, we got the maintenance center. Let's get a knowledge building so we can not be a complete potato. And Landsrad's on the way. Hey, first time commenting, just wanted to say you seem like a cool... Hey, I appreciate that, Skurg. Thank you for the kind words. Oh, I want infrastructure control, baby. Let's go. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we just get the cheaper upgrades on everything, which is just MLG. We got three water here, but let's go ahead and pump out some knowledge. We need to be able to tech faster with the build we're doing. And um, aside from that, we could do water here. It is a five water region. Oh, God. Yeah, I think we just go for the water. And then we're going to have Instill Fear soon. So that will be knowledge and knowledge. So our haggard knowledge situation is going to be remedied in a moment. Okay, second spice field. So that's obviously the Baron needs spice. So we're going to go for that. Um, and then it is going to be the Sandfall. This will be up here. We may potentially need to fight for that, but we need our water to come online too. Sometimes I wish I could play at like faster speeds even. Recruitment and building cost. Yeah, everything's cheaper on manpower, so we can actually get some uh, gunner. Let's do that to help clear a little bit quicker. Total War Dune Edition, yeah. Basically is. We'll start pillaging again. Oh man, two spice fields right here. Ooh. Oh, and a spice silo. God, the game is like telling me. It's like, Terran, you should go chome. Don't do anything else. Oh, dude, this is just asking for chome. Uh, the maintenance center will hit this. Very nice. So that's going to cover that region. I love it. All right. So let's get one more heavy there. And the chonk is going to come down now. I think, do we have an, uh, let's get our full water before we move that way. And, um, are we going to be oppressing this village? I don't think so. So we'll just fill it out with regular militia. Ask others for faster game speed. No, no, I'm okay. It's just, yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for the suggestion though. Uh, manpower building. Yeah, manpower is big for Harks early on. Um, we can get a main base building from here. How do I want to play this? Do I want to go like political schemey Harks? I feel like I don't care about politics, but going for the early research center with the way I'm playing here. Oh, and we have the re reduction from that. Okay, that's really good. Okay, so we can start pillaging now. So let's get our pillage on. And the tech is done, so we finished Instill Fear. So now we get Arax's Butchers, which is going to give us water and let us kill Militia quicker. And then we go into Eco uh, to get Martial Economy, and then we go into this. I think, actually, you know what? We should probably, before going into that, we should probably get Intelligence Network so we can start pulling some agents. Oh, I know. I'm getting a little fat and greedy, guys. I, uh, I might need to go for the Chome. Oh, don't do it, dude. Stop. It's just, it's just tempting me. And then Office of the Order would go here. So let's buy that slot while we have the redu reduction here. Although Office of the Order is still a ways away. But we are going to get the research boon from the main base. And we already have, what, two research jobs? That's pretty good. That is a fuel cell. But now that we have Instill Fear, we can pillage it. And it'll be cheaper for us to come back and take later. So we got two fuel cells next to us. But yeah, the spice has to flow. Uh-oh, Fremen nearby. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh oh the old Fremen, the old familiar friend of the Baron. So Fremen clearly are going to want these spice fields. Uh, I could get wrecked by some early aggression from I Rage. I Rage is coming for me. Okay, let's do this and get that. And looking good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent. It's my Arrakis. It is my Dune. I really wanted to do like, oh man, we're going to potentially lose a guy here. Yeah, they're taking a lot of, wa the water discipline of the Harkonnens is not, not as good as the Fremen. Uh, did we get it? Okay, we get it. We're good. So 100% probably get a missile turret here. 100%. So survival training is up. Um, I like to get the one where they keep fighting beyond death. I think that's really cool. It doesn't really help you early game, but it's it's pretty heavy metal. Um, all right, so the main base building, we need to save Plascrete to get another one. And we'll get the early, um, yeah, Embassy doesn't really help us. Let's see if we can get peace with the Fremen. The Baron, the Baron is, uh, you know, uh-oh. Yeah-oh. Yeah-oh. That's not what I like to see. Come at me, Militia. Okay, I think I'm pretty, pretty strong here. Let's get a missile turret out of the gate so we don't lose that. He's going up here to pillage that, maybe? Which would keep me from capping it for a while, but should be fine. Let's go ahead and gear you up. Uh, can we take down this Harvester or his uh, Ornithopter there that's scouting us? We're going to kind of poke it a little bit. No freebies for you. Yeah, he's just pillaging. Okay, that's fine. I was getting nervous there, but the Baron, the Baron's sweating bullets. You know, the Fremen are uh, pretty scary. 
All right, so we got um, advanced engineering almost done. That's pretty good. And then here, I wish I had another statecraft building to build, but we're going to go uh, get the administrative hall. Master, All right. Baron is the size of Arrakis, kind of. He's pretty huge. He's quite, he's quite a large man. All right, so we need to float our economy by pillaging just everything in sight. So, uh, spacing wreck now, just to start getting the parts, maybe? I don't think he'll be able to take the heavies plus the missile turret. And here we have four militia two and main base coverage, so I think we're okay. I think he's leaving. Yeah, I think I think the man is leaving. Okay, and then we got the fuel cells here at 69. Let's pillage that. And another spice field here. Wow, man, there's so many spice fields near us. It almost feels stupid to not go for it. Okay, we get a free executioner, which is nice, but it will put us at negative 51. Ouchies. We're ready, Barrett. All right, this one's going to be ready in, what, 12 days? And the missile turret here, able to hold off that attack. Let's go attack here. No free technologies at the moment. Intelligence network's coming, and, um... Oh, uh, no, I do YouTube full-time. Yeah, before I did YouTube full-time, I was an athletic director, so I ran sporting events, um, which is pretty fun. It was, it was a good gig, but it was, uh, you know... I, I love doing this, obviously. It's very fun, so... Uh, how long till that one is there? Okay, so I think we go grab that spice field. It is 86, so we can pillage this region on the way and grab that plascrete while we're at it. That's going to be pretty nice. I really don't like the way the Fremen are looking at me on the southern border. I'm going to try and get peace with him. Usually Fremen would definitely come after the Baron. Uh, is he going to take it, though, is the question. I just used most of my, my money there, which is fine. Let's go grab this. All right, so let's do that, and um, he's just pillaging. That's fine. We're going to get our second spice field up, and let's get the free military attack there. So we have Arrakis's butchers, and uh, okay, he's getting a lot of stuff. He's looking a little bit crunk. Uh, I don't really care about any of this. None of that matters. Chome, Patrick. Okay, we're going to chome it. Do you have another? Yeah, no, just that. No, we're under you organize tournaments. Yeah, that's what I used to do for a living. I used to organize tournaments, but obviously those were much more large in scale. We would have, um, you know, basketball tournaments, soccer, or football, you know, wherever, you, wherever you're from. And let's buy these discounts. Uh, track and field. I used to run track meets. That was pretty fun. Probably my favorite um, was I really like the basketball tournaments, even though I don't like not a big basketball enjoyer myself. Oh, we're capturing this territory. That was supposed to be a pillage. Oops. Man, the chunk is going to just you know, put one vote into this to get the minor houses and go from there. Yeah, Savage Cleansing is going to be for sure the tech we get later on. Um, it's right here. So we are going to get that. Um, but our military isn't even big enough to take on a siege at this point. So we're not we're not sweating it too hard. So intelligence agency. Um, and then we can go get the Office of the Order and the Martial Economy and whatnot. Okay, so Intelligence Network's up. So we're going to be recruiting. Uh... He denied it, which is a pretty big tell that he wants blood. <laughs> oh boy, I did. I won. That was a different job, though, where I won the employee, of, where I got the Applebee's gift card as a reward for my good work. That was a different job. Um, okay, so this is the one with the maintenance center, right? So we could take this region soon. I think we just go for the spice field, though. All right, let's deploy that harvester. Get that online. I built an early missile turret there, so hopefully we'll be all right. Let's get some H2O there. Uh, why did I stop organizing? Well, I left the job, so at that point I wasn't organizing anymore, obviously. All right, so let's go get this. We obviously want to expand away from the Fremen, if possible. We don't want them to be our neighbors. That's not They're like the worst neighbors you can ask for. The, Vernius and Fremen are like the worst neighbors, because they're just like always going to be trying to assassinate you or do something troll, you know? Let's get another Plascrete building. Um, Harken, Harkonnen's Plascrete situation is usually pretty good. Because you oppress the villages with Plascrete and you get double the amount, right? Which is great, so. I gotta watch out for assassinations, too. He could come after me. Turns only fans only good. Uh, that siege, I mean, yeah, it does lower spying. Well, I can't say I didn't make a... Uh, I didn't see anything. I don't know what Nanny or he's talking about. Yes. Let's go ahead and get that Plascrete. Ah. Fremen also. Yeah, Nanny Ori's politicking a little bit with me. It's like the movies. Yeah, I love it. Oh, and we got this too. That's Oh, with scientists? Wow, that's nice. And then we have a spec region down here, which is Moondu Valley. Okay, we have a couple 
pretty nice little regions that we can uh, we can grab. And our harvesters are operational. Martial economy will start to pick us up here soon. The chonk needs to grab this. It's going to be 95, so it's going to be a little ways off. But we're we're going to, I think, like, considering the eco around us, it would be really stupid not to go chome. So we're gonna we're gonna go chome, but we also will maybe keep assassination as like a tertiary win con, right? Uh, so let's go into the chome branch, and that is gonna be taken. Okay, really? Wow. Okay, that's that's pretty that's pretty aggro. So let's get some uh, Cerberus. Uh, how are we doing? We're gonna kill one unit. It looks like I wish I could tell the turret to attack this guy. Come on, attack the right one. But that's that's some early aggro for sure. We may have to just yield it and expand north. We're gonna see how the fight goes. But rally point here. We'll get the Cerberus. Oh, wow. He retreats. Interesting. Um, I don't know. What, oh, maybe he, he thought my army was coming, so he retreated. All right. So let's get these guys rebuilt. I think we could defend him with the missile turret. We can fight him off. So we'll just like hang down here for now. Uh, yeah. Fremen, uh, I think he saw me coming and decided to flee. We almost got you down. Okay. So let's just fully upgrade all the villages. And this one is water and plascrete. Yeah, we'll take a little water here. Why not? Let's get this, and um, next up, we could get a military base here, but I really, really want to do other things with that village. All right, the <laughs> step wagon stuck in the infantry. Oh my god, that's funny. All right, pillaging, continuing on our merry Harkonnen way. Okay, so this is going to be the shield wall. All right, shield wall in time. Let's go ahead and get manpower, because you need a lot of manpower with Harks because of all your um, harvesters and the fact that they... The offices of the order eat up your, your goodies. Okay, he's coming back. Interesting. So, yeah, we can go down there in a second. Um, we'll send the Cerberus here, and let's go ahead and get a couple more Cerberus. I feel like they trade pretty well into early Fremen. So let's pillage that, and um, we'll keep a trooper here and gather up. I mean, he's going to take a... He's taking a lot of damage. We can definitely win now, I think. So Cerberus, we want to get the... Um, yeah, attack speed. Yeah, we'll get the red fluid there on them. Main base building. We could get the Mason Skill. That's going to let us build out pretty quickly. Um, so he's trying to destroy buildings, but it takes a long time to destroy buildings now. It was easier before. Yeah, so he tries to destroy the buildings, and it doesn't go well for him. Okay, I think we're fine. Like, we've kind of weathered the early Fremen storm a bit. And, uh, I mean, he is making me go through a lot of manpower, which is pretty troll. So good on him. Good on him in that regard. Uh, all right, we'll do this. Office of the Order. Let's get more militia here. And we're just going to hang out nearby. For you. Yeah, I had to just spend a whole bunch of manpower, goodness. So do we have the... Yeah, we need to get the military building. Let's get the, this. Uh, development research. So, hmm. Yeah, we got one heavy here right now. Um, the spice field's going to be free soon. We can take the Fremen warrior. I wonder if he's going to come back. Only friends. Is that what you guys want? Only friends. Yeah, that's pretty great. This field is nice, though. It has scientists. So if I can get my clutches on that, that would be huge. All right, let's go over here and see if I can get this. He might keep coming back. I think he's losing interest, though, slowly but surely. So let's oppress that region. And um, then we need to oppress this spice field, too. So we're going to oppress everything. And that's going to massively increase our economy, especially when we get the chum. Uh, I'll take him anytime. We'll let you know. He's, so he's he's trying to offer me Sardaukar so I can take care of the Fremen for him. Which is, I love the flavor of it. And if I get desperate, I will request the Sardaukar, obviously. All right. And I'm going to get Robin because Robin will give me extra militia slots to fight off the Fremen. So we'll see if that works out. Um, definitely a maintenance center here. It's going to be good. And um, all right, let's take that. And then we can head back over here with everyone else. Keep you here to capture that. And any missions I can get. We do have combat drugs. Do have a little bit of combat drug action. All right, let's get this. So three offices of the order, massively going to be digging into our manpower, by the way. 81 for that. We do have uh, five militia up there. So like I said, Harkonnen villages are not slouches. Modular parts, so we just need more manpower. So I just got to spam manpower like everywhere. Everywhere, team. It's got to happen. All right. So last building here would be a manpower building. Let's go replenish our supplies safely. Let's get militia in there. And offices of the order have kicked in, so now our eco is going to start popping. You know, it's true we have wished a good anniversary on the stream. What this? Oh my, <laughs> OnlyFans anniversary. I'm going to probably get that voted on me, but I'm going to try and force it on the Fremen. Uh, gonna vote Frems for markets. 
All right, so we're going to try and oppress the Fremen people a little bit. If I lose Landsrad, that's pretty crap. Um, but yeah, I would have to make like an embassy or something. Uh, Atreides and okay, we got a lot of a lot of action going here, guys. So let's go ahead and vote the Fremen on this. I could get the Landsrad thing to stop there. Okay, putting trial on Atreides, do it. All right, so Fremen are going to get nailed with the controlled markets. Uh, let's get a manpower building here, pull you around. We can grab this too in a moment. Would like to get some more agents out. I, I just, the greedy, fat, barren hands just couldn't resist the call of the chome with like three to potentially four spice fields. It's just too good not to take, you know? It's too good. You want me to dress up as the baron on OnlyFans? Okay. I could be, I could be persuaded. How are we looking here? <laughs> I'm slowly becoming the Baron as I age anyways, just all fat and decrepit. Um, all right. So yeah, you can see our manpower just went down to the pits, right? Because of the uh, offices of the order. So we need to just like use whatever we can. Our Plasteel is 95 at the moment, which is pretty respectable. All right, so we clear out that village. I don't think that the Fremen are... Wow, literally like everything is hit by a maintenance center here. This is really clean. I don't think the Fremen can oppose us too much anymore, at least early on. I think we could defend our borders. Yeah. He says, I see how it is, Baron. It is It is that way. It is indeed. All right. So we got the recruitment center. So that's a massive jump in manpower. Massive, massive jump. Okay. Looking good. You oppressed my people, and now you don't give us fair... That's, that's how it works. Oppression simulator. All right. So here, uh, we could go ahead and get this. Let's get down here so we don't get shy looted. And we have another agent. Let's put him on Chome for now. Although we probably want to go Spacing Guild with one agent to get the uh, Supply Drop mission. Baron. Baron. What was going to be our last building here? So Spice Silo, that's right. So where do we want our Spice Silos? Yeah, we want one here. So that's where the Spice Silo would go. We need to go capture this territory soon. But I, I wanted to wait till I was a little bit more stable against the old Freeman before I, uh, before I tried that. Ready, Let's pillage this so the Fremen can't set up on our border. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, really? They want to fight? I'm pretty sure I can take him on. His army looks a little smaller now. We're both kind of just jockeying for this. He might pull back and do a worm call on me. Uh, the Fremen Warriors, they do have dry training, so they have the HP bonus, which is really good. And I get manpower for killing the militia and stuff, so that's pretty, pretty strong. Is he going to my other base? Is he going to pillage that one? I think, I think we try and intercept. I think the Baron is going to get some bloodlust here. Yeah, he's, he's, he's running. Could we take him? He's so much more maneuverable than me. I think I'm just going to just play it safe. Okay, looks like we got Shy looted. We need to get some uh, some dudes to so it doesn't happen anymore. Uh, the pillage is on. We're going to save this. Um, this region here, we can get some minor militia. Let's go ahead and get some fuel cells so we can start a main base buildings and get some basic militia. He's going to go for it, huh? All right. He's doing it. He's going the distance, baby. Manpower. It is hurting our eco a bit, but yeah, we should get all of our, our big uh, our big caravans back online here soon. So let's do that. Go safe mode. And then we do this and go safe mode here. I don't know if we can take his army. I'm going to try, though. Uh, Yeah, we can do combat drugs. So he's running out of supplies on some units. So, ooh, we just maybe chase a little bit. No, I think we're fine. So we fended him off. That's all, that's all we need to do for now. That's all we need to do. And our income is positive again. Great. So we got two of these on safe mode. Yes. Let's gear him out. And it looks like he's pieced out here. So this is obviously going to be somewhere he probably wants to attack. So, yep. Rebellion's going on in the north. Anything to please you. Anything to please you, Baron. Do we have any pillages we can do here? This is a good pillage. Yeah, let's go do that. It's kind of in the... Then we can, like, strike all three of these bases. All right, so that base looks fine. This one, um, we probably wanted to get a maintenance center here. So let's do this and this. So we'll get a maintenance center here. We're ready, that tech is done. So chome integration, and we can just... We're just going to go... We're choming it, guys. Keep choming, 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 choming. Uh, maintenance center, maintenance center, maintenance center. Okay. And then next we focus on a spice silo up here. Would be... Probably need to grab this region, actually, to get the spice silo connection. It'd be silly not to. Pones, Pones is called only nukes. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know how this fight goes. 
Uh, we could try. Why the hell not? Let's 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 see if we can fight. Oh, never mind. He got a lot of invisible units, but we do have the Cerberus. So we're gonna we're gonna try and focus down some of these guys. All right, is that a Fidakin I'm hitting here? Oh my god, it's so scary. All right, so we're getting a little bit of DAC on these guys, and um, now we need to get you guys to target the range units. So let's target the range, boys. Let's run with this and keep targeting the ranged. All right, so the Cerberus are doing it. I don't think he'll be able to take a village after this. I think we'll do enough damage. Yeah, we're gonna get a range boy right here. Okay, one, just kill all the squishy ranged ones. And um, yeah, we might need to switch into more military. The dangerous thing for him is he's gonna run out of supply soon. Okay, so troopers are coming. Yeah, little bit of danger here, a little bit of danger. Um, we don't need to do anything here. That's not where the spice silo goes. He is gonna put, keep pushing it, okay. So I think I got to jump off this and go into early military now. I think I, uh, we don't need mechanization. We'll just go for recruitment initiative. Okay. Uh, is he going to get it? I think he is. Wow, his army is actually quite strong. Okay, so do we have a missile turret here? I'm going to get a missile turret. And up here. Uh, man, I hate to get missile turrets early on like this. It's rough. Okay, Cerberus, let's just get some cheapo guys. And the water should come back in a second. Labathopter. Three and four, and then we can do this. We just need to survive the early Fremen aggression, and then we'll be okay. We we got a little bit a little bit of a tough time on our hands, but we'll try missile turret. That's looking fine. He's taking that region actually. So and then we can grab this in the meantime just to kind of expand a little bit. I could start spamming out more executioners, but yeah, he's got he's he is destroying the buildings there. Yeah, it's a shame. It was a nice little base. It was very cute while it lasted. All right, so Chome Branch in the main base obviously would be huge. Um, we got the warriors here, so let's do that. And then we can get some executioners. Unfortunately, those are just crappy militia, so if he decides to attack that, it's going to be a hard hold. Taking that fight with him was definitely a mistake. Uh, I'll take those sards. So I'm going to request aid from the emperor, which is kind of what we were talking about with Grubby, right? Where you... you um, you know, against the Fremen, obviously politics is pretty big, right? Uh, let's just get Chone Branch and be a big, great, greedy sausage. I don't know where he's going to go next. Um, we could get some executioners. Yes. All right. Just make sure it can't be traced back to me, Baron. You got it. I love the flavor. Uh, we want Landsrad Witnesses right now, because then we can push him back if we get that. So we're going to vote Landsrad Witnesses. Yeah, the recruitment initiative is coming. That'll give us uh, manpower and command points and all that goodness. Losing one territory to the Fremen is not the worst thing in the world. Still not amazing, obviously, but, you know, could be worse. Call Korea. I am calling them. I am. Oh, he, he brings it with a non-aggression pact. I like the flavor of that. Uh, all right. So we're going to support that, and all of you guys head down here. We'll keep the Fremen warrior to decap this. And then the Sardaukar have arrived. Uh, armory, executioners... Let's see, on reaching no health, there's a stack of Bloodthirsty. Well, he has no stacks, they gain armor and attack speed. Huh, that's kind of cool, make him like super tanky. I actually don't know what the right way to build these guys is, but we're going to experiment. All right, so with the Sardaukar arriving and... Oh, he's coming, okay, he's coming to attack me here. That's fine, we can take this unit. We have a lot of guys here. Oh, the Fremen getting sneaky sneaky, I see. How long do we have on this cap? Okay, we have a little bit of time. Do you really want to fight this? We're just going to butcher these guys. We have a whole lot of units right here. All right, so no supply drop right now. He is going to lose a couple units, but we got to pull back and make sure to grab the territory. He's coming up now. I think we're okay, though, with the Sardaukar here. I'm pretty sure we just win it. Yeah, you can see we got the execute on that guy, and he's moving into my missile turrets. This is probably a misplay from him, getting this aggressive, like, in my territory. Like, look how bad this beating is going here. All right, so everything's on fire. Let's do parallel training. And uh, we're going to do combat drugs here. Uh, on the south, we look fine. He did take that territory. But we have the combat drugs, so we probably win this. And we're about to get two executioners, too. Uh, Labathopter is still flying around. Good. All right. I think we win this. Fremen are doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and focus fire here. So let's focus. Get you on this range unit, you on this range unit. And keep working. All right, with the executioners. I think we hold them at bay, which is good. Yeah, he, he obviously doesn't want us to capture that territory, but with the combat drugs in play, I think we're good. Let's get you there, you there to target this and this. Go there. And um, he's running away with that guy, which is fine. Think we get this guy? 
Nanny Ori sending me something or other. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll take some more Sardaukar. He's sending me more Sardaukar. Perfect, perfect. We're leveraging our politics to fight the Fremen Menace. All right, so let's focus fire, focus fire, focus fire. Uh, we have a little bit here. We have a lot of Plascrete saved up. And what is slowed right now? Economy developments? Okay, that's fine. Oh, the Sardaukar arriving in time is so clutch. All right, let's get some more troopers. Okay, it looks like we've won this fight with the Sardaukar arriving, which is pretty fat. Uh, let's see if we can save you, run you away. I don't think we're going to be able to. We probably will get the Execute here. And um, I need to get you on the Spacing Guild. Okay. Oh, no, we messed up the cap. He keeps luring us off that, which is pretty funny. Yeah, this early Fremen army is really good, though. It's very, very strong. It's, it's kind of, you know, what they were encountering last game, right? We just got to weather the old storm here, man. Execute that guy. He's going to get executed. Okay. It's funny because Carino can just keep sending me goodies. He's running out of supplies. And execute. Great. And let's pull you back. Do this. He's got to be just... Yeah, I need to get some like military main base buildings like stat. So let's get the command post. It's going to give us a little bit more. Uh, all right. So troopers are about to arrive. And let's go ahead and get some uh, Cerebris, because I believe that will be a little bit cheaper on me. Manpower is looking fine more or less everywhere. This is where the Spice Silo would go. Great. And let's get you to chase. Let's just get you back. And you can chase, you can chase, you can just hold and cap. So hold position. He's really, really going in on this, isn't he? Alright, so we'll do this. We'll chase here. We're going to just lure him out with the Sardaukar here. One of you troopers can fight there. Let's pull him in, see if we can get him to eat a main base shot. And then we'll hold position here. Yeah, if we can get a main base shot on him, that'd be pretty pretty clutch. Alright, a couple Serbs are on the way out. And we're really, really close to getting it. Let's attack this guy. Unfortunately, I don't have too much in the way of things to... Uh, he's got a siege up here he's reinforcing from, obviously. And he's going to run it away. It's fine. Can't catch him. He's quicker than us, obviously. Uh, to the slaughter. Hopefully he runs off that so I can just cap this and then build some militia here. All right. Let's get some heavy militia. Let's start on a missile turret here. And we do get his guy. Awesome. So now we have Cerberus coming out. So let's get them. Get some executioners. He really wants this area. He really wants it bad. But I think his efforts are going to be stifled here. Regardless, it was good. But he's going to fall behind potentially. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to run into some issues at some point or other. Uh, all right, so where's my, my... Oh, my Labithopter must have died. I think somebody picked it off. All right, so we have a brainwashed agent. We can sacrifice them for uh, supply drops to make that cheaper for later on. We chase down and kill the last of the Fremen. All right, that's, that's outstanding. That went okay, actually. So Spice Silo, then we need to get another Spice Silo. Military base. He did slow down my, my Choming, though. He certainly did slow it down. All right, so let's do that, and let's get this. He'll be back with an army at some point. We need to do a probe setup too and see if he's like got stuff over here. I believe everything is maintenance centered, although, ooh, maybe not anymore actually. Maybe not. All right. Hey, welcome, welcome. Yeah, we got, we were getting attacked by the Fremen pretty heavily. So one building of each type. Okay. So water should come back online. I could go for the spacing guild. If I'm able to get the overlord, then he's going to be probably in danger. Um, so let's go for the Cerberus stack, like Cerberus executioner stack. That's going to be good. Any unit dies, the short range gains bloodthirsty. Okay. Okay, and then here we can go ahead and get the spice silos. Uh, sure. I don't hold grudges. You know, I'm down. I'm down for peace. See, he wants peace now because he probably invested a lot to try and get me, and he, it didn't succeed. I partially did, though. He did take one of my territories. But I'm happy to take peace with him for now. Ah, uh, our Labithopter did get shot down. Clever, clever. Let's go in safe mode, and let's go in safe mode, and get all our harvesters pimping. And then we do experimental factory here, too, so... Uh, yeah, I'll send peace. Whatever, it's fine. And uh, let's send it with a trade agreement. If we can get a trade agreement out of him, I'm going to be very happy. Okay, so we got parallel training. Did he accept it? That would be really funny. Okay, geothermal, insulated valley, screw training program. He did take it. Oh, yes. The Baron just weaseled his way into a freaking, uh, into a trade agreement. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what, that's how you do the Baron. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do Mason's Guilds. Yeah, looking good. We do a probe setup now, because I believe the siege was here somewhere. I'm not sure where he was coming from. All right, I have no clue what's going on. Yeah, you'll learn. It takes time. Yeah, we're doing. Uh, we did our team game earlier versus Grubby. It was the first match, and now we're um, now we're doing the um, just the standard stuff. All right, and then uh, yeah, so we got that. No need for both of us to go into the pits for sure. I, I'm I'm a reasonable man, you know. The Baron is pragmatic here. He's gonna he's gonna make peace when he needs to. Okay, those look fine. Everyone else is cackling 100. percent How dare they cackle? Uh, so I have 160 votes, 300. There's I'm not getting any of this. We just need to get the lands rad by supporting that, putting a little bit into this. I'm down for that, and uh, yeah, nothing else there really matters. Harkonnens can, if you, their blue tree is pretty good actually. I just need to get more knowledge, man. I like that early fight really forced me to uh, to get a little bit crazy there. How do I only have seventy five? Can't water economy and statecraft are slowed down. Oh, was I researching on slow economy that whole time? No, I just switched at the very end. We were in military. Okay, so it's fine. Uh, let's cancel this. You can go grab that, and then we can grab the reveal a seat so we can annihilate them later on. And next we get this territory, but we need to get the spacing stuff. What do you need? We need to get the spacing guild because it's just too juicy not to get. Uh, spice silo is there in between, yeah. And this is not getting maintenance centered at, the at this point, so we need to slap that down. Although, let's go ahead and get a knowledge building. Baron. I need to, I need to pump the pump the knowledge up. Those those are some bad numbers. Water, ready, and let's come back down Water. here to the main base. I think the Fremen like didn't get as far as they wanted, and they kind of changed their plan. Yeah, unfortunately, I failed this mission because my Lavathopter died during all the fighting. Anything for you, Baron. Anything for you, Baron. Now we are waiting. All right, let's get some heavies up here just to be safe. Uh, you know, it comes to a point where you have so much manpower, you might as well just get like heavies everywhere. Um, and uh, we have the manpower building. We could do a little turret here. We could do a listening post too. Although, I wonder if he's going to try and assassinate me, the Fremen player. Hmm, hmm, big schemes. Big scheming. Alright, take the ship parts and reveal a siege. Aha, that's where he was bringing those units from. Oh, that's actually a good siege too, but it's it's going to have to die, so. The Baron will get there eventually. He's going to build up a fat army here. Let's get some gunners. Oh, Robin is here. Alright, we can get Robin now. Do we have enough? Rate Robon, however the hell you say his name. I mangle it all the time. There was some frantic early scrapping. Yeah, this Fremen player is very good. He, he had a good micro and good control. He was he was looking like a beast. Uh, let's get Plaskery here. Yeah, just so we can keep building up. And yeah, it's just a crafty slow, no problem. We have a renegade base near us, which is awesome because then we can get the... Um, yeah, let's get the Space and Guild branch over here. It's pretty far away and safe. We're just gonna need to get it. Oh my God, another Spice Field, wow. Well, and that one's like far away from anybody. Okay, so that's where we get our fourth spice field. Is one of them rebelling right now? It is. Okay, I was like, I could have sworn I had more. Could have sworn. So we're only plus seven. Um, you know, we're not going into green tree, so our expansionism isn't going to be great. Uh, the rates are 2.4. Let's pillage this, make a little bit of money. So yeah, we need to get... Where's our spice silo? It's right there. So we would need a... Sn oh, it's actually touching. Okay, so that region would get the spice silo too. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. All right, let's do this. And how are we looking? All right, so unassigned agents. Show them. That's going to be pillaging. Let's go down that way. We have a fully uh, armed and operational uh, eco station. We'll pillage this. Uh, this is 141 and this is 152. Uh, I have to admit, though, the only reason I didn't lose another territory to the um, to the Fremen was because of the uh, the Carino. But it's really funny because when he gives you Sardaukar, he gets money when they kill things. So he was like basically farming money off my suffering. I, I love I love that. It's the flavor of that is just so fun. Uh, let's get a military academy. Max out that military in case he comes back. We'll do as you order. So this is going to be 152 for that. Is there any like authority stuff I can grab laying around? Renegade base, ship part will be up soon. 
Yeah, we have a really active Discord of Dune players, and everybody's super friendly. Highly recommend it. Really, really good people. Um, and we have like tournaments, we have events, you know, whatever, whatever tickles your pickle, right? Uh, I'm gonna go with Glossy. What does this guy actually do? I never get him. The allied ground units with the least health at short range is sacrificed to heal him. Oh, that's funny. We have to go with Robin. You know, he buffs the unit's damage and he's got a whip, so I think the, the style points of the whip, I think, uh, exceeds the importance of the other stuff. So we don't, we do Savage Cleansing eventually. Once we get this, we can rush and get Savage Cleansing, and that's when we kill the Sieges, is when that's done. In the meantime, yeah, it's still a good Fremen ambush spot. Robin also gives us um, another uh, garrison spot in all our villages, which is great. So I like that a lot. Yeah, water will come back in a second. You know how it is with the with the old Baron here. Yeah, alrighty. So let's do this, and um, we can grab a maintenance center here. That's an expensive upkeep right there. So yeah, we probably want to get a maintenance center. Although with the water issue as it is, we can't really do too much. This is five water here though, so that'll help us. Um, all right, so sandfall. So we're going to get this, and that has been dealt with. We capture that. Scavenger teams is always good in case there's a really ugly fight. Main base is coming together. Yeah, although, man, rushing uh, enhanced questioning and stuff. I mean, are the Fremen going to try and assassinate me? Uh, I am touching tips with them, so they could easily have, like, fuel cells, or excuse me, infiltration cells all up on me right now. Yeah, I got I to gotta be wary of that. That's very dodgy. The Baron is suspicious. You know, he's got he's to gotta keep tabs on things. And, oh, is he coming to attack me here? I don't think so, no, he's just going to that village. I would be surprised if he broke that pack that early, right? That would be pretty wild. All right, so let's get that. Our water's back up. Obviously, it's just problematic because of the, uh, the the raids, not raids, but the uh, rebellions. Uh, we could do this. Let's go ahead and get a knowledge building here. We can start trading influence. Uh, we're getting one ship part for free, so I don't think we need to trade much of anything. Okay. So, which one does not have that? Okay, so that's going to be you. And let, let's get all of our harvesters pimped out. Let's go. go safe mode. And here. And here. And now our spices... You can see our income starting to get a little a little crunk. Starting to get pretty good. Got another main base building we can do. Um, I could do the recycling bats for water. Um, barracks is obviously great for us. So, maybe just throwing that down here. Did I just get shy haluted? Oh yeah, I got shy haluted. Thankfully it missed Robin. Oh, that would have been really unfortunate. Uh, yeah, so we still only have the one slot. And for you guys, I don't know what upgrade's best here. I like the power one. It's obviously nice. Okay, War of Assassins. If somebody votes this, I'm going to be very suspicious. I do want the pillage one, but the Fremen can beat me. No, they can't. I have three more votes than them. Although, infrastructure control is cute. But at this point, I don't think it's going to be too helpful. So, all right. Do I want to get the assassins? I'm going to get the assassins, maybe, and see if anybody challenges me on that. I'd like to just have them, because they can like snipe some Fidekin or anything that comes on my territory, right? Okay. So now we're... Savage, I think I need to be safe. So we're going to go ahead and get the um, spying logistics, and then we'll go down and get countermeasures after. I'm playing it a little bit risky by not having any sort of like stealth detection and okay we got the assassins which is good so that's going to make the Fremen nervous but um you know interestingly enough I'm not actually going to hit them so okay spice silo there for our inevitable spice grab up north uh that's going to be our fourth harvester fully armed and operational we need the experimental furnace that would go right here so that that could be one of our next investments too let's get you fully geared out and the Fremen continue to encircle us so let's go pillaging. They will, learn of your might. they will learn of your might. So I'm gonna take one out of here and here and just put them on counter intel to see if I can catch some like agents that are assigned to me. Ready, I think that's gonna be big. <laughs> the brave Sir Robin, yeah, he's he's coming. He's brave and he's pissed. Uh, five water, hell yeah, give me that, give me that H2O Anything all day every day. You, Pillage that. Um, we have water up here. That will be grabbed eventually. Probably we can just hold off on this until it's it's go time. How's our manpower? It's not as good as you'd think. Okay, so we'll hang tight. So that siege is friendly. It does give reduced spying missions, but you know, it's it's not worth an agent at the moment. I have two on counter intel, so I'm not completely defenseless. Um, so I'm tempted to get stealth detection here, but we need one of each type to get the quirk. Oh my god, the Harkonnens are stressful to play. 
Northfield, yeah, it already has a silo, right? Because that's that's why partially why I deleted it. Okay, we're at negative water here, so let's battle those guys. I love having the assassins on standby in case anybody aggro's. You can insta kill two elite units, so that's very good. And we got a mission. Uh, Plascrete for manpower? No, thank you. No, thank you. So we're at negative six. Where else were we rebelling down there? Yeah. You gotta love the sporadic water thing. It's always fun. Okay, let's get this village fully built out. It's gonna increase our eco too. Oh, that's right. We can do this. Shit. Um, yeah, so we do that here and then we just need to save up a little bit. I did screw that up a tiny bit. And let's come down here. And, um... Shy Halud? No, no, bad worm, bad worm. No, what's with this pathing? Go! Get out of here! It's clearly my fault, but what am I doing wrong? Alright. So, Barracks is gonna help our research along. Flying Logistics is coming up. We are getting some knowledge buildings. Um, Experimental Furnace can go here, which is gonna hit two spice fields. Actually, three. Oh, it's gonna hit this one when we grab it, too. That's so good. Oh, man. So, our income is starting to skyrocket. I'm not choming yet. Uh, we will chum in due time, but I gotta just make sure I don't get assassinated. So that's why we're gonna do this. Um, probably get some stealth detection on all my border territories. And this gives you Plascreed as money, so that's definitely worth doing. And we do have the spice silo right there. Alright. Yeah, harks are pretty macro intensive. Yeah, I would agree with that statement. Yes. No idea what they are doing. Yeah. I really don't. I have no idea. Um, why do I have an Office of the Order? Okay, that's actually one of my legit villages. So I could cut the manpower and get stealth detection. Probably is smart against Fremen. So we're going to have to compensate for the manpower elsewhere. So stealth detection and um, do we have stealth detection here? We do not yet, but we will soon. The Baron is suspicious. You remember when the Duke tries to get him? He's like got his little like thing he's tapping on his finger. Uh, okay, I don't need Sardaukar right now. Uh, don't need at the moment. Upkeep is tough. Okay. So next we go get this spice field. Yeah, I only want the Sardaukar, you know, when we really need them. So we got stealth detection missile turret, stealth detection missile turret. So those two bases are going to be safe from infiltration cells. Um, I could also get a stealth detection here. I need to make sure I don't get assassinated. I feel like that's my biggest vulnerability right now. Everything else feels good. But that feels a little dodgy. So we'll do this and get enhanced questioning after to get the agents. And um, we do have cheaper buildings back here, which is great. So let's oppress you. And then um, I would like to get stealth detection too. Our knowledge is freaking 12, so bad. Uh, we could actually just take this region and use that. Uh, that's 168. Yeah, I think we're okay. Well, the five spice is pretty rock hard, boys. It's pretty rock hard. You need to turn off your shields. The worms are drawn to them. Yes, they are. Let's go on Arrakis. Renegade base. Once we get Overlord, the Fremen will really struggle to deal with us. Assuming they attack again. But that's a little ways off. Um, I have no idea what's going on over here. Kill them all! Evil! Alright, so we're being raided here. Definitely want to pillage some of these. Um, next building in Carthag is free. Nice. So we can go ahead and get the intelligence agency there. Outstanding. That's what I'm talking about. And let's get some helicopters here. I don't want to buy... I'm not going to buy Chum. I don't want to alarm anybody yet. Just to be safe. And uh, let's drop this. All right. So that will be ready soon-ish. So we'll just leave one guy here. Take everybody else. Classic Harkonnens. Just everything's on fire and falling apart. No, we don't want to attack that siege yet. We're not ready for it. And that's going to be 168. Okay. So we'll be able to get that soon. So we got the experimental furnace. That's really nice. It's, it's going to be hitting three spice. And um, let's come down here, deal with this rebellion. So stealth and missile turret, stealth and missile turret. Unfortunately, that's vulnerable, but we do have stealth detection there at least. So we'll be able to see what's cracking. Last greed is, is going very well. And uh, yeah, I think we're in good shape, guys. I think we're in good shape. That's 125 to get that. The brave Rob Robin is coming. Um, do we have a maintenance center here? Probably slap one down to make that cheaper. Okay, we don't want to use that siege at the moment. What do you need? Um, and counter intel. The Baron is being very, very cautious. Like, very cautious. For you, Baron. Which makes sense, right? I think it's how we should be. On it. Okay, let's go into safe mode with you. you. 
got the assassins, the siege. Once we get countermeasures, um, we can then get savage cleansing and go from there. Yeah, our research really needs to step up its freaking game, though. All right, so all heavies. It feels really good to just, like, heavy out a region. That's super fun. And we got knowledge here. Gear eggs. Okay, so I could actually vote it on the Fremen again. Landsrad, I have, I don't know how I have two. I guess it's because I've been friends with these guys. Um, hopefully Carino will switch this on to everybody so we don't have to worry about it. No, they switched the elected faction gets Landsrad. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this on the Fremen. <laughs> yeah, because I do not want that on me. That's like, that's so bad for me if that goes off. Like, my eco is, is pretty popping right now. We'll start choming now too, by the way. We're going to start building up our chome. All right. Always Fremen. <laughs> rip. He says rip. Oh, man. He was trying to get out from under it, but, you know, we couldn't We couldn't let that fly. I wonder if he's going to be playing stealth armies. I guess it's good that I have all the stealth detection here and stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the cell here. So that's going to make us pretty resilient against assassinations in most of our territories. Uh, I got to use some when is a gift, not a gift. I gotta use some Baron Harkonnen quotes on him, you know? Really get really get in the flavor of it. Uh, all right, let's keep buying some Chome. Let's get to 10% just to get the benefits. I need airfields. Oh, that's right, I don't really have airfields anywhere. Yeah, we could do one down here, I suppose. This one's like a little vulnerable down here, so we need to make sure we can fly down there. Um, <laughs> I love the Haggard Baron quotes all day. All right, so we gather up. We got a good army now. Like, if he came at me, I think we could fight him off with the brave Sir Robin. And um, yeah, that's going together here. Statecraft buildings. Let's get this. And then we will start to try and annihilate the sieges. I need to get like a knowledge agreement or something, man. Can we get, that's a trade agreement. Okay. He's got 2K, but I'm richer than him. So I'm gonna try and get a, uh, a big trade with him there. Okay, that's going down. I don't know what to build in our last two bases. Uh, interrogation center obviously is a must. Okay, so that's all done, and um, from here, let's go ahead and get you and start oppressing it. The Fremen could pop out at any point and, you know, switch it up on us. Gotta be careful, but we do have airfields there, so let's see what our network looks like. I think it's literally just down there. And up here, I mean, it's kind of far away. We could go take down the Renegade base now. Yeah, so let's keep the Assassins here. And countermeasures is going to be done soon. Man, our tech research is so freaking slow. It's so slow. Okay. Let's do this. And, um, perfect. There we go. So we're going to head north. Try and take down the Renegade base for ship parts. Just have an excess. Okay, we got the two assassins. And can we win it? The Renegade bases are pretty jacked. I think we can. And, and we can do scavenger teams too. All right, let's do the base and do this. Robin's going to give some of the range units drugs so they fight harder. You know, that's how the Harkonnens roll anyways. They're all on, all on the drugs. Okay, so let's get that. And Robin is clearing this out. We're going to potentially have water issues here. Scavenger Teams is giving us a little bit of dough, which is great. And let's dive there. All right. So we're making 1.5k right now. That is nuts. That is really good. That is really, really good. So we don't have the third counterintelligent yet. Let's just put you on chum for now. And we'll take that. It's going to be a bit of dough. Thankfully, we barely took any casualties from that. And yeah, it's just when you're full, it just auto sells. When you run, when you go full on spice, it just auto sells. So we're, we're totally chilling right now. Oh, it's overlording time soon. We just need to get some fuel cells. So we just grab this region um, at 139 and then we're good. Assassins are hanging out, and uh, the, the Chonk is showman. We're up to 5%. It's going to be a little bit more. There we go. All right, so we're paying our spice taxes. The dreaded water deficit once again. Unfortunately, all our high water regions are also the regions we're oppressing, so it's creating a ton of instability. Uh, and here, what do we got? Handyman, we could build a special region there at some point. I'm almost tempted to build a knowledge building, just so we're not so much of a potato. Everything's on fire. Uh, embassy is kind of cute, but we don't really care to play politics. We're going for the chum, you know. Okay. Let's buy some more. So we're trying to get up to 
Uh, we can fly around. Probably need to get an airfield, like, right here, I'm thinking. So let's slap down an airfield right here uh, when we can get some H2O back. Do I have the water building? I do have it. I do not. Okay, I think I'm going to need it here, actually, which is really haggard. So we're going to have a mixed um, special region. But it's okay. Yeah, we, we need it because it's just uh, it's so janky. Yeah, let's 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 sit on it for now. All right, airfield. So we can get up here, and as far as this goes, we need to get water here. Okay, and the Fremen kind of looking a little ornery, like they might come here, but thankfully I do have an airship, so I can get down there pretty quickly. All right, let's get a couple Serbs. I like the Cerberus a lot. I think they're great. Okay, countermeasures will make us safe against assassinations. I'm playing extra suspicious Chungus tonight. Uh, do we need to come down and help that? Let's get these assassins sitting somewhere else. And do I want to get the knowledge building? Okay, Baron, do we fly down there? Yeah, I think we do, just so we don't lose any militia. 13 Knowledge of Doom. Man, I feel like it should be better, but I guess we don't have that many knowledge buildings. It's mostly manpower and stuff, yeah. All right, so we bounce down here. The sleeper has awakened. Okay. Looks good. Let's come back this way. And um, airfields and waters online in the north. My extra militia slots are handling it well. Let's go ahead and get you. And the Chonk is going to keep keep just chumming. We're at 10% now, so now we get influence and we can train mercs. Mercenaries are one of the most powerful things in the game. They're super, super good. So that is awesome, awesome, awesome. Did we hold that up north? Wow, we actually got to go up there now. That's unfortunate. Uh, did the airfield finish yet? It did. Good. So we can actually fly there. We can fly on over there. Oh my god, the Baron, just everything's always on fire. It's, it, it is kind of stressful. There's a lot of peace to be had with the uh, kind of other bases, right? And the other, other factions. So if I get that, I don't have the fuel cells for that. That would help research a little bit. I mean, I'd probably go up to like 17 or something. I need to get a research agreement. Um, who can I get it with? Do I have any of the other ones on the table? That's political, and we need lay of the land. Okay. Might need to just jump into lay of the land after this to get some knowledge, because I am just researching so freaking slow right now. Uh, is my rebellion attacking the Fremen? I actually don't know. It was getting a little bit crazy over there. Oh, Fremen even got gear regs. Wow. Yeah, Fremen are definitely really strong in 2v2 from what I've seen. <laughs> Being able to, like, move around so quickly and... Wow, how did we actually lose that? That was a good garrison. So I had to counsel as the two free agents. I have 207, 300, 400. Okay, so we're going to go for chome contracts. And we're going to buy a little bit more chome while we're at it. We're just going to push to 30% and... Try and have that be our win con, right? I could get two more buildings here. Man, it's really tempting, but the interrogation center is just too good not to take. So we force Chum contracts through uh, with our 100 free boats. Yeah, that's how we do it. Do it. Attack here. And um, as far as this goes, what is even worth building here? We already have a knowledge building. I could do more stealth detection, but we'll just do a slight income building for now to get the fully built villages trait. Countermeasures will give us three on counter intel early on, so we're going to be very strong against assassination. Is there any like text laying around I can grab? It seems like the Fremen have been doing a pretty good job of that. Can we squash these stupid rebels, please? Or whatever the hell they are, mercs. <laughs> Foul mercenaries. The peasants are revolting. Yeah, they are. Baron, they sure as hell are. Alright, so Baron and Zagoon Squad is going to come down here. Let's go grab that fuel cell now. And assign you on to counter intel here in a second. Um, we don't have the slots for it. We'll go on Landsrad just to have the missions. Uh, Fremen have not broken the peace. We do have trade agreements with two people. That's partially why our choming is so insane. Anything Awfully quiet there. Baron. Uh... Just, oh, he's not talking to me. Okay, I thought he was talking to me. I was like, I was going to say, just just rubbing, <laughs> just just clutching my money. You know how it is. The Sands will reveal all. Oh, wow, they're getting into getting into character here. All right. 16% channel, man. Our income is 2.1k. Oh, that is sauced. Truth. So I need to get these fuel cells here. Do I have a maintenance center over here? I don't, unfortunately. So grab that. Uh, we're not being attacked at the moment, which is great. And up here, I'm just going to get a knowledge building because, like, I'm desperate for knowledge at this point. We got 171 supply, man. That's pretty savage in terms of ship parts. 
All right, let's get the fuel cells. Uh, if I were trying to take a swing, uh, dude, I have no idea actually. Yeah, I'm a little rusty. I don't really, I only know three or four factions well. The other ones I'm kind of a bit of a potato. Okay, so that siege needs to be punished. Yeah, Savage Cleansing is coming up. So that'll be done in 11 days. So then we can get that siege. Let's go do a little bit of pillaging to just make some extra money. There's not enough shares on sale right now. Oh no, the chunk. He's been restricted. Uh, interrogation center. Embassy will give us more money actually. So let's just slap down an embassy since we have trade agreements. And um, all right. And then we need to get one for you up here, buddy. Looks like that's going down. Let's pillage this. I think the rebellions will be squashed in a moment. Empire's only plus 15. Could be better. Let's reveal another siege. I'm down for that. I'm down for it. See what's cracking. 2K. Let's buy some chome shares. He says, well, yellow. Yeah, it looks like he's going after the, uh, the other gentleman there. Baron's being very cautious. Being very, very cautious. Okay, what else do we want to get in this region? What do we have? Statecraft production and militia slot. Oh, militia slot's actually really good because that gives us bonus income and stuff. Um, that's pretty far for an assassination cell, so let's just get manpower here. Because I know our manpower looks good now, but when the fighting starts, it's uh, not going to be so good. It'll, it'll start tanking down pretty quickly. So we got combat drugs, scavenger teams, and um, sleeper agents are pretty good too. If we can get those. All right, so we got we're on five spice harvesters, ladies and gentlemen. We have like six thousand is like no no change out sweat off our back, right? That's really really big. So we might be able to get a rare chome victory, which is very uncommon. So for chome, once I get my mothership, I take this, I bully, I start bullying the fremen, um, or trying to. It's not going to be easy, but we'll take out their sieges so they can't counterattack us, and then we go for them. I think. Safe mode, and um, we have another siege up here. Man, they have literally sieges all over my lands. They're really up in my business here. Uh, all right, so that is gonna be this. We have that in statecraft production, so let's go ahead and get this. That base is fully developed. Let's buy some more chome shares. We're at 20% chome. If I can get to 30%, look at this. We're It auto sells when you're when you're this maxed out. It's, it's pretty, pretty bananas. All right, so we got a siege raid coming again. So we're gonna fly up there and deal with that. All right, no problem. In the south, uh, we could probably tone down the plastic a little bit. So let's do this, get stealth detection. Oh yes, just feasting, bro. I don't know, yeah, I'm not sure. I guess Fremen late game armies can get you if they, uh, if they get like a good angle on you. It's gonna put us up to 15 knowledge, give or take. Peace with me, far away from Atreides and Kor, it is. Not gonna lie, it's a pretty cozy spot. Pretty cozy spot. Very cozy. Oh, we could try uh, Harkin and Air Force, actually. That could be kind of fun. We need to get like the Adrenaline Addiction and late game techs though. Unfortunately, there's none laying around. It seems like they're getting picked up by everybody very quickly. Let's get the free unit here. All right, need a bit of spice in your life? Oh, I have it. I got a lot of spice in my life. Let's buy some more chairs, go up to 22%. Um, interrogation center is what we need. So that's gonna be the play. Yes, we got the stealth detection here. Seems like my dudes are doing it. Uh, I have 10 actually. Sometimes it's really good to deflect like people politicking against you with absurdity. That's what I found. It works pretty well. It diffuses the tension, you know. Uh, all right, so how's the water back here? And so four water region, that's pretty good actually. Okay, so we got three on counter intel now. So there's very little chances that they're gonna have an efficient assassination in conjunction with all the stealth tech. The Baron is kind of an overlord right now. Yeah, a little bit. Let's get Sleeper Agent. Our income dropped a little bit since we lost our max spice, but that's okay. I believe all the Harvesters are fully armed and operational. The dreaded Overlord has arrived. Overlord is like excellent for sniping their lords. That's typically what you want it for. Um, uh, I'm being really passive though. That's one thing I don't like. Okay, Savage Cleansing is here. So we're going to go and annihilate this siege. This is like the ultimate Harkonnen boner here. When you can just like take out the Fremen, it's it's just, uh, or their sieges. It's very nice. Lay of the land will give us how much knowledge? Ah, it'll give us enough to be worth it, probably. Okay, we got a rebellion up north. The guards are going to take care of it. Lay of the land. We could even go, symbols of authority are pretty cool too. Okay, I'm only making 700. Let's bank a little bit. I'm at 20%. Let's gather up. 
We got you, and let's go ahead and hit the siege. Robin's gonna go ahead and give everybody the party drugs, and um, yeah, we should be able to bully them here. So let's pull back you, pull back you. All right, great. Me and Atreides getting very spicy, he says. Okay, I like to see that, I like to see it. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna farm these sieges. <laughs> Because it gives me a lot of authority, too. I think it's like 100 or something, yeah. It gives me 157 authority from that. Oh, that's so good! Uh, I'm going to use the assassins if somebody attacks me. Yeah. Or if I go for an assassination, obviously. You want it? To, uh, all right. So next, what do we get? We can get the Plascrete. We can get this special region, the shield wall. I don't know how I'm like almost first in hedge. It's so weird. Are Fremen going politics? He's got only 200 votes. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, I have no idea. Anyways, um, Diplomatic Congress could be pretty good for us. Oh, never mind. We have to block sales incentive. Yeah, that's not good. We got to block that. Let's buy some shares just in case it goes through. And we're going to deny this with all of our votes. All right. Because we need our chairman. Okay. Can't select those guys. No problem. Hopefully Robin doesn't get shy looted right now. Raban. Raban. Okay, seven seconds left. Careful not to lose your whole army. If I stay on top of the siege, I should be fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you're like right on the siege, you're okay, but I could be wrong. Yeah, so let's like pile into that. We get the pillage. So we just hang here until Shihalud pieces out. Ooh, that was a lot. So now we got like, yeah, I love that combo. Well, the Harken Harkonnens can do some cool stuff with that. Um, this is a what region? This is uh, Sandfall. That's a good one, actually. So we'll go take this. It's a it's a good kind of buffering territory. And then we'll annihilate this siege too. We're just going to go on our little annihilation tour here. All right. So next up, yeah, we got to start bullying the Fremen. Where else could they pop out up here? Yeah. So we don't attack them until all the sieges have been um, punished. Shit. Can't click you. Uh, uh, okay, you died. That's fine. Let's try. Do we want to try some air force play? How much command points are those? Those are three. Yeah, we could try that, get some Serbs, and um, and get this. And we have another Spice Field we can potentially take, which is awesome. Oh, this is going to put us pretty close to 20k, though, which is a little dodgy. Yes. A little dodgy. Okay, Rebellion's going down. We're only making 300 at this point, so I don't know. Let's actually hold off on the planes for now, and we can do that later, maybe. Yeah, this is a nice region, though. It's very nice. Where do we have the Maintenance Center? Is it here? Is it here? So we're going to need another Maintenance Center. Okay. And the region's ours. It's going to put us right up past Carino there. Okay, and let's get an airfield down here first and foremost. And a military base, and that's where we would launch our operations against the Dread Fremen if we do decide to do that. Alright, so Choman, we're only making 300 at this point. I don't know what happened. Um, is there some weird thing? Charter contender? It's weird. Lay of the land will put us up over 20 knowledge finally. Uh, Fremen might aggro us here actually. So let's go here. We're going to have an airfield. He looks like he's... Okay. I think he's going to come and maybe have something to say about this. We can always fly over there, though. That's why I built an airfield first. No, he's just he's just doing his thing there. Okay. Uh, tops, more attacks, but we got six militia there. I think they can hold it. And uh, got to wait for the freaking Shy Haluds to chill out. They're going crazy today. Main base building. I mean, I think we, uh, we're waiting for the interrogation center. Uh, Chome is, we're back online to the big money. All right, we're, we're at 1.8k right now, so that's great. Let's go up here and annihilate this siege. That's going to be another uh, nice boom for us. And we can even grab this territory probably, which is awesome. I don't have the craft workshops, um, but I think I need to get adrenaline addiction after and get the military going. So that will give us water production as money. That's a nice village trait. And let's buy a little bit more Chome. So we're at 24% Chome. 24, we may need to turn on Carino at some point, you know. Um... Chom runs under the radar a little bit, for sure. Okay, we got the assassins in the wings. Let's get some water down here. And let's go ahead and confirm the attack. All right, Robin can use his buffs. Uh, is he there? Oh, is he not there? Where is he? Oh, he's here. Well, anyways, I guess we don't need to. We're going to lose a handful of Cerberus. It's okay. We can just remake them. We have plenty of supplies. And we can also panic hire mercenaries if we get attacked, which is really strong. All right, 25% chum, almost to 30. This will give us 3.9k, the pillage. And uh, all right, let's keep that going. Fremen are just pillaging the border territories. Hopefully you guys don't mind the more relaxed game here, you know? Like we're, we're kind of just 
The previous match was super aggro heavy, so this one's a little bit more low key. I'm just kind of ecoing. Yeah, screw it. Let's buy. What is that? 26%? Okay. So we need to probably chill for a little bit, save up. We do get the pillage on the siege, so we can actually take that now, but that'll put us at number one, which we don't want to do that. So we're just going to sit on that for a moment. Uh, Benny Jesuit agent. Very nice. All right. So we get a Benny Jesuit, and we can put them on the Fremen and prepare some schemes. The schemes are soon to be prepared, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So what's happening here? Your, your agent has been captured by the Fremen? Really? Already? Oh my god, my Benny Jesuit got captured instantly. That's very unlucky. The odds of that are pretty low, but he probably has the siege, siege business. I don't have adrenaline addiction yet, so I think I need that for my second armory slot. Fighting before then would be stupid. Oh my god, that worm just won't leave. Look at it. It just straight up won't leave. Military base. Uh, adrenaline addiction will be in 10 days. Yeah, that's pretty important. Literally, the worm is just base camping us here. We've been sitting here for like, for a good couple minutes, just hanging out. Let's go get this. Is that a Fremen Rebellion? I don't think so. Okay, Harvester should be back online soon after the Haggard Rebellions are over with. Okay. So here, we don't need that. We want the Interrogation Center, but soon we'll get this. Guys, is this just a permanent Shai Halud here? Oh my god, I think I'm just going to have to try and make a run for it. <laughs> he was just hanging there. Let's get some heavies back there, no problem. Everything's on fire, yeah, it's the Harkonnen way. Okay, 28%, so we're pretty close to getting 30, and then we attack the Fremen when we get that, plus the Adrenaline Addiction, and that's our timing. Okay, we got 5k Plascrete, so it's time to like probably get rid of some Plascrete buildings around. Uh, manpower, yeah, we're going to need a lot of manpower as we get into heavy combat. Cut this, and we can switch into Knowledge in the late game. Okay, so I think we're like literally set on Plascrete for most of the game. So we get a turret here, this will help against assassinations. Because the, the turret detects, the other thing detects the uh, attacker. Yeah, and then the assassins we can also bring along to the party too. All right, so listening posts is probably okay. For a little bit of this, we can do the intel one. Getting the old intel. Chome, we're almost there, six thousand. All right, let's buy it up. So we're at twenty nine percent chome. I haven't had a chome victory, I have to say, in a long time. I haven't had one. Okay, water's a problematic. Um, this is going to be five days remaining. And we could take some territory. I think I'm going to have to sit on some, though. Is anybody on passive? Okay, Carino has passive hedge. So we got to be privy to that. We're making uh, pretty good dough at the moment. Are we at 30%? We're at 29 Okay. Oh, this is what we want. Although, architectural surveys. Hold up. Where's his base? It's right here. Hmm. Do I vote Fremen for architectural surveys? And just try and get in there and give them the dirty on their base? That seems like it could be a strategy, right? Like, if I can wipe their army and just go main base. All right, so we're going to vote the Fremen on this. Yeah. And we're going to potentially go for a base snipe. If he's, like, out of position, we could just go right down to the siege and just punish that thing. I mean, we will lose our army, but um, we could probably bring it down to, like, half health while this is while this is going on. Uh, what missions can we do? Can we do defense breaches? I don't think we have the tools for that right now. Uh, so we need two Landsrad levels. Okay, so let's go on Landsrad. Could take some time, but I believe that does go down. Oh, okay, of course. I'm now the 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 highest uh, highest nail to hammer down with Karina submarining behind me. If you're not, I've no passive hedge. Unlike core. Okay, so we're doing our little politicking here. We're gonna go down and party. We're gonna go see if we can draw the Fremen into a fight. This is gonna be finishing. Man, we gotta wait for the addiction. It'd be stupid not to. Uh, at this point, though, do I just grab this territory and just make, like, another border territory here? Oh, my God, the worms! They follow us everywhere, dude. Everywhere. They love us. Okay. I have exactly one craft workshop. My point stands. <laughs> yeah, it's still, it's still passive hedge, right? Okay, so manpower. Yeah, let's do that. Got a military base there. 
And um, yeah, we're like neck and neck, which is good. The fact that he's like right up on me is is, is good news. Uh, winning with Chome's gonna be pretty hard. Okay, I'm officially at 30% now? No, I'm at 29 still. Son of a gun. All right, so that's done. Um, we can go ahead and rush. I mean, Chome support, I should have gotten that earlier. Um, no, Symbols of Authority is also really good for oppressed regions getting plus one. Yeah, let's get the Chome support and push in. Although we probably, Chome support's gonna take how long? Five, 15 days? Outpost logistics and symbols of authority. I think we might be able to win easier on that. All right. Fremen have got all his army near the South Pole. Oh, I don't have enough resources yet. I need a little bit more and then I can break it and go for his main base. Because he has defense breaches right now, right? Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. So, let's do this. I am Gotham's Reckoning. All right, we're coming in for it. We're going for the main base, baby. We might be able to just cheese the Fremen out of the game and then from there we can just cackle, right? Um, all right. He won't be able to get back quickly if, if that's actually true. Baron. All right. So we're going for his main base. <laughs> let's go, baby. All right. Let's get Siege Tabor. Combat drugs. And let's get the Overlord shooting here. Sleep Agent and Supply Drop. So we're getting some damage in there. It's not too crazy. Robin's going to do his combat party. And it's going, down, it's going down, but not super quickly. Yeah, so we're probably going to lose a lot of our army here, but it's going to look really cool, so. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right, the armory slot. Shit. Okay, so we got that, and um, we need to do, yeah, and then we need to do this one. Okay. And received, and yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here, Robin. Okay, we're fleeing the scene. We did get his base down a little ways, but my troops are out of control, so they're just going to do whatever the hell they want. This is like the most barren thing ever, just like fleeing and letting all your troops die in a horrible mess. Okay, so let's try and do this. We got his main base down a little, so it's, it's set up for later, which is good. So now we'll just fight a normal fight versus him. We'll do what damage we can and, you know, and just, yeah, I think we can steamroll his, his army. I think we can. He did use, oh, Carino's already on my northern border. Okay, so this isn't good. The timing of this is pretty unfortunate. Uh, we need to get a worm call and watch if Carino tries to get in. If they try and move on me, I need to worm call them. Okay. I could try and give him a, a peace treaty, which would be really funny. I'm watching Carino. I can go grab this territory. Uh, Fremen might counterattack me. I don't want to use the worm call. I'm pretty sure I can just use my overlord, actually, and like pick off a lot of his dudes. Okay, so we can shuttle down to either of these territories in a moment. Okay. Meat armor executioners. Uh, meat armor for executioners is a horrible combo. Oh, yeah, that one. I remember. I remember that. Yeah, pretty rad. And where is Carino? Yeah, I got to I gotta look that up. Armory and um, which one is it? Meat armor? Okay, yeah, we'll try that one. We'll try it out. Yeah, I was wondering what that, that combination was. We don't need a freaking harpy. What are we doing? So Carino left. Um, I could start buying Chome again. I didn't quite get 30% before that fight, which was unfortunate. Now I'm at 31, so I'm I'm like very certain we can um, bully the Fremen like really hard now if we just take a straight up fight against them. Um, I would like to capture a territory over here. Let's just capture like a small territory, and just so we're not banking authority, and then we'll go for the uh, the big dub at the end. That's gonna give us some. Agents on Arrakis. Anakin, help me, he says. I'm too weak. Yeah, looks like he was struggling with my, my guys there. And um, let's do this and this. And uh, I would like to get defense breaches, if possible. We need 500 intel for that, so it will come in due time. Uh, do I worm call him? Is he going to try? I don't know if he is. That is a five water region, so that's pretty nice. Let's come down here. Just leave one guy, and we can rally point. Rally point's going to be down here, and I think we just go in on him here. I, I would imagine there's some there's some submarining. Okay, let's buy Chome. We're up to 32%. So Chome is a win con. It's there, but more so it's like an army buff right now. We have a military base here and defense breaches. We need to get that. Although, that's right. I can sacrifice agents. Aha. All right. So let's go to the uh, defense breaches and do this. Sacrifice. All right. So now we got defense breaches and his base is like vulnerable as well. Um, let's buy some mercs just so we can get going because I don't want to sit around too much longer. All right, so we're going to kill one guy there. Uh, let's leave the assassins and come. And we're killing a lot of his flyers here, so let's get down and take this base. 
My my uh, overlord is, is sniping his dudes. Okay, we killed another one there. Okay, team, let's get down here. He's chasing me, obviously. He's got his big ship. We're going to take a fight here. So we're going to go combat drugs and this. And Robin's going to go ahead and use his goodies. So that will uh, buff up the army. Overlord's here. Let's tag some of his range units and tag some of the range units. And we can go ahead and reinforce with mercenaries just to like really keep the momentum on him. Okay, I think we're winning it. It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Yeah, Robin is getting targeted a little bit, but he's okay. Let's get him under the village so we don't lose that guy. We got some reinforcements coming. Robin is going to kind of hang out nearby. Oh, we aggroed the militia. That's what it was. Okay. So, assassins. Well, thankfully the assassins are... We're going to get a pause here. Uh, definitely going to nail the Fremen with controlled markets, but I'm probably going to get voted on that. I would wager. Loss of rights could be cute. It would slow down Carino. Is Carino gathering on my north? No, they're not. Okay. So, let's get you on here. This is going to go in Fremen again. They won't be able to rebuild quite like I can. That's for sure. And you, and uh, let's get you. Oh, that's actually like a legendary warrior. So we'll get this guy, and then we'll get this guy too. All right. So looking fine, more or less. Let's go ahead and make some more troopers. Let's kind of get some baseline chaff fighter guys, and we'll, let's get the upgrades. And um, attack speed, yeah, we're just going to go like murder hobo on most of our guys. I did not get the spice market on me, which is great. Let's move to the cliff where we can fight. And we're slowly, slowly doing some damage. Yeah, slowly, slowly getting in there. Unfortunately, um, the defense breaches will not be in play. Do the supply drop here. Yep, got shy looted. It was only a matter of time. I was kind of playing really cagey out there. So, all right. So now we're going to take this village, and we're going to go ahead and uh, pillage it. Let's attack you. Robin is going to go back and heal, and uh, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Hey, Gunhound, how you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you, man. Symbols of authority. All right. So what do we want to get here? Water. We got this heavy down here. He's just playing around. We're trying to kill his mothership, but it's kind of getting a little crazy. I think we should probably... We could probably kill some of these guys. We'll get the pillage off. Just get back and see if he can replenish as quickly as I can, right? I don't think so. Carino is pushing it pretty hard, though, in the hedge game. Uh, I probably need to just capture that special region. Oh, is he really following me? Okay, that's fine. Killing the Fremen is not going to be the easiest thing. Um, we'll grab this territory while we kind of play. Keep these mercs here, and then we can get the Executioners. Did I just randomly win some office? I wasn't even aware I was on the table for I think we might have. This Overlord is just going deep on his guys. It's going to be another Spice Fields for us. And let's hold ground. You guys keep clearing. Yes. Kill them all! I love how evil the Harkonnens are, dude. All right, we just killed all his range units. It's pretty good. Killing his Spice Harvester, and let's get you guys down here. Keep working on him. Yeah, he's getting a little bit danger close for my likings. Hmm. Maybe we rally over there and go get that. He says he's in they're indestructible. They get a lot of armor. Yeah, they do. All right, so let's get you guys. Bully these. And that's going to be a territory for us. It's getting really tight on the Carino thing. I'm going to have to race them while bullying the Fremen too. Is Chom even an opportunity here? I don't think so. I think this is going to be a hedge game. So we need to get craft workshops, which we get um, from this. So that's our best bet. That is our best bet, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's gather up, capture that, and uh, the executioners need to go get this. So we're going to go grab that territory, and then we get this one, and then we can maybe win on hedge. Maybe, maybe. I don't want to put Chom share on auto. Because uh, I might I might need it. Is he really coming to fight me? Oh, he's calling for the Emperor. Okay, that's not going to save him, I don't think. Let's do a worm call, see if he wants to get Shy looted here. He's just going to charge it. He's just going go in the distance. Let's see if he gets lucky. The Sardaukar will probably get wrecked here, especially with the Overlord. So I think we're fine. Uh, let's get the Light Militia here. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's get Knowledge. And focus back on this fight. We just pounded those Sardaukar the, into the ground. And let's get the spice and get you guys. All right. So we got to just race now. At this point, trying to kill the Fremen. I mean, it's possible. We we probably could. But I don't think I have time with Karina doing what they're doing. Uh, I need to be grabbing, like, all the special territories I can. And Fremen, I think, are pretty much pacified. Karina would be a big threat, though, still. Let's do that. We're taking that spec region. And um, we're going to have militia there. 
Okay, so do we have more units? We need to get more executioners and Cerberus. All right. So heading over to grab this, and that's what, 216? How did I lose so much authority right now? I feel like I just lost a bunch for some reason. That was weird. That was weird. All right, so that's going to be another spec region for us. That puts us at number one. And from here, we can go ahead and put this turret here. He's probably submarining on a couple of things. Um, this is what? Turn has got six vice fields. Uh, I ain't gonna win on Chum, sadly. He's saying he's calling against me. He's trying to form an alliance, which I respect. Uh, definitely need to get some savage cleansing action going. And um, where are sieges? You just pillage this for now. It's a siege. Have I pillaged that one? No, not yet. I don't believe I have. Okay, so that's going to be a lot of authority for us. So we need to go down and do that real quick. Uh, Carino's not formed against me. I think Carino's mostly all in on their own business here. Okay, let's do this, and then we can get a turret here. So a turret to make it tough. Oh man, this is going to be racing. Carino's going to be incredibly difficult. Okay, so you guys come here and get ready to capture this on my command. I believe this ragtag army can probably defeat that siege there. No guarantees. But here they go. The Executioner Goon Squad's on the way. Okay, so now we need to get the Craft Workshops going. Stat. Worm call these bad boys. Uh, keep them off me. And then we bully the siege. Yes, we bully the siege down. And uh, Craft Workshops. All right, so we need to, to build those ASAP. So let's get you. And craft workshops. The hearts don't get craft workshops till their final tree. Uh, that's unfortunate timing. Unfortunate timing. Well, we're going to go and we should be able to capture this in a moment. And um, then rally point is going to be here. Uh, we can just get some Cerberus. Yeah. Let's pillage that. That'll give us enough authority to grab that. And passive hedge, passive hedge. Where do I have special regions? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't really don't have that many. Okay, wow. Intel building. They're, they're information sharing against me. It kind of is tough for the Fremen because he's basically just a kingmaker right now, right? Like he has to, um, yeah, so we got that. Do we want to get enhanced questioning at this point? Sure, why not? Okay, so we got the missile turret. He's decapping up there. Um, let's get this. Let's get this. We need to heal everybody up. We need the overlord up there too. I need more worm calls as well and sleeper agents and combat drugs. and I need everything. I need it all. Is he really coming to decap me here? There he is. Okay. So that's pretty troll. Unfortunately, the timing of that. Oh, he failed. Okay, good. So we got 26k. Carino's like right behind us though. Carino's going to decap my spice field up there. So I need to squash the Fremen and then find a way to fly up north, right? That's the that's the play here. The timing of this is tough because Carino probably just wins, unfortunately. Because they're going to submarine in behind me. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be an ugly one. All right, let's get this. Uh, he's decapping. I have the spec region going here. This one's gonna be pumping out the freebies. And uh, let's get office of the order down here to get the spice. I don't think there's enough shares even on sale. I didn't. I wasn't actually even trying to body block. <laughs> he's like, nice body block. I'm like, I wasn't even trying. I did. I just killed the siege for authority. That's exactly what we did. Okay. Main base building. I mean, I wish there was more I could do here. We could just put the chum on auto buy now. Uh, so it'll buy every time it's up. Okay, what is what is up for boats anyways? Oh, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the portfolio. So I am I'm, I'm out of I'm out of chum at this point. I'm out of chum. It's not gonna happen. That's the risky thing about chum victories. Uh, so we're gonna take the assassins. We're gonna rally them up here and try and uh, shank some of these guys. I have a little bit of time to take care of both armies, but it's going to be tight. It's going to be very, very tight. All right, so what's going to go down here? Let's see. Worm call is coming. Um, that's decapping here. Military base. Um, spec region, spec regions back here. We can do this. Manpower. And yeah, so I'm going to get unfortunately nailed with the chum shares thing. I miss shared. I missed. Uh, oh, I misclicked and sold. Yeah, it's all. It's all good. It doesn't matter. They're going to get me with portfolio scrutiny anyways. All right, so did the assassins get in? Oh, he used his missile strike on me. That's pretty funny. He thought I was going there, did he? All right, so we're going to attack here. Let's do the overlord, and we can do scavenger teams here too. He's choosing to fight me in a choke point, which is good. So let's get the Serbs. Cerberus, yes. Uh, Robin is still alive, but probably not for long. Fremen army is like pretty respectable, actually. Yeah, I might need to just merc spam here to hold these territories. 
Oh shit, where are they rallying right now? They Oh, they're really all going up here? Trades has a big fat nuke, I know. I need to just hold on to one of these territories, right? So the Fremen army did overwhelm me. I didn't, I had, I, my forces were not most optimally placed, that's for sure. So now we can just spend our fat wallet to hire uh, mercenaries, basically. Okay, so let's get you guys in. Do this, and we can merc spam, merc spam, merc spam. And he's gonna decap that, but his army's like, really, did he just like nuke his own army or something? That's some weird shit. All right, so we got the mercs coming in. I think we hold here. Uh, the spec region hedge is coming, but oh, the polar cap is open. Wow. Okay, so that's for sure where we go next. Um, the Fremen army has been defeated. We've been decapped north though, so let's do a uh, worm call here to try and just de-incentivize him. Oh, Robin, Robin, Robin! Ooh. Come on, get out of there! And we need to kill the mothership, so we could probably kill his mothership here if he keeps chasing. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Overlord to take down the ship. We're gonna get it, and the brave Sir uh, Raven has gotten away. Okay, so Fremen Mothership's gonna die too. So we got that down. Oh my god, I think there's nukes going down somewhere. Okay, so his Mothership's down for the count. Um, we got the Spec Regions doing their thing. We have a Benny Jesuit agent. Uh, let's get on Chome. Did they hit me with Portfolio Scrutiny? Oh, they didn't? What? Can I buy Chome shares, or did they hit me with that? Oh my god, they didn't get me with Portfolio Scrutiny, did they? Huh, I have no idea. Is auto buying off? Okay, auto buying. I did buy up to 37%, which is nice. It's a tertiary win con. Uh, military base. And, um, okay, I'm hanging out basically here. So we need to get an airfield. Uh, passive hedge probably first. And let's get some Serbs, Cerberus, and some executioners. Fremen are coming down here. We need to fly down and take them down. Um, they're going to take some L's there, though. It's not going to be easy. Yeah, I do have the good passive, but Carino's gonna get a big jump. You know, they're gonna they're gonna fly up there and go go bananas. Also, if I oppress special regions, uh, it gives me manpower. It gives me authority with Harkonnens. Okay, so let's get all these guys and fly them down here, and we do this. He killed the airfield. Well played. And rally point can be down here too. That's why we need some overlapping airfields. All right, so that's on the way. Overlord, I don't think Carino's gonna come back. I think they're just gonna kind of play their own their own thing here. Combat drugs, and um, let's do this, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. All right, he's fleeing. Ready. He, he's calling it out. He's, he's doing the big plays. All right, so it looks like, uh, yeah, Carino is actually going to be attacking me. Okay, so they're going for it. It's a tricky position to be in for the Fremen, right? You're kind of a kingmaker. All right, so once we get out of combat here, we fly up to the north, and thankfully we still have manpower, so we can spam these guys out. Okay. I need to save up to buy more mercs. Enhanced questioning will be useful at some point or other. Don't know if we can take that army. It looks very good, and I'm pretty damn beat up at this point. Uh, and here, yeah, water, whatever. We're just going to hang tight. Okay, they hit me with something. Something nasty. Okay, so do I fly over there and try? I think we wait for the Overlord to get up there. The Fremen are still hitting the south. So we'll, we'll fly up there with the Overlord. Get you down here and beat these guys up. Uh, core probs gonna win, lads. Yeah, I think he's probably gonna get it. I gotta politic it that way at least. Let's oppress this. And um, yeah, the Fremen are gonna run. And we'll wait for the militia to come back, which is great. And Overlord can start picking off some of these guys, so we'll just do that and do the uh, attacks. We can probably chase this Fremen army a little bit, although, yeah, the militia should be there in a second, so let's fly back, get ready to run north. We are getting some damage in there. Uh, do we have enough for any of the big boys? We do. And Robin is dead also. He must have died somewhere I didn't notice. All right, so I'm administrative burden. It's going to take a while. And um, can I get up here and do anything? We're actually killing a fair amount of his army here with the Overlord, which is great. But unfortunately, that decap probably going to go through. And we are being raided. It's, it's just a pillage. Okay, but the militia, I think, are back now. Yeah, it's great. Okay, so going north. Uh, Chome is not on the table. We're at 35%. It's too little. Okay, he's getting beat up here, but I don't think we can get there to stop him in time, guys. It's going to be a tough decap here. Maybe we we just let him decap it so that we can... Uh, that's not going to do anything. It's a little bit too late. And then let's get some of you guys up on the point here. So we're going to do that. And do we have any rally points up here that are like close? We don't, sadly. Yeah, we're going to have to just do uh, mercs. 
Mercs, mercs, mercs. We're, We're gonna try it. Uh, he's got a better army than me, though. I'm like, this is my ragtag force here. Let's get the mercs up there. Fremen are still trolling about. They were able to get some damage in there. All right. Let's get up on the point. Push up on the point here. Great. Come on, keep fighting. And you guys move up here. And you guys get up on the point. Get up on the point. Now we need all of you guys on it. Outstanding. And let's go do this. Call it in. Where have you hidden your airfield? He says. Oh, that's funny. He thinks I have a hidden airfield. Does he? Okay. Let's do this. And we get a missile turret here. I guess we could throw down some water for now. And it looks like we were able to stop the decap here, which is pretty good. And maybe we can go south. If I can kill his Kronos, that's pretty pretty erect. Uh, so I think we can kill the Kronos. And then what can we cap possibly? I guess we have some rat bases here we can cap. But we got to stop the Fremen because um, they're just going to get us if we don't. All right. So we definitely kill Kronos here. I'm happy to chase him. Uh, water is off at the moment. It should be back soon, but I think we get Kronos. Tomorrow's Age of Empires. Yeah, tomorrow we're doing Age of Empires. Uh, Chum Dilution. Oh, that's really good for us, actually. We want that so we can just mass authority and grab things. Go for the dub. Um, what territories can we grab? We, is that a spec region down there? It is not. So it's not the end of the world if we don't get it. And this region I think we can take again in a couple days. Um, Speaker of the Council is really good. I think getting Landsrad Witnesses right now is pretty clutch. So we'll put some votes into both of these. Because Landsrad Witnesses would... Um, okay, what can we do? Can we do the Interrogation Center the main base? Yes. Okay. It could come into play. So we support that. And then we just sell our shares for authority and we mass expand and try and win with that. And support and support. Alright, so Rally Point. We're going to go down here. Try and salvage that. And uh, what other missions can we do? Worm Call is always useful. We could kill this, maybe. Need a supply drop here to keep these guys from dying. Alright, so Carino's Mothership is almost down for the count. Sure, why not? Let's do that. And did we get it? We do. Great. No more Kronos. And um, now we got to deal with this, this infestation in the back here. So we can surprise sell. Uh, military tech, what do we need? I mean, at this point, we'll just do this for the money, I guess. And let's grab this territory with our dudes. And we have some reinforcements arriving. He worm calls. But I think we can just grab all these territories up here and cackle, right? It's probably our play. Here, let's get, even though it's one water, we'll take it. And cool. I think the Fremen are going to stop us down there. I don't think there's a whole lot we can do there. Yeah, I don't think there is. Let's do that. And then um, there's a renegade base there, which kind of shuts that off. This one's going to be free in 1.4 days. Uh, no way we're stopping this, so let's just you know cut our losses here, and just fortify, and just try not to try not to lose more. All right, so let's rally you, do this, and let's get a bunch of mercs because we're rich. That's another great thing about Chom in general is like that your ability to do all that. It's pretty bonkers. So we did lose some. We're scrapping pretty hard here, but Carino did get slowed down. Yeah, we're losing some integrity on some of our uh, our side areas too, and our our friggin' spice. Because you, know, you see manpower is like actually running low right now, which is pretty rare for Harkonnens. But when you're dragged into this many mortal wombats, you know, that's what's going to happen. Um, let's get militia. Why not? Just basics. We need him. And uh, let's do a worm call here. So we'll do a worm call here, which is going to keep him from running over and enforcing us and stopping us. Uh, we can just throw down this here. Why not? And Carino's coming down again. Okay, so Carino's on its way. So he actually just runs through the worms, doesn't care at all. And um, yeah, he might be able to stop us here. It's going to be tight. In the north, we have a raid going down, but not a whole lot I can do about that. So rally points. Um, we don't have any good airfield positions. So let's just spam out mercs here. Just get a huge mercenary legion. Overlord's trying to keep this base from getting raided, I guess. Uh, but let's put it on the Carino army for now. Uh, we're, we are going to pay our taxes. That is going to happen. And where are our mercs at? Okay, here they are. So we have an unholy legion of mercenaries, which can probably... Oh, wow, the Fremen are actually just getting defeated by my straight-up normal army there. Okay. So we need an airfield here, probably, but yeah, it's going to be too late. That looks fine. That looks fine. Do this and just get a little bit of money there. No problem. And let's take that region, start capping it, and go here. The Overlord is so good. It's such a good ship. Oh, he's running out of supplies. Oh, he blundered. He ran out in the open. Nice. That's really good for me. All right, so that maybe gets us the game. This is a, such a scrappy match, by the way. Oh, my God. And we need to get an airfield here, dude. Yeah, so we forced him back. The Chad Overlord literally soloed him. 
And now we just kill the Fremen mothership. We leave one of you guys to cap that. And I think we win. Because I can sell chome shares to do goodies. You know, I can do things with that. Sure, why not? The water just keeps bouncing back in a way. If we can kill that big ship, that's really good. Um, you know, they can't replace those as easily. Carino at 40% chome. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. So we do get his big ship. So that's going to get capped. Uh, now we need to do this and get a bunch of mercs up top. Oh, I have nowhere to capture. That's kind of the problem, too. Oh, he just got shy looted. Finally, the shy loot comes in. All right, so we need to reinforce top. Go here, do this. Merc spam is so freaking powerful, right? It's so good. All right, let's do merc spam. All right, uh, maybe GG. I mean, I wouldn't call it quite yet. Let's just get some heavies in here and uh, get water in this region. Okay, no problem. Mercenaries are coming, so we need to get them like on the actual thing. The Overlord has just given the business to these guys. Oh my god, look at that. All right, so we get the mercs on there. Um, that region's doing it. I have nothing to capture except this territory, which is guarded. And then we get this for the win, yeah. So we can basically ignore the, the south. The chome, the middle, yeah, it's, I don't have enough at the moment, but I could. I need to make sure that gets held back first. Yeah, so let's go here, uh, sell some chome. Okay, so we sold a little bit of chome. We're up to 200-something. Uh, we got the big ship, and you guys can go here. Don't know. I think they stop him here. I think we're okay. Fortunately, we didn't build an airfield here like a potato. Yeah, we're going to get this, and that should close it out. Fremen, it's not going to matter. I think we got this one in the bag. Mercenary spam is so good if you're as rich as I am. All right, so that's been dealt with. Um, we can even grab this territory. Let's go ahead and sell some more, and that's going to give us a lot of money. So we get this. We grab middle, and we grab top, and resupply this too. Oh, my God, it's so close. All right. GG on tax. Yeah, we're going to win on taxes. Yeah, the chunk has got it, I think. I think we got it. All right, so middle's cleared out. So glad I went chum that game, by the way. I was, like, able to afford all that. It was so nice. Ah, oh, the Baron! The Baron! Let's go. I don't know what the Atreides were doing. Pwn abandoned. Yeah, Pwn had to leave. Yeah. Oh, the dreaded mercs rise. They do. The Baron just hiring outside mercenaries with his fat coin. That was a hard hold, dude. I thought I was going to lose that. 100% I thought I was going to lose that. I thought we were done. I thought we were dead. But we managed to weasel that one out. So, um, yeah, GG. Well played. So let me do some hand stretches, and then we'll do one more here. All right. So, how are we looking here? I think we're good. Atreides got annihilated. I went into their land and they had like nothing. The territories. Oh, so you punished them. Okay. His sickness has prevailed. Don't let the Baron get his chubby hands on the chum. All right. So, what's my win to loss ratio? I mean, it's I'm okay. I'm I'm a good player. I mean, I'm not like top tier, but I'm up I'm up there. You know, I can make top 4 in tournaments, but I usually don't win them. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, I think it's time for a Vernius game. Oh, you guys want the prison shanks. I know, I know you want them. And I'm tired of having bad knowledge, but man, it felt good to be that rich. Uh, hold on, I gotta remake the lobby. I think I said it on private. Okay, skirmish, great lobby. And let's do it. Based in Baron Pilled, wow. Okay, so Vernius, we're gonna go with Bronzo and we're gonna go with Teshia. So anybody's welcome to join, four spots. Uh, you know, I'm not much of an ECAS guy. We got the dreaded Angus in here. And um, let's see what else. What's it going to be? Hey, Angus. It should just say turns game if you guys want to join. Oh, man, that was a battle. I think it's time for some Vernia suffering. Captain Chaos, oh, one of our Discord players. Very solid. And we got Saba here. All right. It's Vernon time, dude. Heretical cyborgs, yes. I'll be right back. I'm going to refill my water for this match.
almost ready. Just got to do one more thing here. Hey, Davok, hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. We got we to gotta do some... You know, Davok, we should do some team games sometime, too. That'd be pretty fun. If you guys haven't seen Davok's channel, um, he's here in chat. He's one of the channel members. You see him there looking awesome. Uh, he does Dune, explicitly Dune on his channel, and he's really good. Really, really good ECAS player, among other factions as well. Um, so make sure to check him out. And he's putting up a lot of great battles. He's really good, really insightful, and plays in our tournaments. Also a great dude in our Discord. Can't recommend him enough. Make sure to check him out. If you want more Dune action, that's, that's the place to go for sure. Uh, one second. All right. go time baby let's party i was debating if i should have joined since i'm pretty new oh just join dude don't be don't be shy i mean the great thing about dune is if if you're like let's say you're a newer player but you kind of know it a little bit and you're in a lobby with three let's say pretty experienced players you can still win because they'll be at each other's throats and if you can kind of just fly under the radar and kind of like plug away at your win con you can totally win still um it's very fun say <laughs> something completely uncharacteristic oh i can't even think of anything I don't even know what would be uncharacteristic. Yeah, we had six spice there at the end. That was pretty nuts. Our eco was popping. It was pretty, pretty popping. So it's Vernon time. Um, this will be the last one though. After this, we're gonna call it. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get in there pretty quick. Vernius is probably my favorite to play, followed by the Harkonnens and then um, Fremen. I'm really liking Fremen. They seem very fun. Um, Kenry in our Discord has been teaching me the ways of the Fremen, which is rad. Uh, good luck. I think everybody's here. All right. So we're going to start with Subvoids, Ornithopter, and our Harvester. We're, moving. we're going to go looking now. around. We're going to see that. And we're we can moving. go here. So we see this. Good lunch, have fries. Oh, that's funny. So with, with Vernius, you need to scout your starting region like very effectively. So we usually start with a fighting mech and uh, three Subvoids and one, uh, one Railgun drum. Got spice and free technology. Let's see what the actual tech here is um, before we move over. I need to get an early alliance with somebody too um, to get my trade packs going and get that knowledge. Okay, Plast Greed is pretty good. It's it's oh man, I'm like in the middle of the map straight up. Ay yeah yeah, I don't like that. All right, so we're in the middle of the map, a little little dodgy. Attack, we will. Attack, we will. Task confirmed. Task confirmed. All right, so their task is is confirmed here. We can drop right onto that. Yeah, and if you play with people on our Discord, um, you know, a big problem with public games I've had is people tend to leave when they start losing instead of trying to claw their way back. Oh, shit, I was, I was reading chat. Uh, uh, tag him. All right. Ooh, that was close. That was very close. All right, so we got our flyer here, so he's going to waddle over here and grab that. No scientist traits out of the gates, but that's okay. And let's get one more flyer here. It's going to be an expensive investment, but I think it's worth it just to kind of get the lay of the land here. So first things, we connect it to the neural network. Obviously, Vernius villages suck if you don't do that. Always rush, in my opinion, heretical computing. It's so freaking good. But yeah, in our Discord games we have in our community, uh, we don't really have, we don't have people, people don't leave. So you're typically gonna be fine. Oh, okay, fuel cells down here, that's good. Last Greek factory limit. Um, we have this and a special region, which I definitely want to grab. All right, so here, let's get the Plascrete so we can start developing and we'll wait for the railgun drone before we start pillaging. Um, Pretty good little spot to pillage here. How's water in these regions? Four and two. Okay, not bad. So we can go get the spice. And here we want to collect these like Pokemon. The Vernius Harvester Rex, we want to collect those like all day. Okay, we got two range units there. This is the plastic. Oh, Mount Idaho is not bad. I think we can go here to here. That seems like a like a good a good layout to me. Target identified. Target identified. The Borg are taking over. We're gonna we're gonna be doing uh, some patents. Yeah, not too many. I I always forget where the assassination patent is. I literally need to look that up. 
or somebody in chat could just tell me as well. Uh, Alright, so let's pillage that, get a little bit of free dough, and then we do this, and we don't have our first agent yet, but heretical computing should be coming. Five lands are added per active truce. So who do we want to be buddy-buddy with? Let's be buddy with the Baron. Yeah. The Chonk will appreciate it. Because Chonk, his win cons are like a little more obvious. So it's not something like a governor where you like with rerolls where you can't deal with it. Like I feel like the governor or the Baron can be dealt with a little easier is essentially what I'm trying to articulate. Command needed. Command needed. All right. Let's do this. Uh, what does this region look like? Pretty weak. So we should be fine. And yeah, we're rolling, rolling, dude. So we got one more here. Is it per economy building? It is. You gotta watch watch out with your subvoids. They die very quickly. Uh, what other economy buildings can we build here? I guess we could just like slap that down for a little bit of dough. It's not bad, you know, a little nice village quirk. That will give us more Plascrete. So we're at the 22 Plascrete here, putting us up to 52. And okay, this is really nice actually. Two special regions. So Vernius, one of their tertiary win cons is outside of assassination is hedge. Uh, with this counselor, you can hedge pretty well because your uh, territories that are touching only one of your territories are 20% cheaper to annex and you get a free airfield at your uh, furthest base. So yeah, they're, they're pretty good at that. Oh, we can create like a little circle around this. This is actually great. We got two fuel cells, so geothermal condensers will be very nice. Uh, let's get the chonk to be buddies. Uh, maybe we wait for the machine. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and give him a machine. Okay, so let's do this and set that up. What's the chonk's name? He is uh, Angus. Okay, want a packed uh, free tech for you. Okay, I'm trying to lure the Baron in with freebies. It's like it's like a it's like a Black Friday sale, you know. He says yes, please. Okay, so once radical computing finishes, he's gonna get he's gonna get a pact. He's he's gonna get something that's for sure. A little nice circle here. I like that. Um, okay, so we'll do that, and then our plascrete is, is popping off. We get you on Arrakis. Very good. Oh yeah, sorry. Not sure anyone noticed. I had double influence buildings, hence the massive votes. Yeah, yeah. I, I bet you did. You were doing great. You were doing absolutely awesome. So what is this plascrete factory limit? I mean, I could do just like hard plascrete early. It does hurt your economy pretty bad. So 78 for that. And now we have that. So from here, we could probably get the composite materials. And I only am working once. Oh, no, never mind. Two spice fields. So then we do want to get Entropic Engineering. That one's very good um, because it gives you knowledge for each one you do. All right. So now we offer the chunk a this plus a harmless machine. So he's going to get an analytical machine and lose some lands rad if he accepts it, which is really funny. Let's see if he does it. Yeah. So let's start collecting the free tax laying around. Come on, accept it. You know you want to. This one is water production. Oh, he didn't take it. Angus didn't want the machine. Okay, maybe we got to offer him a... <laughs> I figured I'd try and slip it in there, you know? Would like my standing. Yeah, yeah, no, I get you. That's fair. Isn't that funny? We tried to like, <laughs> we tried to slip in a drone. Just like, come on, buddy. You know you want it. That's why I love Vernius. Just like the Haggard scheming is just one of the most fun things ever. Um, all right, so that's going. Our knowledge is going to be bumping, and we're going to have really good Plascrete out of the gates. And five water down here, too, is quite good. Yeah, all right. Let's get away if we can. Is he going to get away? Yes, he is. Nice. So that Subvoid will live. Let's come work this Spice Field. And uh, right on. All right, so that's done, and that's good here. So let's go ahead and get a Knowledge Building, although, man, it's expensive. That's going to hurt the old right in the economy, ladies and gentlemen. Right in the economy. Command needed. So yeah, early spec region is great. And Tropic Engineering is going to let our drones not only harvest better, but also gives us a really good main base building. So we'll go for that. Um, Railgun drone, let's get another subvoid. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's going to get taken. And now the lands chat is up. Okay, so the chonk is going to be the one we prop up here. Uh, I want the Benny Gesserit agent all day. That's really good for us because... Yeah, all factions get it? Okay, that's fine. So Landsrad standing is plus 10 for us, which means we're going to be able to buy more machines soon. Uh, that is a four water region. We can get the fuel cells already. So it's just, it's inevitable. We're going to do that at some point regardless. So this is Harkonnen Taint. The elected faction gets that. Okay, I actually don't want to lose my Landsrad. So uh, we're going to vote on the Atreides for that just with like our 100 free votes and try and lower their Landsrad maybe. See if that, see if that, goes off our drones are free yeah i mean i paid I'm, i was giving him a good deal on those drones but he didn't want it he didn't want any piece of that Waiting for orders. 
what spec region do we have? We have a lot of special regions, man. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And we need to pillage, though, to sustain our... Oh, no, don't collect that. Did I collect it? No, I didn't. Okay, good. You're supposed to save those with Vernius. I'll show you why later. Just get like a million techs at once. It's very strong. So our eco is going to suck pretty terrible. <laughs> it's going to be pretty terrible right now. Uh, let's go ahead and pillage. We need to pillage to pay for the uh, spice laboratory. But not until Entropic Engineering finishes. Okay, so we got our knowledge building. So we need to get knowledge like everywhere if possible. I could make friends with uh, the Atreides. I don't know who's next to us quite yet. We'll find out soon enough, I suppose. Yeah, we got a pillage here pretty good because it's the only way to kind of keep our economy afloat. We do have two heavies in there. So, so hard to just not collect that. Let's get some water. Because that region's just way too good for water. Okay. Dude, is it just me? Or does it sound like he's saying erection required? I, I swear to you it sounds like that. Erection required. Okay. Command needed. Looking good. Fuel cells. Knowledge is there. We're at 8 knowledge right now, which is cute. Uh, Entropic engineering will be kicking in in a moment. We'll heal up and then we'll pillage that other spice field. And I'm tempted to get Plaskery down here simply because it's a special region. That really would tank our economy quite a bit, though. Let's sell a little bit more. Okay, we don't need to really garrison this since it's our main, near our main base. Direction required. No, no direction orders. direction required is what he's saying. Okay. All right, so next up, survival training is kind of cute, but we're going to do sequential thinking. And um, yeah, then we're going to go down this, although holistic thinking is quite good. We need to... Oh, I made a mistake. I didn't buy more machines early on. You're supposed to like buy them as soon as you get more. Um, I have plenty of lands right now, so I should be able to afford a couple of those bad boys. So let's buy a machine and let's buy a machine. All right, so we got two machines. We're going to put them on Chome right now just to bank our economy. That's going to be plus 40 income, which is really, really nice. Yeah, it's very nice. All right, so that's been cleared out. And um, yeah, we got two of those. And um, let's get that. Can we reach it? We can't. We're going to pillage that. And then we expand full circle here, I guess. And it does have handymen here too, which is great. Direction required. And we did, then we get a maintenance center down here. That's what I'm thinking. It's weird having good plaskrete early with these guys. All right, main base building. We need to get the spice labs uh, because that will give us two knowledge for each uh, each harvester we have. So that is MLG. Uh, we have a plast field here, so let's go get this with you. More special regions, but yeah, we just expand here and then go out this way. That's Moondew Valley. And we get a fight engineer if we kill a couple more units. Okay, so that's done. Neural tropism, lay of the land. I think we can just rush this and kind of start to expand a little bit heavily. We're not under any military threat. Nobody's really that close to us. So overall, I'm feeling relatively safe and secure. Patenting. Uh, we'll patent when we get 5k. And then I can rush geothermal condensers, which is going to be nice because we'll have two of those. Yeah, no manpower. Yeah, I do need to get a manpower building. Uh, that's Blast Creek Factory Limit. This is uh, Eco. Here to serve. It's all done. Get another agent. And let's just put him on Spacing Guild so we have some manpower for subvoids. We obey. Still got to have some of those guys. Uh, House Vernius, I don't think, is in the first Dune trilogy. I could be wrong. Maybe they're mentioned. I know Ekaz gets mentioned in like one sentence. Like It's like in the in the first quarter of the book. It's like, oh, in the fine arts of House Ekaz. It's like, that's basically, that's basically all it says about them. Okay, so we got minerals down here. This this could be a spice field here, which we gotta we gotta keep an eye on that. Okay, so neural tropism. Then uh, we got four hundred. We get you on Landsrad. It should be on Landsrad actually. Could get another machine. Yeah, we don't have enough. So get this, and we're gonna be expanding pretty well and trying to expand up to somebody's border so we can then assassinate them. Is the game plan? I know you can't unhear it. I know. I know. It's like the word haggard. Haggard is just such a like an earworm of a word. I don't even know why. It just, it just kind of is. I should tag that range unit to diminish his power. And that's going to put us up to uh, 13 knowledge, I believe. Pretty decent, if I say so. Uh, yep. So let's go here. Get a knowledge building. Tank that economy a little bit more, baby. And we're at 73. Could put, yeah, we have a drone on Arrakis. And what's good about outpost logistics is you, you can put another agent on Arrakis, which is another drone. So you're, um, we had our match earlier with Grubby and his brother, yeah. No, that wrapped up a while ago. That was two games ago. It's a really fun match. Yeah, really fun match. We had a great old time. 
revealing a siege or plasteel. So let's get you and go get this for the plasteel. And I believe we have some plasteel here. We'll send a drone to go get that one. Can't quite reach you. Is there any more research text laying around? Not really. Command needed. Okay. So from here, we can build the fuel cells. Uh, eventually get the knowledge building, obviously. Let's do this. And we want to get another research hub here. Trying to really just skyrocket our research. That's what you want to do with Vernius. It's incredibly strong. Erection required. We obey. Erection required. All right. So the Baron is up here. Uh, certainly a decent assassination target, if we decide to. But you know we're kind of we're kind of rolling with them right now. The Baron and I are on decent terms. Uh, okay, so pillaging in a second. We got three of these guys should be able to handle that village, so we might as well go pillage it. Here, here, and here. It's just like no manpower whatsoever. And the drones are cool because you can send them to go out into like wild lands and grab things because they they can run through the desert and they don't have supplies. So it's very useful. Um, he wants a research agreement. Okay, I'm happy to take that actually. Yeah, because we can cut him off if he becomes starts to become a threat. You know, if he gets elected to an office is when we cut him off. But for me, that's two knowledge right now. So I'm up to 18, which is awesome, I would say. Uh, the raid going down here. Valuable trinkets is going to go down. I could even get an early, early kind of hedge play going, maybe. So 82 here, and up here, this is a uh, Moondu Valley. Oh, there's another spice field there. So we got to take that then. Destination registered. All right, we have more plasteel. Sweet. Yeah, it's going pretty smoothly. We need to get another main base building though. Um, so what do we get here? Probably we get an embassy because since we're in alliances with two people, uh, we will get, we'll get a bonus. You can see we get a resource bonus there. It's a streaming to my issue. Oh, yeah, you're having issues with the streaming to your TV. Yeah, sometimes they can be finicky. Fight Engineer. So we're going to get a Fight Engineer. Landsrad, we don't really care about. This one, we do not want. We want to deny that. So we're going to we're gonna deny the hell out of that. Although, until and at the start of the next council. Actually, you know what? Maybe we support that. Because that's going to put us down, yes. But we'll have an embassy and also a bunch of... So we support that. Because that will put the Harkonnens at negative, I believe, lands rat if that goes. And it'll also slow down Atreides' politics. So that does go off. So the Harkonnens are now at negative uh, lands rat, or I don't know. Uh, maybe they're maybe they're okay. I don't know why they were. Oh, did he have his taints on that or something? Well, anyways, it will still slow down everybody else. So we come and get the special region. Looking good, looking good. Our plasteel is actually reasonably strong, which is weird for this faction. A few more knowledge. Knowledge is power. Sharing is caring. But we'll get a big Landsrad boost after. Uh, Alright, anything to grab. So he's just grabbing whatever he can. And uh, let's go here, uh, here, here, and here. Great. We're coming this way. Life's good, man. Shooting for the trinkets early? Yeah, yeah. It's it's oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do some patenting, but I'm kinda poor right now, so. The way I'm playing is very greedy with all these. Uh, oh, I never connected this one to the neural network. Oops. We gotta do that. We gotta make sure to do that or else we're gonna be really haggard. Uh, yeah, the patent thing is okay. Okay, military tech is actually sped up. So we'll get valuable trinkets and then we're gonna go here and just do all the military action. I can fix anything. I can fix anything. So we already got valuable trinkets. Um, that's really nice. That's very, very nice. So let's get that. Um, we have a siege we can reveal here. Let's see if it's something that is of interest to us. Okay, so we collect the plastrite and collect the money. Great, and soon we'll get another harvester and uh, connect this one to the neural network. Yes, yes. Really need to get those manpower, at least one manpower building. Fat tech when you get all those goodies. I know, it's so fun. Vernius is such a great faction. I mean, they're a little on the weaker end. Oh, is this too many connected to the neural network? Oh, is it because this one and, oh, okay. Oh, I kind of screwed up on that. Okay, well, anyways, we should be able to connect this one. So this will just be a, um, a maintenance center spot. So we'll cut this and we'll just get a maintenance center here. Yeah, because the neural node will go around this one. Okay, I did screw that up a little bit. So we need 700 Gs, which um, we're very poor at the moment. So we're going to go pillaging. Here we go. And um, yes, that is ready. Do we have enough for another machine? We will soon when the next lands ride comes around. Okay, Siege has been revealed. Where is that Siege? Uh, Plascrete for water. No, I think I'm good. I think I'm alright, thanks. Service. Don't be Denya. 
Okay, so five here. Yeah, that one's just going to be a maintenance center position, which is all right. We got some raiders coming, so I don't have any heavies there, so we're going to have to go back up there and deal with that in a second. So we'll start doing this. Let's leave the injured guy there with his erection required. Okay. That pillage should give us enough for another harvester, and now we can combine the cells because I got the tech earlier. So that will increase the harvesting they're going to be getting. Okay. So we should be pretty good on hedge. Yeah, we're pretty up there. So it's going to be a nice region. We can even... Because deep deserts can connect, which is really, really awesome. Gotta love it. We can get like military bases and, and other, other things here. I believe I can also build just main base buildings because it's just, yeah, resources are producer less. So things that don't pr produce resources like military bases, that kind of thing. It's pretty good there. Okay, so let's get that intel. Very nice. So we've gotten through that. Let's just keep going down military tech while we have the bonus of 50% faster, right? Okay, let's micro a little bit so we don't lose that guy. And let's get the do-it-yourself kit and um, the drone buffing. Damage while tethered and damage against flying units. And we'll decide on the other ones later. Yeah, but bots don't like water. Yeah, I suppose not. So buildings consume no water here. All right, so that's pretty nice. Let's do that. Do we have a way of getting a spice silo? No, not quite. All right, let's do that. Combine the fuel cells. And um, we just keep expanding on special regions, really. Yeah, we'll grab this one. Is there any patents I want to do? I don't really have the money for it at the moment. We can do some more pillaging, I suppose. Alright, so we'll gather you guys. We'll heal up. We'll pillage these nearby bases. Um, let's get another railgun drone. And empirical data, we... Do we not have an agent on Landsrad? Should, isn't it empirical data or is it Chome? Ah, it's Chome. I always get that one backwards. That's a shame. Oh well, it's okay. Could be worse. Hit that spice field, baby. Let's go. Smugglers are... They seem good. I mean, they won our last tournament. Granted, the guy who was playing them was very good. So that's also a bit of a, you know... Yeah, what was the real reason, right? Uh, but yeah, I, I, I personally don't like their playstyle that much. But um, there are a handful of people in our Discord who are pretty active smuggler folk. So it's uh, it's not like they're non-existent. They're just not, I suppose, as popular. Okay, yeah, let's pull you back. Yeah, it looks fine. Then we can kind of 2v3v1 this guy, hopefully. We have gotten this, so it's going to be some nice money. Let's get that. Oh, we already have that one. Nice. We can go claim that money, too. All right, so we'll maybe think about doing a patent now. Maybe thinking about it. I have a lot of Plasteel, so I should be able to develop my regions. Um, this one would, yeah, buff my research hub. So we can actually just do that there, because it doesn't need... It's not going to suffer the penalty. At least I don't believe it should. Uh, early craft workshop. It's it's a bit expensive to upkeep. Let's get a knowledge building first, and then we can start in the craft workshops. Nobody else has passive hedge yet, so that's good. Now, parallel training guild. Dude, we're just tearing through military. By the way, we're tearing through the military research. Uh, all right, subways. Yeah, why not? As fast as I can. This drone is doing great work. So let's claim that ornithopter and do this. And, um, yeah, he was going to get this one. All right, so let's get down there and finish that. Smugglers have the worst looking... More oh, their mothership's kind of cool. It's like a big, like, plague ship. It's I think it's kind of rad. But, hey, to each their own, you know? Uh, all right, so recruitment office in the Imperial Basin is cool, but that's going to make the Baron nervous. Um, I want to offer some harmless machines, but I don't think anybody's going to take that. Okay, Plasteel there. You need to get a main base military building now, so we just needed some money. All right, so let's go pillage here. Yeah, this military, I was not planning to tear through this, but I like to get the main base tier one buildings done because it gives you the uh, economy or research speed before you go into those tech trees. So that's why you start with green, um, basically. Empirical data will happen one of these years, I, I can assure you. I don't know when, I don't know where, but it will happen. Looks like a yeah, bad shower. Yeah, it kind of does look like a shower. Oh, okay, so we could do economy research or private mandate is probably what I go for just to make a shit ton of money off pillaging and then we can uh, we can throw in some more good units here. I think that's the play. So we, oh, the, the Harkonnens want that. Okay, so I'm not going to go for it because I don't want that taint. Uh, we'll support that and uh, the truth thing, you know what, like I'm just going to support the economy development thing and call it a day and then we're going to get some more machines. So we finished the fuel cell thing. Um, we can cut that because now economy is turboed up. 
So we want to get like all the eco stuff. So we're going to get geothermal, spice enlightenment, the works, right? And we have 24 knowledge, which is not like the most hardcore I've seen on Vernius, but certainly not the worst either. So okay, time to get like one manpower building too, by the way. Vernius can really get away without manpower, but it's, it's still a little haggard. Yeah, Smog Motherships are really good against, like, Fremen. That's what they, like, tend to counter. Okay, Empirical Data. It, it's time for the power combo, which is so fun. Um, all right, let's do that. And we can go grab this, too. So we're just finding a lot of goodies around here. Let's pillage that. Um, do I want to patent anything? Uh, yeah, Parallel Training is a good one to patent. That's military. Everybody gets that check. So we're just going to patent that one and call it a day. And then we need to get a little bit more money for our main base building here. Uh, so yeah, pillage the spice fields. Ecotech is gonna just be like laser, laser quick. Uh, Harks are nearby. They're getting a little bit ornery up there, but I don't think the Harks will wanna. They don't wanna lose the technologies they're getting from me, so I think they'll stay friendly for now. And um, pillage. Alrighty, so we're at plus fifty four. I know you guys are a little spoiled from the last game. This is gonna put us up over thirty, most likely. 50% research, uh, research research hub produ production. Yeah, it's going to probably put us up over 30, I think. Really, only 27? Is that it? I have a lot of research hubs. Uh, I guess it's not as much as you think. It's, it's not less because of this, right? That region? I, I didn't think that mattered there, but yeah, it's weird. Uh, all right, so let's come down. Let's grab this. Hassan, I believe is what it's called. Let's heal up. And uh, let's take the manpower, and then we can build some more subvoids. Yes, my, my beloved creatures. So when they finish, we're going to do the empirical data, and we're going to collect all the goodies. We only have a couple, unfortunately, so it's not super good. But here we have another spice field. So if we get that, then that's big. And now we can do main base building. So let's do the uh, fusion plant. It's really good. Fuel cells and your mechanical units recruit faster. It's amazing. I know the settlement isn't connected. It's not possible, so I'm using it as a maintenance center um, spot. You know, we're connecting through the deep desert here, so. If the hearts take this, I might have to fight them. I don't want to get pushed off spice. So I need to make sure that village stays devastated so he can't take it. Um, that's going to be an important uh, catch for me there. I can fix anything. And we have a siege, which we're going to kill it later for resources and goodies. Uh, Chome integration. Geothermal's done, so that's nice. That's really good, considering we have two fuel cells. And we'll get two techs here. We'll get two techs. All right. So, yeah, I mean, 28, not bad. I feel like it could be so much better. Um, I don't like to build this building early, the research center. Because it, it, it shoots you too high on hedge. So I like to use it. But with Vernius, it's so good. I think I might have to get it and just play a little bit more cautiously. So this region is what? Plascrete? Yeah, Mount Idaho. We don't really need Plascrete anymore. But, yeah, it's still better than nothing. Right, let's get you and um, out here. We probably want to get the passive hedge going. So we're going to start submarining on hedge. Just kind of creeping in there, you know. It's the great purple donut. It is. Fear, fear the donuts. Fear them. They're they're here to stay. All right. Fight engineer. We do have one here, but I don't think we have any injured drones. Maybe there's one here that's injured. So we're going to pull him back. He is healing from our fight engineer, which is cool. Obviously, the fight engineer character is the one that I'm going to get because the other character is, I don't know, he's a little bit too much work, honestly. So we take that, and then um, we can get more agents now. I totally forgot. Although I'm kind of poor, so. I come here, and we get this. Okay. I don't have any shares to sell that are worth selling. So maintenance center here is hitting, like, most of everything, which is really good. Uh, this one's also getting maintenance centered. Allied units losing supply, so let's get there. And then we can get this spec region, and that's going to be pretty good. Are we not working this spice? We are working that spice. Okay, great. All right, let's go get this. Man, we're just expanding like an absolute monster over here. Absolutely evil. All right, so let's do the the, the goods. So that's going to bump up our knowledge to 35. We'll claim the tech. And we just got two free technologies. So, yeah, look at that. We got Spice Enlightenment, Insulated Valley. We go, we might as well just go hard and get all of it um, while we have the 50% increase. It's kind of stupid not to. So we need to make some money here. I think we... Manpower, hopefully, will add up eventually. Uh, where do we need militia? Probably out here, since it's so off the beaten path. I can fix and this is five water, and um, this has a maintenance center. It does not. So we'll get a maintenance center here and connect that so we don't have any drama. And then we can get a... Sp oh, a nice spice silo there, too, is going to boost our income. Ready, my lord. That's really nice. 
Alrighty, let's connect it up to the network, and uh, now we can get a hero. I think I'm going to save my money for now because they cost a thousand, so it's all in due time. And we'll take the permanent income. Usually the smarter choice over, unless you're desperate or getting all end early on or something. You want to go with that. Okay, yep, that's all connecting up. We are going to get a spice silo there. The riches of Arrakis will give us 2% um, slurry production per special region, which I believe we already have three, one, two... No, one, two, and three. So that's going to be 6%, up to 8% production from that. And we are going to be getting our fourth uh, harvester here in a second. We just need to pillage this. Yeah, we're actually in really good shape right now, guys. Really, really strong. Uh, we're at 10. Nobody's close to us. The Baron is for sure going to be the assassination target. Because if we're going... Uh, Carino, if Carino gets closer to me. But Carino's harder to assassinate because of the eyes of the Emperor that they have. Um, all right. So let's do this. All right, and outstanding, and let's go ahead and pillage that. So that's going to let us build up. Um, what other main base buildings do we want to get? I mean, here it would hit two spice fields. I'm pretty sure that they, they um, fixed it. So yeah, we, we got this now. So let's get you up to four. Train another harvester, get you up to four. Riches of Arrakis is completed. So yeah, we're starting to boom a little bit economically. Technology over strength. Technology over strength, yeah. The nerds of the rise of the nerds. Uh, no, Grubby, we played earlier with Grubby, yeah. Now we're just, now we're just hanging out. It was a really good game. It's a quicker one, you know, but it was an aggressive game. There's a lot of early fighting. Okay, uh, I have 300 votes. I mean, I could just probably win that, although... Gear Reg, Statecraft Developments, hmm. I kind of don't want Statecraft Developments to be slowed down, so I'm going to deny this one. I'm going to put 150 votes into that. Okay, everybody's getting the money because Carino. Yeah, Skynet. It, it is basically Skynet, yes. So we're going to oppose that. Harkonnens are immune to that. That's kind of cool. I don't think the Harks will attack me. I'd be pretty surprised if they came. Plus, I have a hero and they don't. So, yeah, I'm a little bit higher than them. All right, cool. And then a spice silo there for the next building. We crush that, get the pillage. We're at 2.8k because of the Emperor, so thank you, uh, thank you, Shaddam. We got another drone, so he's gonna go here. Let's get him fully geared out. Now we need to start upgrading uh, our main base here. So we're gonna get the Chome Branch. We've already benefited and honestly researched like the entire eco tree here. We're not gonna be buying Chome, so I don't need to worry about that tech as much. Um, patents, let's see. We can do the final eco tech here and. Um, we can do valuable trinkets too, and that will let me know if anybody's researching that. So we just put a bunch of patents down. I can block his tech for eyes of the emperor. That's correct. That's correct. Um, all right, so five here, and we were gonna do a water building and then a spice silo here. Let's get a couple heavies out there because it's really, really isolated. Let's hit this. We're at ten, and we're gonna have passive hedge already ticking in from two places. So pretty mean. Pretty mean. Uh, probably time to start getting some good machines, although we don't really need to yet. Acid Lakes would be god tier if I can get that. I think I'm going to zip across and try and find my way over to get that one. Where are the drones? Where are the drones? All right, uh, let's get our hero. We're going to get Nuwa. I like her uh, as it pertains to the hero choices. Railgun drones, yes. And uh, cool. All's good in the neighborhood, man. Okay, so here we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, we just cleaned house on that. Diplomatic maneuvers will give us start giving us free gifts. And then um, then here we get holistic thinking, and then we just go down and get all the, the fun stuff. I think we grab this one. It's going to be a little dodgy, you know. And we get the spice silo here, which is going to hit two spice fields, so one and two. And then where are our other spice fields? Up here, and then the other one is, I believe, too far away for a spice field to be relevant. So, yeah, that one's also kind of cool to get, but I think we just do a spice silo here. We have an unassigned agent. Uh, we'll buy some... The machines need to take over right now, so we're going to buy some machines. And our lands rat is at a lot, so we're just going to, like, literally just pour out the machines. Yeah, why not? Let's get another one. And do we want to get another one? Sure, why not? All right, we just, like... The march of the machines just happened. We just got a ton of machines. Uh, this one is not going to be too hard to get, although we need to get you guys down here. Fighting mechs uh, will get you armor while tethered and damage against non-machines. I think it's going to be fine. The science unique building affect your territories? Yeah, it does. It should 
It should be affecting them. I, I feel like it might not be. I could destroy it and find out, but, you know, I, I don't know if I want to do that right now. It's a little risky. Okay, Spice Enlightenment. The Harkonnens are obviously going eco, right? Um, we need to get some machines into Intel and start that going. Oh, man, we just bought so many machines. And they can be used on counterintelligence, too. They're, they're good for a multitude of things. Where are the drones? Where are the drones? All right, so down here, let's get this. We can grab a knowledge building in a minute. My brain at your and let's service. waddle over here and get that. We got 180, and it does have a really good trade on it, too. Knowledge, and um, all right. Yeah, I probably should get the tech just to get the knowledge gains, the research center. The problem is that's going to launch me up on hedge um, and make me public enemy number one. So the Harkonnens just bought um, one of my technologies. Everybody wants these sweet, sweet goodies, you know? Oh, where is she? Is she not there yet? Oh, she's here. Okay. So she can heal my drones, which is cool. We need to get another fight engineer there, too. All right. Acid Lakes is just God tier for us. So we're going to run this way and just leave one of our mechs to sit here because I believe it only does damage to living units. Ground units. No, actually, so it's machines, too. Okay. So it's it's all of, all of the stuff. This is going to put me up pretty high here, guys. She's so high. That song's such an earworm, too. All right. So we're cruising back over. We have some spice here. Let's just grab it while we're here. And um, next up, we connect this with the neural node through the deep desert. All right. Let's get some heavies, and we can just peace out. And that's good because that's more infiltration cells on Carino, right? Eyes of the Emperor, I believe, is in their countermeasure spot. So if we wanted to counter that, we could. Let's go ahead and get the free intel here. Can all factions use EMP? Sadly, yes. It's like the hard counter to me. Feels pretty bad when it happens, that's for sure. So we're at 32 knowledge. Uh, we do not have a knowledge building here, but the spy silos are going. Let's go ahead and take that. Is there anything we can pillage around here? There is. So let's just go get money where we can. Yeah, 16 passive hedge is a lot. It is a lot for sure. All right, let's start on the scientist building down there. And yeah, that's really good. Is it? Is it just, is it one? Okay, so it's just one research of production efficiency. Got it. It would be cool to see Vernius in the Dune movies, although it, it, I assume they're gonna make Messiah. And if I remember correctly, Vernius is not in Messiah, so. I think they're in the expanded universe books. I mean, they're, I think they're mentioned, like Ix is mentioned at some point during the original three. I can't remember. There's probably some people here who know better than I. I'm a bit of an idiot. Okay. Where are the drones? So that looks good. We got 3K and um, main base. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get the knowledge building and go full greed. Ballistic thinking is going to boost us up to uh, a lot of extra knowledge. It'll be three or four, actually. So I want to get up over like 50, though. That's the power fantasy. Oh, another deep desert. We could actually connect to this one, too. Man, we're getting way too greedy, guys. We're getting way too greedy here. Um, and we have an airfield here. No, we do not. Oof, that's bad. Well, the Vernius mothership will um, will come soon. And I need to do something with all this freaking knowledge. All right. Not intelligence agency, but research center. All right, team. Ix is huge and got Emperor of Dune. Got it. Yeah, so the... Oh, that's 30 minutes. The lady staying high. Uh, Landsrad's coming. I might be able to win something. This is the previous one, but the new lens shed. The Harks have bought Spice Enlightenment. Do I want to patent anything? At this point, we've kind of patented all the goodies that we're really going to need to do. Let's get some heavies down here. Pillage this. Are our militia going to win that fight? I think they will. It's going to be close, though. Two, turn too greedy, never. It's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Give me the War of Assassins. This is like the biggest um, chunk for Spice. Uh, and Shonk for Spice. Oh, uh, Baron. I should probably say Baron for Spice. I'm politicking with the people. Oh, no, it's everybody. Never mind. Okay, so Vernius is going to... If I get two assassins, I'm going all in on that one, baby. No one for Spice. Yeah, yeah. Never mind, never mind. Okay, so that's not going to be possible. We need to build the mothership over here. Main base building's going hard. Plaskery's at 83. And if I get those assassins, I'm going to be very happy because later on they'll make assassinating much easier. So let's do infiltration cells and infiltration cells. The Atreides are too far away to assassinate, so that's not going to happen. Okay, and uh, holistic thinking is going. 
So now we're at 41 knowledge, soon to be like 20% more. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, I need to get the spacing guild port. And what is this? This is, uh, oh yeah, everyone got controlled markets, so everybody's economy is going to suck for a little while. I love the static effect when you're like going through storms. I always thought that was a really cool touch. Oh uh, yeah, we need to get the spice gathering here, but the damn storms, of course, blocking it. Greed is good? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. And, um, okay, so probably we get the free airfield down there. Yeah, we do. We do not have an airfield right here. Mm, get some small guys. So yeah, whatever. Just make sure it doesn't get hammered. Let's go pillage that. And um, we're not going to drop the infiltration cells until we have stealth gear because it will be fairly obvious. It's going to tell them, basically. Uh, we can take the influence. Sure, why not? But we, we have the two cells ready to go. And once we can buy more machines, we can put them on and just have a ton of intel. It's, it's pretty bonkers how high you can get. All right, so let's get the spacing guild. Uh, the Vernia ship is one of the best in the game. So we need that one. We need it precious. Village here. Four up there. Yeah, the Harkonnens are hanging out. Looking a little bit suspicious. Soon we'll have stealth gear. Two days, man. It's such a... such a. When you play Vernius a lot and then you switch to other factions, everything just feels so slow with the research. It's, it's hilarious. Let's go pillage that so we can't take that over. Because um, we know he wants it. Okay, so we got the spice silo going down right here. Water's pretty good at 33. We have the water batteries if need be. And, um... Oh, is he gonna... He's probably... If he takes that, I'm a little nervous because I do lose the spice field. Could I take his armies, though? I think I could. I think we could. If he starts to take it, we need to make sure... Okay, he's just pillaging. That's great. So the Baron is staying friendly with us. Spice exchange rate sucks, and soon we'll have the stealth gear. We're at 48 knowledge now, which is pretty nutty. Um, let's see if the Chonk wants a... Uh, no, we have political agreement. And the Atreides player... Greetings. Hmm. I'm going to offer him a harmless gadget. My brain at your service. <laughs> let's see if he takes it. He's thinking about it. He's probably looking at it right now, like, just all, all, all inquisitive. Board. So we need to shank the Baron, probably. Um, and then uh, from there, okay, so that is done. So we can go ahead and do a cell here, and we can do a cell here. So they shouldn't detect those ones. And then we can do more cells. Cells and cells. So that's going to be expanding our goodies. And then we will probably get the command post to just reduce the cost of our military. Expanding here, i got to be cautious. i gotta, I got to slow my brakes, guys. We're getting a little bit too nutty on the expansions. Can I take a siege yet, though, is the question. All right, so we got another main base building. Uh, intelligence agency is good. Embassy is good. This one does give you a lot more knowledge. 2% knowledge per connected node. Intelligence agency is probably necessary, but we'll do the command post for now uh, just to get the cost reduction. And yeah, the Baron is going to be suspicious. We'll definitely take this vice field uh, so we can... Oh, there's a ship parts. There's a renegade base over there. The Baron and I are friends at the moment for now. Uh, let's get some residence drones. Oh, we don't have enough slots. Oh, we do not. Where are the drones? Yeah, the Baron and I are pals. Uh, teleport. You can teleport to any of your tethered lands. You yeah, so it's really good. You you just kind of zip around. It's extremely fast. Okay, so that should be done in a second, and we don't really need influence for anything. So we just give our influence for ship parts, and then we if we just get the freaking renegade base. Oh, they're gonna take this over. Sweet. So that's a safer renegade base for us to get. All right, rally point, and um, we need the resonance drone, the armor, and we'll do the... We can do knowledge while tethered, but I think we're going to make the more combat focused here and hope for the best. All right, let's choose that. And um, do I want to get any more machines? We're literally, like, almost full out on eco. Is anybody choming? Yeah, but, oh, Atreides chom. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so we'll do... We'll take that spec region, and that's going to give us another good in on the Baron. I probably should get um, an agent to start going and infiltrating the Baron here. Just so we can raise the levels and have that on the table at some point. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. And here we have the furthest one. We'll just do the passive hedge here. And man, I'm being so greedy. I'm being so freaking greedy. 
if I don't succeed in my kill, it's going to be very ugly. All right, so let's get you over um, a little bit higher up. Yeah, and then I think two cells on you is fine for now. When we get physical wiring, we should be able to get more. And let's go get that Renegade base. So let's do a supply drop. I think we win this fight. I don't have any resonance drones yet. We need to get some of those. What am I missing? Uh, command points. Okay. All right, let's get the Renegade base here. Let's do this. And let's do that. So we're healing. We're going to lose subvoids, but we don't really care about that. So it's fine. I'm, uh, I'm not going to micro it too much. Just, just let, the, let the boy watch, and we'll be fine. All right, so let's get some militia here. Just baseline militia. And uh, yeah, we're clearing it out. We're getting shit parts, which is great. And we'll try and save this fighting mech. Maybe he's going to live. The mechs you want to protect if you can, obviously. They're very good. So, And expensive to replace. The subvoids, you don't care too much. They can just they can just eat it for all, for all you care. All right, so looking around, we have passive hedge of plus 18 right now. So yeah, we're really, really sneaking it in there. I need to get more machines. How much are they? They're probably pretty pricey at this point. 24 Landsrad, yeah, that's a lot, but that's fine. We can put them in here, and uh, ooh, 27 Landsrad. We're going for it, we're going. Machines are taking over. Yes, and Fight Engineer, let's do some healing here. Let's move you on there. And we can heal all our droids here for free, which is really good. Don't touch my drones. <laughs> Don't touch my drones. The voice acting on that's pretty good. All right, we almost have the big ship. I, I, I'm a greed player. I am for sure a greedy player. Uh, the Baron is going for his ship parts there really like to get this but this will give us the physical wiring so we're going to get one extra free cell on him um agents we can go off spacing guild now and we can go and put you on the baron try and get that going i could i take this region do we do it i think we do it i think we do it embrace the greed embrace it greed is good man this is a classic cheat code in gaming remember uh, building slot, the elected faction suffers, lands rad, military development. Uh, let's actually deny this because I might need to switch into military soon. So we're going to oppose this with like 150. My military is under, uh, it's actually reasonably developed. Yeah, I guess whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, 124 for that. We have a ton, man. We can make a big push here soon. All right. Let's get that. Get a couple subvoids and soon we're going to get the big ship. Harkonnens have done their business. We see their big scary army here. Uh, definitely going to get attacked down here, I would guess. Oh, God, I'm being such a greedy chungus right now. Oh, my God. Uh, countermeasures? We could do the lay of the land and then countermeasures. Yeah, I think I want countermeasures. I think I want it. Dude, we're being so filthy greedy right now. I do remember where the assassination tech is for the Harks, though. I, I looked it up the other day, so... I now know where that is. So down here, um, yeah, intelligence agency. The training slots are really good too. And also, what do we want to get here? Probably just go for the training slots. My brain That's gonna be nice. All right, so let's connect this to the network. Guys, we're at 17K with passive. We need to like get this ball rolling really quickly. And um, is that really all we get? Oh, it has to be tethered, that's right. Yeah, so for the cell to be free. Uh, this base is going to be free. If I can, like, snipe that right as that pops up, dude, that's going to be really good. Fight Engineers, uh, let's give you the um, armor, and we can do the experience gain, too. Where are the drones? Where are the drones? Folder Relay! Oh, I love it. That's, like, the most fun thing ever. The Folder Relay is so cool. You guys are going to love it. Uh, all right, so what does this region even do? Recruitment office? You know what? Actually, ain't, ain't useless. That's for sure. A um, little bit of a raid going here, service. so let's go clear this out. We're... At a casual 17k while Karino sitting at 10. So, yeah, certainly not making friends. And, um, yeah, the intel thing, I mean, it's gathering pretty quickly. Let's go off Landsrad and get you on here. That's going to be a lot of intel being gathered. I can fix that. And now we got a tethered base right on the border. We need to get an airfield there. And we should be able to do one more cell now, too. Yeah, we should have three on them. Yeah, that's great. And uh, can this be taken soon? Oh, 0.9 days. I stand at the ready. That's going to be another free one there. New challenge awaits. So the Harks are... I, don't, I wonder what tree he's going in. We can actually go look. So if we go to our uh, intel. Harkonnens are uh, currently mostly in eco with very little uh, in the way of uh, other techs. Okay. Sure, my lord. So let's grab this. We're going to actually take this though because I want to... Um, oh, God. Oh, I might need to, like, abandon something soon. Oh, man. 
If I want, no, I'm not going for middle. Middle is like too much. That's that's too much. Okay, so what do we need? Two levels here. We almost have it. I'm great. And let's cut this off just to like hedge my like calm my greediness down. Uh, okay, so we can get you. That's gonna be a lot, and then we can get you on there. So we can get the levels faster. And uh, yeah, it's it's basically go time. It's 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 time. The Nurglings will feast. And if I mean if he's gone, then I'm pretty safe, right? Um, airfield and all oh, the folder relays here. Hell yeah, I think it's so cool. Just a casual 55. Um, so we got one here, one here. We can get one out here. We can do one back here. Just kind of off the beaten path, but I think it's gonna be good. And then we can do this, and that'll give us another one on top of that, which is beautiful. Okay, so we're going to go get that. That's a lot of intel there. I didn't win the assassins earlier, I don't think. Maybe I did, and I didn't notice what happened, but... Uh, Carino's got a little little razzle-dazzle there, so they might come over and try and take that, which I wouldn't mind. If anything, I would abandon this region. Uh, that's, that's okay. So we're very close to shooting up and over now. And let's get an airfield here. We'll just do an airfield so I can literally fly right into his base. And we can get one, so we're gonna have so many infiltration cells on him. We're gonna have one, two, three, four. Yeah, assassination's available. It will be soon. And we can start on that. Oh man, I love playing Vernius. They're so fun. All right, so we got that collected. That's gonna be over 500. And um, we're gonna start on that too. Oh, yes. 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 The time is now. So we got one here, we got one here, we got a deep set one, and then we can do the other one up here probably is the smartest play. Yeah, which I think is just the chosen one. Do we have any intel grabs we can do around here? Looking to see if any of these, I just buy a little bit of spice, why not? And this one, ooh, we do have intel there, checking the flight records. Okay, so we should cancel this. We need to have as much intel as humanly possible. And countermeasures can finish. Uh, and then, you know what, actually, let's just stop countermeasures for now and start banking intel, because we're going to need it. All right. Here we go. And um, we don't have a, a lot of intel in the bank, but now we're going to be plus 72. So it's going to be pretty bananas. So let's just grab and... Um, yes, yes, yes. Somebody bought my patent. Harkonnen's got valuable trinkets. Interesting. Interesting. And here, we should be able to get the intel building. Do we have an airfield? We do. All right. So airfield in time, let's get that. And uh, hopefully the spice tax isn't coming up anytime soon. All right, so this is a really like, I need to have more intel banks before I try anything. Otherwise it's just gonna be a fail. So let's get uh, this, yeah, it's spice. Let's see if I can um, get some from the Atreides. So let me talk to the Atreides. Send me intel and I will assassin him. This is, this is the politics. You guys like it? I do. I think it's fun. All right, so we're going to rally over here. We're going to literally rally um, some of this. Uh, like 400. Okay, I'm haggling here. The Baron does have two on counter intel, it looks like. He, he only has two, so it's going to be a quicker one. Yeah, I think we probably don't even need that. Sure. I'll take whatever I can. I'll take whatever scraps I can. Waiting for orders. <laughs> Waiting for orders. And I should have offered him a machine. That would have been really funny. Ready, my lord. Okay, the fight engineer is on the way back. Um, we can grab this for now. And we have an assassin coming in. He's got... I don't know why his Cerberus landed there. It's very sus. Oh, he's got stealth detection. Oh, but he... It's literally right into him. Okay. So we might have to engage the Baron here. We're gonna see. He's he's suspicious of assassination. He's he's clearly got like dudes waiting there. But we're at peace, so his turrets aren't gonna shoot me, um, which is great. Okay, we did not get the assassin cancel. Seventy six intel per day begs for intel, dude. That's how you do it, though. That now I have extra. You know, that's that's what you do. Uh, Two seventy eight. Okay, wow, holy shit, Karina's boats are insane, and so are Atreides. Uh, I don't care about any of this. Uh, sure. Vote Carino and Water Sellers? I mean, um, why would I do that? I'm just not going to do anything here. It's fine. Okay, so let's get the uh, let's get the intel building here. We're touching tips. Oh, man, my mothership is out here. That's really unfortunate, the positioning of it. 
Parks are for sure going to break their pack soon. We have a lot of lot of cells on him though, which is good, and even a deep set one, which he's not going to be able to protect probably. Yep, he's super vulnerable over here. So he's gathering up his forces. Um, my intel is decent, but I need more. More. I do need more. I do need it. I need it so bad. It's crazy how quick you go through it, you know. So we'll be a little more patient with this since he only has two on counter intel. Ready, my lord. We're gonna just sit here and be ready to teleport on a dime wherever we're needed. Uh, definitely not gonna take more territory because I'm already like looking kind of villainous here. Just say the word. Okay, so we have that one. It's still undetected. He's not gonna detect it for a while. So let's just like be really patient here. Yeah. If somebody's actually, like, if Vernia says they're going to assassinate, you can usually trust them. That's definitely, uh, definitely something they do. I'm on the clock. You're on the clock? I know you are. Okay, so 66. Where yeah, the Harks are definitely going to get a little crazy here, so we should probably, um, build a military base there. He knows it's coming. He definitely knows. He's very, uh, as the kids would say, sus. Get a military here. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not like fully geared out military wise, so I might lose a fight to him. Let's go here and get these lands chads down here. All right, so he's at currently 88%. I think he's about to attack me. Oh no, never mind. He's being attacked somewhere else. Okay. So it has been detected. Okay, so he knows the chonk knows it's coming now. Um, and yeah, he's he's gonna be panicking. I'm sure. So, oh, why did they have to run through the desert? Oh, are you serious? So he's going to be cell searching. Harkonnens can cell search extremely quickly, though. Um, is he at war with me? He's not. So I can just literally drop right into his shit here. So he's at 71%. Um, as far as that goes, I could try. Yeah, he's not in conflict with me, which is pretty funny. So it's just going to run straight in. It's going to be hilarious. He needs to go conflict with me or else his shit isn't going to work. Is he cell searching? He is not. Okay. I think he's probably panicking right now. Okay, let's get another assassin in. Ready, my lord. And are we in conflicts? We are going to be, so let's take away our technologies from him so he doesn't have our techs anymore. And let's take our mothership and do this. And we're gonna just blast that freaking guy in the face right now. No, oh, I didn't build all this, damn. So we're gonna cancel that cell search. And we're gonna pull back to our territory and now we can fight, do this. And slip you in. Oh, the, he, I don't think he got in. All right, let's go up here. Well played there. Um, the Hark army is losing, I think. It's hard to tell. Uh, let's get our fight engineer, do a little bit of healing here. Rally point is going to be, um, we need to start making more. So why am I not able to make, am I just, oh, supply. Yeah, okay, I can only really afford subvoids. Got it. So we're going to get another assassin who's going to slip the dagger in. He's going to go up here. And, um, yeah, we actually are defeating the Harkonnens. Okay, so let's, like, just force target all them down. The Assassin's going to make it there before the cell search. But we have the cell search here, too. So I think that's going to put us back up. And let's get you and get another Assassin going in just a second. So it should get in and did it. Hell, did it not get in there? Should have gotten in. Harkonnen attempt on me. Wow, okay. So I need to, shit, I need to do this. Okay, we need to obfuscate this. So where is that? That is going to be, uh, their tech is uh, right here. Yeah. Okay, so we had to obfuscate that. He can't make assassins anymore though, but we need to get guys on counter intel stat. So here and here. Ooh, it's an assassin race. I think he's gonna win it probably though. Yeah, maybe. Oh my God, it's, a, it's an assassin race. He can't make any more assassins though. I did just block that, so that's good. Um, we have a cell over here. I'm surprised he hasn't abandoned it yet. That's like one of our last hopes. So 76, he's dropping. He can't make anything anymore. Uh, as far as this goes, let's get that. And keep fighting here. We can repair the drones. And the assassin has arrived, so let's get it in there. Let's get in there. Come on, buddy. And fight engineer, and what are we? Are we short on fuel cells? Oh, it's a fuel cell thing. Oh, did I? Really? I'm like that low on batteries, huh? Oh, I got decapped on the other side when I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that screwed me up. I was like, why can I not make units? Oh, that's so terrible. I just got decapped over here. Man, oh man, that's bad. Okay, so the Harkonnens, how is he making assassins again? Because I, I should have blocked that. 
Okay, Intel, I don't really have enough. Oh man, I screwed up. I screwed up. Well played to him though. Well played to him. I think we complete in three days and he completes in seven days. So as of now, I think we're okay. Dude, I can't believe that decap. It cut off my whole empire. Oh man, I was wondering what the hell happened there. Uh, so we need to get the mothership away. Can I get one more assassin in? I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, let's just go ahead and get the folder relay out of here. Send me 100. Oh man, one day. Okay, okay, okay. We're still in it. As long as we get the kill here. Okay, he's taking that. I don't give a shit about that. That's fine. I think I beat him in the assassin race. Okay, we, we're just going to keep waddling away with our folder relay. Oh, man. Nobody's going to send me 100. That's for damn sure. Okay. Let's do that. We're at one. I think he has another cell back here still he hasn't discovered. Come on. End him! My brain at your End him! I missed oh, my God. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I'll take that intel. He wants 500. Sure. Worth it. Oh, God. Okay, now we just need to reconnect our shit, and then we're back in the game. Oh, my God. That was so haggard. Okay. The fact that I ran out of all my batteries and shit and research, that was just so janky. Uh, Carino's taking this, but they're going to die to the acid lakes. Oh, my God. For real. And I blocked the Harkonnen assassin tech, but the, this one's going to be too hard to do. All right. So let's do a cell search here. I think I know where he's got it. Um... Yeah, I could. I can't abandon that village, Hadley, so. I don't know if he could just camp that or whatnot, but yeah, we need to get this. Let's grab that, and then um, that will allow us to get our freaking batteries back. Oh, God, we lost the batteries. Okay, can we make more? We can. Railguns, residence, and um, now I'm getting shanked by the other one. Rip Angus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vote Summit uh, to save me, and I can help with core. The elected faction suffers, cancels, um, they are trying an assassin. Okay. I'm going to see if a homie will vote for me, but he might just let me die or, you know, not help. Uh, we need to get freaking turrets here. Do I not have enough water? Oh my God. That, that was really bad. That whole set situation there. I can reconnect the neural network here, but it's going to be janky as hell. Oh, okay. It got canceled. We're good. Dude, that was hectic as hell, bro. Okay, I don't need to rush it now. I can just wait for this. Jesus, all these things up here just flying. All right, let's get the military techs all geared out. Okay, so you, buddy, can go down here. The acid lakes are wiping out his army, but I'm like, I'm very, very beat up after that. So I need to get some subways. I have like two idle harvesters. I do have 400 plus. Um, let's go ahead and start getting passive if we can. Yeah, we need water. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, oh, we're low on plascrete. Like, everything just fell apart there. Knives out. Dude, I know. This is like... I'm happy he's taking this, though, because it's going to let me submarine again. It's going to put me below. Let's get this, and then you grab that, 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 and that. Rally points here. Uh, can we get another mothership? He did take... He Oh, he is going to take this region. Yeah, that's actually a good thing. I'll lose some knowledge, but it, at the end of the day, it's worth... So this is retakeable in seven days. So only seven days more of suffering. Okay, uh, trade agreement? Yeah, sure, I'm fine. Is he chumming? Yeah, a little bit. He's only 14, so. Okay, so let's grab that. Um, as far as expansions go, we probably can just go and greed now. We could just, now that we're below, we can start re-greeding again. Dude, the stupid AI. It was probably the siege. Oh my God, almost cost me the game. All right, so we have you. We probably need some fighting mechs. I mean, despite all that, my eco is still respectful, which is pretty funny. Uh, we need to get these harvesters back online. <sighs> That's for damn sure. It's two harvesters just doing nothing. That feels so bad. All right, let's get water here. And this is a five water region, which we are using. And uh, yeah, all right, cool. How many days? Four days. All right, we're just camping and waiting. And then that will kind of rekindle a lot of our uh, old empire. As far as expanding goes, the Harkonnen lands are looking mighty juicy, so I'll probably expand up north. I can fix anything. Uh, can we take this one? We can. Yeah, we'll grab this. Oh, this is a special region that's actually pretty well developed. Ah, we can get that in 1.4 days. And the rest of you guys can get this. Yeah, oh my god. It is, it is good when a haggard plan comes together. I'm hoping that they'll kind of go after each other now and I can just kind of, you know, rebuild. So we get that. It has five water. And the Hark's already developed that village, so... 
It's pretty funny that we were both scheming assassinations. That was actually hilarious. I need to get the ship building back. I really do. Oh my god, how long? Two days? For the love of the dark gods, dude. Alright, so we grab that. That's going to put us back up. I can probably take my computers off counter intel, although I think I need it. Oh, I have all these free agents now, too. So let's get you on Carino. And um, we can go here on Arrakis, and we can get you on the Chome. Ready, Great. All right, team. That was so scary. That whole that whole situation was terrifying. So we get that, and then we get this region. Yeah, we have a lot to expand up here. There's a random-ass Imperial base over there. Yeah, that's right, because when they kill somebody, they get that. That's pretty cool. Uh, missile turret, yeah, it's fine. We'll get a missile turret there. New challenge awaits. I'm gonna go back up to 20, which is gonna be dodgy. Um, we probably want an airfield out here so we can fly when we do inevitably get attacked. That is gonna be free, so we can get that back. Oh, please, for the love of the dark gods, give it to me. Then we can reconnect the old network. I need to just kill these stupid sieges, by the way. They're so troll. Uh, we don't need self detection here, but everything else is more or less good, so we just connect it to the node. Alright, so we're at plus 28. Um, let's just pound these sieges into oblivion. I'm gonna take out all my fury on them here. Okay, so Harvester will be back online soon when we capture this, because it will have all our old buildings from before, if I'm not mistaken. That's a good region, too. Water and, you know, a bunch of goodies. The mind games you can play are pretty nuts in this. Absolutely. Okay. So Carino bought that. I blocked the... Uh, I did block a tech. I uh, obfuscated the uh, Harkonnen tech where they make assassins. I think that bought me some time. He must have had some assassins sitting still. Uh, five water here. Wow. Okay. So now our harvesters should be able to get back online here in a second. God, I hate that they're just tormenting me like this. Uh, did we go up here and get this? That's pretty greedy. That's pretty greedy, boys. I think we do, though. I think there's only two of them, so we just kind of go for it. All right, we're reconnected, baby. We're back on the grid. I'm in. It's like the 90s hacker montage. All right, so residence, yeah, all this. Let's just get all the goodies. Um, ooh, yeah. Folder relay, I would love to get that back, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. Can you work this, please? And you can go work over here. All right, so now our spice income should be back. We're pushing. We have the knowledge building, so there's no submarining for us. Uh, Carino may attack. How are we holding here? Of course, the Haggard Raiders are coming for us, so we need to go deal with them. And I think our machines are going to win up here. We have a fight engineer who needs to get back so they don't run out of supplies. And shouldn't this guy be working here? There you go. All right. Little buddy was trying. Okay, so our income's back up to being really good. Oh, that's the spacing wreck too, actually. That's a really nice one. Okay, so we can do the special building here. Main base, um, I think now we get water so that bullshit doesn't happen again. Captain Chaos wants to trade with me, for real? Make it worth my okay, time. he's gonna take peace while I'm expanding. That's really good for me. Because now I can just greed expand for a while. Yeah, we're just gonna greed and just get hedge like everywhere. Uh, we don't have hedge back here yet. Okay, we gotta do that, so. Mm. Our knowledge is just a casual 61. I'm going to keep this damn cell search ready. Uh, Carino, we have infiltration cells on them. Oh my god, and he had the ship parts here. I don't even need to rebuild it. That's so good. Oh, that's so good and tasty. Oh, that's so good. So we're at 23k now. Do this. Let's get some fighting mechs. And with our water batteries, we should be okay. We need to get an airfield up there. What? Our army? Did our army lose that? No way. I think our subvoids lost that fight. Where the hell are the other ones? What the hell? What in tarnations? Alright, so let's uh, go after him. I need to get probably the hidden back door. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, so we need to get um, empirical data. Shit, I don't have the one for the hidden back door. It's so good against those guys. Um, hidden back door is spacing guild, so I need to get you on there. And we have another agent there, so let's like double up on spacing guilds. Ship parts, nice. Uh, assassins? Sure. Actually, you know what? I need to make sure that Carino doesn't get this on me. Uh, or deny that so they can't dive me together. Which I think is more important. We're going to do that. <laughs> Taps the keyboard five seconds. I'm in. I know, it's hilarious. Alright, so we got water here. Probably a maintenance center would be really good if we can. Um, we have two airfields here. Probably redundant. So we'll get a maintenance center to help our economy. 
Oh shit, my hero's like dying here to this stupid shit. Oh my god, come on. Alright, the drones have arrived. This is like, these guys are strong as hell, man. Oh my god. Let's do some healing here and maintenance center. Yes, that's gonna cost reduce. There's a lot going on. Uh, the quest for the ship parts? Yeah, let's do it. I'm pretty close to getting the folder relay back. And then we're we're gonna be great. We're gonna be we're gonna be cackling all the way to the bank. It looks like that did get pillaged though, so yeah, damn shame. Alright, chase that stupid flying potato. Let's get it. I'm at 23. I need to get the um the yeah, passive hedge going on every base at this point. Because Carino can definitely chase me. Alright, so let's get you guys. Let's rally up down here. Let's get some subvoids. I have too many resonance drones and not enough uh, railgun drones, I think. They, these guys are way too expensive, their upkeep. They're really pricey. Alright, so no airfield up there, but we do have one here, so we could waddle if need be. Let's get that. Why the hell not? That's going to be going to make sure we don't run into the water problems again. That's right, darling, that's right. Hell yeah. Okay, so how are we looking? Water Purdue Collector. We have authority we can grab, potentially. It's like random ass fight engineer. Just go grab whatever you can at this point. We have energy efficiency, so our armies are gonna start getting pretty strong. Oh, let's get that folder relay. Yes. Now we're back in business. I could take this down. Uh, where can we expand to? Probably just grabbing these random niche territories in our base. Just pushing hedge is gonna be good and playing defensively from here on out. I think we can just win on the uh, passive hedge. Carino's kind of creeping up behind me, but um, I think we're fine. All right, hidden back door will own anyone who tries to use drones against me. Assassination is available. Um, I never got counter intel. Uh, we'll, we'll try and finish that after if possible. Okay, so let's keep grinding. We do lose our assassin, whatever, who cares? Let's uh, go ahead and take this region. We're just gonna, you know, Put whatever there, we're just trying to push up. We have 55 in the way of hedge. Let's get the free tech. Valuable trinkets has been taken. Carino is getting passive too, right? Uh, no, they're not, but Atreides is. So the Atreides player knows, he's submarining. They're, they're obviously scheming against me. They're, it would be stupid for them not to. Uh, it's gonna be hard for him to assassinate me when he doesn't share my border though, as well. Ah, oh, shit, okay, let's get you out of here. That's gonna put us up to up close to 25K. All right, so as far as this goes, I mean, we'll just get some water down here. Why the hell not? Uh, is there any more spice I should be getting? I don't think so. Plaskery is on lock here. Our knowledge is 63, and our income is actually quite respectable. But man, Atreides at 38%. Okay, so Atreides is choming. Uh, I need to strip away all this from him to tank his economy a little bit. Yeah, so we can't, we can't just let him cackle on us like that. So his economy is going to be diminished ever so slightly. The good thing about Atreides choming is that they're probably not going to help each other. Um, the Atreides thinks he's just going to sit in his base and probably chome, which is, you know, potentially possible, but... All right, so let's take this region and collect here. We don't need the spacing ship parts. Uh, we need 576 for that, which we're going to get soon. I think this is, like, just what we take, right? Or do we go up in the Harkonnen lands? Yeah, kind of obstructed. Is there any spec regions? No. So it's just going to be the... Oh, not, not again. Not this time, buddy. Not this time. Yeah, so we'll leave a fighting mech there, and then we come down and, and bash these guys. And, um, yes, we grab that authority, which is going to let us grab this, I'm hoping. Very soon we will. Arrakis has got uh, a lot coming out of it. Atreides is on Chum, so I need to start buying Chum to block them to make it a little bit harder. Even though it's going to tank my economy, I think I need to. His eco has got to be pretty good. Uh, it's actually kind of poor. He's not going to get it, I don't think. I don't think he's going to get it. That region was recently pillaged. All right. Let's do it. Let's move down there. And, um... Okay, so maybe we just destroy this and get the hedge building. Little sneaky, sneaky submarine hedge. And we can take that now. Outstanding. So we've stopped this crisis. Uh, let's just kill the siege while we're here because it's going to give us some authority. So we're going to go ahead and attack and have you do the healing and you do the healing also. Great. And uh, we can do a military base here in case we get attacked. Great. And let's buy some more chum. Kind of kind of try and keep Atreides down a little bit. I'm not going to buy any more for a while though because I need a surplus to rebuild my armies just in case. All right. So cool. That's going to be taken out. We get this territory. That's going to put us very, very close here. 
52 and um, cool. So let's get some heavies here and just get a missile turret and stealth detection. Oh boy, that's not good. Uh, let's run to the village. So we got the pillage there, which is great. I feel like I should get nukes or something. Like when you're going for a hedge race like this, I'm like, just get nukes to clear out their armies, right? So we could actually do that. Probably wouldn't happen in time though. Probably not. So the spice tax is going to kick in here. Um, and then we need to grab more regions. That's 183. I'm plus 10. It's going to take a little bit of time. So turret, military base is going to buffer our territories here. Any other spec regions? I don't think so. I mean, I could try and take one from someone, but that's way harder. It's way harder. All right. The Baron The Baron tried to assassinate me, but thankfully we were able to kind of keep that, keep that in check. It looks like he's coming to attack me. We're going to buy a little more, just slightly more, and gather on our borders. And we need subvoids because they actually do buff your drones a little bit. You know, the worker, the worker's doing it. And um, as far as this goes, we could just get a maintenance center. I'm pretty sure we already have one here, actually. So we'll get stealth detection. Okay, he's he's wanting a fight. I don't know how it's going to go. If he has any, does he have mechs in his army? Oh, he does have some support drones. So I can mind control those when we fight. That's really nice. That's very, very nice. And if this finishes, I get 20% more health on all my drones. Um, I'm keeping the cell search in case somebody tries to prison shank me. Okay, that's going to finish. And then we get countermeasures. Unfortunately, I had to bro block heretical computing, so I can't make any more of those. Loss of rights. Um, oh, the elected faction suffers. Shall we vote portfolio on him? This basically just gives me the game, I think, if this goes off. I have 220 votes. Okay, sounds good. And let's vote it on Atreides. I'm gonna put all my votes into it. Yeah, that's brutal. That basically just shuts him out of the, the win con. It's brutal. All right, so one eight, what, how much do we need here? 183, and that's gonna put us very close. And taxes are about to kick in. We are paying our taxes. We're not a potato today. All right, so I'm at friggin' 26K. Did he get portfolio scrutiny? Hey, why did he block me from Chome? Why me though? That's a waste of votes. That's why I like slow speed diplomacy. Oh, he misclicked. Oh, he misclicked and voted me for the portfolio. I love it. It's okay. That makes the game more interesting. You know, it's going to be good. Oh, that's so funny. I think we're fine though, but now I can't block him to, so he can buy, keep buying Chome. He misclicked. The, the boy misclicked. The tradies are for sure thinking about a fight here. I have a missile turret. Um, we need to get a military base there for sure and um, just make sure all my territories have them and I can just teleport up there at the blink of an eye so we'll waddle down here and capture this and then if he attacks I just teleport and I mind control his drones uh, I don't think Atreides are gonna have enough oh here they come are they are they going this is my favorite thing ever to do the ambushes are so cool so we're going to fold space time like right behind him and then we're going to use the hidden back door. So all of his drones are going to go haywire. Oh, the huge sci-fi ambush, baby. Now he's, he's, he's attacking, but I think he's getting wrecked. Oh yeah, dude. Go back, go back to the shadow. Am I being attacked elsewhere? No, it looks like it's just here. Okay. So this is like a pretty one-sided fight. It's definitely a massacre. He's going to lose a lot and I'm going to keep chasing too. Okay, so let's fight and fight. He's trying to fight in his own territory. See how his drones, he lost control of those. They're just AFK. Oh my god, science fiction! Science fiction OP! Alright, so then we just take the middle and win on that, right? Although, no, it's going to be too much. Holy shit, we just steamrolled that army. Wow. That was brutal. Okay, so yeah, we got a couple drones to take down, so let's go get these. They're still under his control. We'll just kind of take the middle here. Why the hell not? And uh, let's get the repairs going. Wow, we just sci fi all over his face there. That was good. Uh, all right. What is this? Unit order canceled. Oh, okay. Oh, he lady just skid me. All right, that's fine. Yeah, no problem. All right, so then we go grab this territory, and then we just try and win on passive. We're plus 46. Uh, where do we not have the passive hedge? We have it here. We have it here. Dude, we sci fi so hard. Yeah. That was some hard science fiction. Okay, so let's get some more railgun drones. That teleport ambush thing is so money. Um, let's get the hidden back door again. I can't buy Chome, so he's just buying Chome to his heart's content. And uh, we need heavies here. My brain at your okay, we get this. And it's going to be pretty damn close, but I think we maybe edge it out. 
Let's get an airfield up there just in case. <laughs> Don't touch my drones. I know I love it. It's a really fun flavor. Yeah, and we do have the we do have the the crack building. I was like, did we forget that? I would have been really haggard. So this is gonna put us close to winning. Um, it won't be an instant win per se, but yeah, 183, and then we just need to get like one more territory back here, and then I think we get it. Which is awesome. Let's just get the random money building, because you know, two Solari matters over the course of a long game. Uh, Carino, I'm surprised they're not coming at me. Maybe they're trying to assassinate me or something. I don't think so. We're going to have counter intel in a second, too. So now we can get three on there. Ready, my lord. New challenge awaits. Okay. The sci-fi teleport will be on in a moment, too. We'll be able to do that. Okay, so wow, we're really close here. That's what she said. Uh, and just get some water. Yeah, why not? Let's get my some extra H2O. Okay, so as far as other tech goes, I think we just do the, uh, well, I never got local hubs. That's really bad. I should have gotten that earlier. You live and you learn. And here we got a missile turret. We can get an airfield, um, a little bit of water, even though it's like half, it's fine. That's 190 to take. And do we have any spec regions? Not spec regions, but um, authority on the map we can get. Carino's chasing me. Atreides is at 45%, dude. They might be able to weasel this one out. They might be able to. Um, I could betray them. Trades is making some good money, right? Yeah, they're at 1.7k. How much is Chelm at right now? <sighs> About four. Four seven. It's cutting it really tight. Really, really tight. Okay, so passive. Passive. And um, passive. So we have it in like all the territories, basically. All right, so it's just kind of a race. Um, at, at which point we should switch one of these drones here for you. So we take you out and we put the drone here. That's going to give us the maximum amount of authority possible. Uh, sieges, we burnt down this siege. Is there any other sieges nearby I can take out? I should have been scouting for them because they give authority, so. Uh, sadly, I don't see any. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. Yeah, we're basically just racing Atreides at this point. Uh, we should just sit on this and just wait and see if we get lucky. Yeah. Okay, so move in. Attack. Top's looking juicy. No attacks there. Um, we're reasonably entrenched here. We need uh, just a casual... How much? How much are we getting right now? I suppose if I had the Wonders of the Desert. Yeah, yeah, I should have had that, maybe. That could have helped. So 190, so it's going to be a little while. So House of Trades wants to trade with me? Yeah, right, dude. I think we might have lost the game by the fact that I can't dis d deal with the Chome. Okay. I'm going to send him this. Worth my time. Buy Chome to stop him just sent money <laughs> that's the only way i can do it because they blocked me i just sent carino seven thousand gold dude all right is there any authority around oh my god give me some okay we got raiders over here he's he's trying to block the chome i'm selling i mean i'm making good money right now um yeah he's at 47 percent, dudes Oh my god, 190. My passive is kicking in. Um, spice tax? I might win on the spice tax. It's going to be tight. Oh man, that screwed us up, that misvote. 1.3 days and then I'll be able to buy some chome again. Okay. Yeah, maybe that will help. We'll see. Uh, all right, so as far as this goes, we can do military factory just to be kind of safe, you know. Punch through some of the attackers. The emperor got, he got his money, dude. He did. Um, I would attack the Atreides, but it's literally pointless. Uh, lands route, I'm going to be able to buy Chome again, but, you know, I gave the Emperor most of my money. It'd be really funny if he didn't buy it. Uh, spice to exchange. Spice on, uh, Atreides. Okay, we got to try and slow it down. Oh my god, I'm so close to getting it. The spice tax is going to kick in, and of course I'll pay it. Alright, so all factions suffer. Okay, support. That's fine. Yeah, no problem. We're at 139, dude. Oh my god, and the Atreides have how much money? 1.1? They're really close to being able to buy. Am I going to be able to buy anything? Maybe. There's a little bit of money here. Let's go do this. We got to just buy whatever chum we can. That's fine. He will want speaker. Yeah, I think he's going to go for that. Anyways, let's see how this resolves. Okay, it gets supported, so everybody's going to be a little bit more poor now. Let's go do this, and we can buy some chum. Oh, he was able to get it. Son of a gun. That screwed us over. <laughs> I couldn't stop him. GG, well played, man. Really good game. It was so close. 
So close. On the bright side, though, you guys got to see a nice prison shank. Uh, we got the shank of the Baron. but And you got to see the power of Vernius, too, right? Your militaries can be good. Like, when we teleported in, we were able to do it. Yeah, we, we almost had it. If we had gotten the... If, if, if we had voted the uh, proper vote on him instead of a misclick, we win that game. So it doesn't feel too bad. At least we know it was all good. Hey, Captain Chaos, don't apologize, man. It made the game more fun. All right. I appreciate you all. My hand hurts. I'm going to go hang out with my smoking hot wife. You guys take care of yourselves. Big thanks to Professor Pone for playing today, as well as Grubby and his brother. That was a lot of fun. If you guys want to see that game, it was the very first game of the stream. So you can go back. But um, that is it. GG, well played. You guys take care of yourselves. Appreciate you all. And if you enjoyed this, do drop a like on the way out. It helps out quite a bit. And it helps kind of keep the Dune engine going here. Tomorrow's going to be Age of Empires. Total War is going to be on Friday. And um, that's the schedule for the week. All right, folks. Adios. Take care of yourself. Shai Halud, bless this ravaged body. And we'll see you around. Cheers.